Okay, when you're in the inventory, they don't. It doesn't stop anything. It just. Oh! Oh! Like, he's shit. Very upset. Oh! He's very angry. Sweet Lord. Okay. Oh. Oh! oh! God. Jeez. Yeah, he's got a mustache. Oh! 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 Are you? Oh. Go. Sweet Lord in head! X Games mode. You got this. There you go. Paul? Yeah, Barb. That's a classic. I'm the, I'm the... Paul, careful. Listen to me, stop screaming. Okay. No! He will not stop moving. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 He's eating my ass! Oh, oh, ooh, I like oh. a, I like oh. a big sexy night. Oh, oh. let me oh. just possess you. Really quick. Watch out, Kate. Okay. Oh, watch okay. out! If you don't stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, oh. What, what are you doing? Oh, I ain't. Okay. Hang on, don't shoot it again. Let the pranks work. Oh, killed it. No! No! Leave me alone! Stop! No, 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 Wow, wow. Shit, would you please summon your horse? No! Summon horse! Summon it! <laughs> Paul, did you not qualify because you're fighting people? Yep. Get out of here, Albatross, you bitch. <laughs> you're gonna get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Covered. Oh shit! Oh! I hit him on the right. They're on the right. Oh, okay. All right, I'm good now. Oh, I'm dead. What <laughs> was that nade? Look at my dead body, Holy oh, shit! Oh, what? <laughs> what was that I grenade? I was both of us, it seems. Okay. Oh. Okay, Paul, not too much. Okay. Paul, too much salt. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Now. Turn on the blood sprinklers. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Hello. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Oh, I didn't turn the camera on. Oh boy. That's how the that's how the morning's been going. Hello there. Uh, every time. Every time, Spider Every time.
Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. When did the sticks get delivered? I didn't get any sticks, dude. I didn't get any. I didn't do it. I refused. I held back. I held back. I wanted to real bad, but I did not. Real bad. There we go. And turn you up. There we go. We got it. What a morning did I have. I uh, actually did everything early. Like I got, like I was like, I'm going to get, I need to get out ahead of this. I need to get some stuff done today early for, for stream. And uh, didn't get any of it done because I am a father and you don't always get to do what you want. So that's where I'm at. Why do I not have my chat overlay? What? Had it yesterday, haven't updated anything. Kind of more than I'm having, chat. Goldie, I mean, it's crazy. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? I think about that all the time. All the time. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I can't see chat. <laughs> we relaunch the thing. Oh, there it is. All right, decided to show up. Uh, all right. Thank goodness that's working. What a morning. My goodness. Yeah, sometimes I wish that I, like, had a job where I would have to go to the office or, like, go somewhere because then, like, I can't get dragged into stuff. Which is good and bad. Like, I'm glad that I'm, I have the ability to help Tirza and, you know, be there for Ezra or do whatever. Means to get like. It needs to get done like I have that flexibility but I uh sometimes I wish I could just be at work you know what I mean yeah it's like I just can't like it just starts the whole day off weird so I'm hoping it doesn't start today off weird like today has already started off weird but I'm hoping it doesn't keep going weird like I hope we I don't have my lights on like I don't like I'm just all out of sorts here we go hopefully it gets better because today we are going back to Nam. Digital Nam, of course. I did not open the cards. No, I've not opened the cards yet. I have not. How are you doing, Bree? Good morning. Not yet. Mm. All right. I also realized that yeah. mm. I'm a million years old because All I don't right. I don't even recognize any of the Pokemon yeah. anymore. Mm. I don't know what any of them. I feel like they, they, they're all, I don't even know what they are. It's, they're, it's crazy now. It's crazy. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for cracking a couple decks. Don't get me wrong. I'll crack a deck any day of the week. No, I've not looked through the spider punk book other than just the quick flip through. I did when it first got here. I haven't even read the new Spider-Man yet. Uh, no, I, I haven't had time for much. I want it. I have not had time for much. Uh, I can't open them now because I told Eli I would, uh, be in Vietnam with him. And I need to get, uh, flying here because today we're flying. I'm flying a copter. And Ash IV in the chat as well. You love to see it. I have no idea what any are after the originals. I, I know, like, the second generation, kind of. And after that, I'm lost, dude. Lost. Hello? Eli and SKY. That's right, baby. Move your feet like this. I'm excited. Together they like fought this. side by side Move through the jungle, like wide and wide. Like Hull now safe Move with friends like so this. dear. The radio's chaos, like he no longer fears. Like like you ever just like have chat like, like, this, like, like send you something and you're like, what do we, what, what? You know what I mean? You guys ever have your chat like, like why? Yeah, like, <laughs> what do we? Move your feet like this. Like this. Move your feet like this. 
Yes, and usually it's well burger. Yeah, that makes sense. All the time. I I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Uh oh, hot dog. All right, that's a callback. That actually makes sense. Uh oh, hot dog. That's the callback. That makes that makes sense. Okay. I'm eating breakfast. I'm sorry. I'm eating on stream. We're eating breakfast. We're going to Vietnam. We're fun with ELI and the SKY, baby. It's happening today. Today. I gotta get things loaded up. I'm hot. You know what I mean? Like I'm just warm. This morning's been nuts. My goodness. We're going straight into Arma. I got um I got told daily. I get told daily I live in and or vacation in Lancaster PA. I will never understand why. I don't what it what? Like what? It doesn't make any sense. It's the weirdest thing ever. Ash, I'd love to have you join this server with me. That'd be so fun. Introduce you to, to Eli, you know, if you haven't already met him. I think you met him. Go to Vietnam together. Come on, man. That's sometimes like an hour with me. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I uh, I just got my first Arma, but it was Reforger. I haven't played it yet, though. Dude fun i mean this is right up your alley for like clips this is perfect anything with ash enhances the experience ash and eli i don't know if the internet can handle that i know i know i know i know i got the sticks locked in today i set them up last night kind of haphazardly so we'll see how it goes but um uh, tell you what i'm excited so make your team speak up. Get that fired up. Of course, there's an update. I don't want to update right now. Okay. Um, tools. Um, let's go. What is the options? Capture. Yeah, Push to talk. Let's go with... Uh, Let's go with this and we'll do on key down push to talk V okay it's both now push to talk is now V and on my stick, so that's good to go. Okay, I'm on baby duty, or I'd already be there. Oh my gosh, he told me that he was trying to set you up in here, uh, Bree, and then you saw like something with the add ons, and you're like, Nope, that's too many add ons. <laughs> he goes, like, All right, <laughs> it's like, Okay, Grizzly, thank you for the sub for 60 months, Grizz, sweet baby Grizz, sweet, sweet baby Grizz. Thank you for the resub on Prime for five years, buddy. Thanks for five years. And regular, thank you for gifting a sub to Ash. Ash, welcome to the Paul Tatoes, buddy. Glad to have you here. And Ribo, tier one sub for 38 months, working and making money while watching my favorite guy. My, I'm your favorite guy? You need better guys, because I don't know, man. I don't know that I would, like the upper echelon, it might need to be higher than me, you know what I mean? No, never sent me that info. I'd be down. Oh, I can't wait to talk to him about this. All right, let me hop into uh, the team speak. Uh, all right, I'm up there. Starting Arma. And all right, here we go. I think it's servers. Yep. Join. He's the only one in there right now. Great. 
Back. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, three. Penis, penis, okay. penis. I'm excited. Penis. Nice, nice. I was Great. To... We, good? we good here? We good on the penis? I'm sure some medical emergency happened during the time. Oh, I bet. I bet. Bree, you haven't been what the layman's call healthy. You know what I mean? In a while. So I get it. I, uh, I get it. I get it. I'm jacked for today. I love that energy. I love that energy. Hmm. Password. Need to get Tim on here too. Darkness, Tim? That'd be great. Hmm, both. Yeah. You were moved. This is my semi year. What's a semi year? What does that mean? Hello, hello? I was moved. <laughs> Start collecting Tim's like infinity stones. No, you didn't buy the bad one. Yeah, first of all, it's a write off. Uh, second of all, no, you didn't buy the, uh, the bad one. This, so Arma 3, like the normal one here, I think this is the one that has all the DLCs. I don't think Reforger has that many DLCs that I'm aware of. Um, what's cool about Arma, and and uh, Eli told me this, is that instead of like banning the people who make mods and stuff and like uh, uh, do whatever to the game, Arma Three, the devs like hire them and put out their content as like purchasable DLC and give them a cut, which I think is sick. So this one is a uh, Vietnam DLC, and it's really cool. So I'm very excited about this one. Um, Vietnam DLC. And so far, it's been really cool. But there's a lot of... I mean, Eli had to walk me through the process. Uh, I uh, There is a how-to on his Discord. I don't think he would mind uh, possibly walking you through it if you wanted to do it, man. Um, I don't want to put words in his mouth. But it's awesome. It's very cool. That's awesome. You know how many games would be better if games did that? Just seriously, like let us make DLC and then just like you can pay us. You know what I mean? Get credit for it, whatever, but make it official. And I think that's awesome. And you still have the you still have the thing of like, hey, you know, you're playing a official DLC, but it's like community made, so there may be bugs or whatever. Some plausible deniability there. Okay. Bagel's been consumed. I'm going to tell him you're volunteering everyone, volunteering him to teach everyone. Free, he would never believe you. You know that. You know that, right? Like, you know that. You'd never believe that shit. Paul, did you get to see any Eclipse? I did get to see some Eclipse. Yeah, uh, it was amazing. It was really cool. I didn't get to see anything up until really totality because the cloud cover was so uh, heavy. Uh, but what was cool is that, like, because it was so dark, the little light that shined through, shined through the clouds, so you could see the actual full totality in Corona. It was beautiful. I was amazed at how quickly everything got dark. It was, like, it was really quick. Um, it was amazing. I thought it was beautiful. It was really cool to watch and be a part of. Um, it was tempting not to stare directly at it. I won't lie to you. I get it. Especially because I could see it better in my peripheral, the sun, without wearing the glasses. You put the glasses on, you couldn't see anything because the clouds were so dense. But like out of my periphery, so I was like, I can see it. It's right there. But it was hard not to look at it, uh, especially with all the cloud cover. Um, but it was amazing. It was so cool. I hope you guys got to see it. It was really, really amazing. <clears throat> I saw six hours after the eclipse, 
that the glasses my mother-in-law gave me for it were recalled for not meeting standards. Yikes. <laughs> That's tough, buddy. Ew. Well, I hope you enjoyed your eyes. Oh, boy. I don't know that I would have accepted glasses for my mother-in-law. I think that's probably your first step, your first mistake. And for some disability. Sorry, right, I used to stare at the sun as a kid until I turned green and purple. I'll be fine. Okay, that seems like a problem. All right, we're gonna hop in here. See what's up. I think I'm actually supposed to change this back. I have it on the wrong thing. Hello? Team speak? I have the wrong button for it. Tools, options, push to talk. Let's go ahead and edit this. Make it button mouse four. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. My wife works in Eye Doctor, and I have like three pairs of those glasses in my truck, just chilling all the time. Probably forgot about them until I went to grab my regular sunglasses. Oh, wow. I really hope no one else stared and do it, man. I really hope you guys were smart about it. Really hoping that did not happen. That scroll lock on, I don't know. Like scroll up here. Pause this. Uh, you know, the only thing that sucks, Ash, and you'll appreciate this, is I can't, I don't have a way, because TeamSpeak is now on the gaming PC, to route the audio through not the gaming PC channel. And so I can't have separate audio when I go to make clips for um, TeamSpeak and uh, the game. All game audio, right? Because everything is pretty much on the stream PC and recorded in different channels through OBS. But because TeamSpeak is on the gaming PC, it's all funneled through game volume. Kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I did glance bare eye at it for a second. For I don't think a second's gonna do much to you, but <clears throat> my wife texted me six times that day to remind me not to stare at it. You can look at it when it's totality, right? But you can't look at it other than that. We are in, baby. Open to Vietnam, ladies and gentlemen. Get my pilot gear on so I look like a pilot. Oh, that's not the right button at all, Paul. Now, oh, am I stuck inside the box? Oh, okay, good. Sir? Was it home? Sir? Always time for some nom. There's no way to team speak into streaming PC or does it need to read that game is on? It needs to read what the game is on because it, oh shit. It's directional audio. Good morning, sir. What is going on, Amico? Just putting on the appropriate attire, my friend. Good man, did you get a, did you snag a pilot slot on your way in? Shit, I forgot how to do that. I did not. That's, that's all right, buddy. Uh, if you hit escape and then go to abort, and then in the menu, scroll all the way down, I'm going to jump out of the gunfighter slot that I saved for you, and then okay. you just take the one that says gunfighter 1-1 one, one pilot. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one. okay. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> User left your channel. Rolls. Uh... Gunfighter, Gunfighter 1-1 one, one pilot. Okay, Actio, that's me. Can you turn Eli up? Can you relax? Free? Jeez. Over here, just giving commands. User joined your channel. Can you really not hear him? Is he is he quiet? <clears throat> All 
All right, let's get uh, the appropriate attire on here. Uh, let's see some. Wear the most obnoxious helmet possible. It's Mackenzie Child. <laughs> Or that one. That one's good. Actually, what about this one? 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 Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh yes! That's the one. How am I supposed to see the blast shield down? I can't see anything. Use the force. Uh, face wear. Am I gonna wear a bandana underneath my helmet because I'm a badass? I am. What else we got? In-game voice audio for other people needs to go up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Vest. I think the vest is probably fine. Uh, uniform. I need a flight suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me with a flight suit. What do we got here? Oh. All right, okay. Jeans, huh? Wow. Real informal around here. <laughs> just got my toesies out? Just, <laughs> just toesies? In Nam? <laughs> for free? Nah, I can't do it for free. I like this one. I think it blends in the most because it's the most obnoxious. All right. MVGs, binoculars, map, terminal communications, watch. Ah, we're good. I'm going to keep that gun on me. I'm going to keep that thing on me. You know what I mean? That's like some good old jungle rot. Oh, God. <laughs> Save. Pilot Paul. Nice. All right. Close it out. Sir? Look at you, buddy. Can you hear me, Paul? Yes, sir, I can. You love to see it? You love to see it? Okay. Uh, make sure you talk to the guy from or that's just behind you, and okay. you're going to be flying a gunfighter one. So either get uh, engineer or medic uh, training. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So you just uh... hit six, and then it'll pop up a training wheel. These are the uh, the duty officers. That's how you change your uh, training. Oh yeah. Specialization or your group. All right. Engineer training. So if you hit. Uh, H as in hotel, it'll brought it'll bring up your uh, specific file. Oh, now That's we changed it. Remember? Oh, did you? Um, yeah, it was like the I whole thought thing. you switched the uh, Ace keybind. Oh, or I don't. Switch the. I don't know the difference. I think we changed all of them. But so we'll hit H and see what it does. Health menu. Okay, you changed the, the game menu. That's that's all right. All right. Okay. Um, you ready to go? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so the first yeah. thing we want to do now that you're in the right slot is hit M. And go all the way up to the top right. You see where it says active air call signs? Uh, I don't see active. I see gunfighter 1-1. One, one. So, so zoom out all the way. To you. Oh, all the way. Okay. Just keep scroll wheeling all the way back. Oh, uh, yeah, active air call signs. Yep. So I put us down as a crew. But before you start flying, you have to put that up there. So that way, like the infantry and the tank guys and the guys in the boats and, you know, all the other people know that there's a, a gunfighter that they can call on the radio. Because once we get rocking and rolling, they're going to be calling us on the radio for a bunch of stuff. Okay. All right. Um, how do I do that? I already did it for us today, but oh, normally you there it just is. Okay, yeah. um, hit period or comma at the bottom until it says side and blue as your channel, and then double click, and you will be able to place things on the map. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I see that side channel. Yeah, I can, I can delete the one I got there if you want to give it a go so you know how to do it. You know what? One thing at a time. That's good. I'm okay. glad you did it for me. All right. 
Oh, uh, board this bad boy. All right, my man. Uh, actually, let me change this to full screen real quick. Yeah, yeah. Do the full screen, bud. <laughs> Appreciate your patience, little E. Uh, having a hard, having a hard morning. You know what I mean? Hey, you're a fucking father. You know what I mean? And a national <laughs> treasure. I'm not that guy. <laughs> uh. Audio? Wait, audio? Wait, everyone's saying audio? Audio? Hello? Mm -hmm. Oh, they want you louder. Got it. Okay. I'm going to oh, make okay. team Hold speak on. louder. Hold on. Better? I don't know. Chat? Is that, You are always better? fine to me. Worse? Okay. Hmm. Chat? Is that any better or worse? Did you work out this morning, Eli? Yeah. Of course you did. Got to do it. Come on. I don't have the kind of personality that... I can like that other people can have where they don't have to lift weights. That's I don't have it. Same wish. You know I wish I, mean? I don't have it. Uh, okay. Here. <clears throat> Having these on different ones, very obnoxious. Uh, all right. So I'll dial this back to about like, let's say 80%. Let's go 85. Let's calm down. And then team speak is at a hundred. Okay, we'll do that. All right, uh, talk for me again, if you don't mind. Test, test, test. Chad, how's that? Has to do with your audio mixer then. Please, Bree, please. Are we, are we good to go? I'm I'm waiting on chats, okay. Uh Yay. so sorry. It's manageable, guys. Really? Eh? Okay, chat's being ridiculous. Uh let's get going. Okay. Let's make it happen. So the first thing How do you walk? Well, not the first thing, but so with your gun on your back, just hit zero on the numpad or double uh, left control. But your gun has to be on your back. Okay. Double off control. Yeah, see, we're pilots, so we don't have to run anywhere yet. We just, we just, we just slowly, you know what I mean? Just, we're sauntering. Oh, boy. I, we'll teach you yep. that. We'll no, teach yeah, you that. No, I don't, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to do that yet. Yeah. Okay, all right. Sweet Lord, I forgot all the controls. Oh, God. First day on the job. On my way. Yep, just back up. Run backwards through it. Oh. I'll just go the long way. Yep. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, no, no. They didn't get me. It's okay. It's fine. Of course, it's nighttime. Okay. Hold, hold left control and hit tab for me until you see the little guy's head with the, the hand next to it. That's how you control the volume of your voice because the AI uh, can hear everything we do. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Got it. So did you hear the music when we were walking up? I did. So that's the jukebox function, which is really cool. Normally they added to all the vehicles so you can play like period correct music, but the yeah. Viet Cong can hear it. Uh, so and I'd like for us to actually get off the ground uh, before they try to kill us. Yes. Uh, so we had them cut that off. That's perfect. That's good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So because uh, on the uh, map, you can see what frames are active. This is Nuke. Nuke, Paul, Paul, Nuke. Nuke's going to be flying Sir? the, again, Paul. the uh, well. Train 3-1, which is the heavy lift uh, wreck recovery, like uh, thick burp. The thick. That's correct. That's me. That's me. I'll so since we're a gunfighter, uh, all of the call signs have a designator. So on the radio, you know, without them having to do like a full description of what it is they're flying, like what they're calling. Yep. The gunfighter one call signs are the UH one. So that that's one. And then they got the slick. So we have a bunch of different options that you okay. can choose. If you want to go with a slick that carries the most passengers and is the most like stripped down. So it handles probably the best, but it doesn't have like the stub wings with the rocket pods on it. The Charlie uh, is the one over there on pad three that has the rockets as well, but okay. it carries less passengers and it has an armored belly 
like the the belly of the aircraft is armored for against small arms fire so that she can provide close air support so she's uh, oh okay wow all right good to know so what uh which one are you thinking you might want to go with and if well, you're not sure we could go on a little tour of the bays out on the active airfield you can you can find one you like uh so you're gonna be co-pilot so i'm thinking i'm gonna need something that's nimble so yeah. i don't know it's something that's forgiving what do you think would be the most forgiving let's go with the slick the slick yeah okay so the slicks are great um along with the the freight train the basically anything you see on this back row right here uh because okay. they don't yeah. require a wreck recovery all of the vehicles that you see that are out on the airfield and the, the other ones if they are destroyed uh you have to actually recover the wreck of that vehicle back to the airfield in order for it to come back for your teammates oh i did that yesterday or not yesterday last week yeah yeah okay um so that's for tanks that's for all every every other airframe besides the three that spawn here you have to do that and it it doesn't okay. sound like it's a bad thing yeah you're welcome there dad my pleasure shot down like in the middle of a firefight like a really thick ao yeah and you have to go back in there and get your own wreck uh unless the three one pilot wants to do it for you okay so um it can it can get hairy quick it can get Yeesh. real hairy but let's go over here there's a slick okay so this one is the uh1 delta slick it's the uh most advanced model besides i think there's maybe an echo or a foxtrot but it carries the most passengers and you can see on the inside like they ripped a lot of the paneling off and everything else so i mean she's uh, bare bones. So yeah she's very very fast carries a bunch of passengers has two uh of the 60 door guns okay so go ahead and hop in the uh, pilot seat paul all righty You gotta change your team, I think. Oh, are you not a uh, Green Hornet's fault? Oh no, I think we're yeah, gonna do on. that. You can go yeah, to the yeah, supply on. officer and hit six. And then... Yeah, he re he rebound it. So, uh, um, it's, yeah, let's shit. just do this. Let's let's go to the Charlie real quick, Paul. Okay. Because this one is uh, I put this one in for us to to train on a little bit. She's a little bit heavier. Okay. All right. The uh, like if you can learn on this one, then uh, the Delta will be uh, no problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Com check. Check check. Can you hear me? One, two. Okay, so we're we're on the intercom now, um, so that we can talk to each other. Like the crew of the Hilo can talk to one another uh, over the sound of like the rotor wash and the gunfire and everything else. Yeah, yeah. So our first thing we want to do is uh, do your scroll wheel and turn your collision lights on. Okay. All right. Collision light. Uh, engine. Get out. Hover. Manual. Oh, there's more. Keep, keep, keep scrolling. Yeah, keep scrolling. It'll say collision lights. Okay. Collision lights on. Yep. Okay, so uh, then scroll down to lights and turn those on unless you have that uh, bound. But every time yeah. you come in, come into the airfield, you want to cut those lights on so that the other friendly aircraft can see you. Every time we exit, for the most part, we want to cut those lights off so that the Viet Cong and the NVA can't see us and kill us from far away. All right, let me bind that real quick. Okay, yeah, go ahead. All right, I didn't realize lights were, were so important, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're important. Oh, God. All right, so it'd be a, it's not under helicopter movement. What's that going to be under? Uh... Lights. Uh, development, custom controls, camera, editing, unstuck, no, common, headlights, I do have to bound apparently, collision lights? So, um, headlights off on is under common, Paul. It is under common, okay. Yeah, and it'll say headlights off on. So every vehicle will be bound to that same key. Okay. Collision lights I want to keep on all the time? No, uh, only when oh, no. we are in friendly airspace so that we can avoid collision with other aircraft. But 
if you have your call lights on all the time, um, the AI can see the lights and will shoot uh, at us. Ew. We, we're going to get shot at a lot, but, uh, you know, all the time can be a little rough. Okay. All right. All right. Um, all right. So I got headlights. I'm not seeing a keybind for collision lights, but. Uh, there is none that I am aware of because they are okay. unique to aircraft. Oh, naturally. Okay. Do, do, do. okay. But you'll get used right. to it. So the scroll wheel is your friend in, in arm, especially as a pilot. A lot of your options are going to be there. And if you uh, hit, accidentally hit the scroll wheel, just right click and it'll put it away for you. Okay. All right. And since you, I'm not sure actually, because you've joined once before, but there's like a little tutorial booklet that pops up and stuff on the right side. You just hit. Uh, B to close it. If it's not there, don't worry about it. But if it is, is there, you're going to want to see everything. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So hit control P. What's that going to do? I know ahead of. I know ahead of time. Oh, that's the radio. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, radio. Okay, okay, okay. radio. Okay, so with the radio up, you want to um, hit the clear button on the right side on clear. your C1 and then put 82 in there and click set. Okay, set. So 82 is our uh, airfield comm, <laughs> and you make your approach and departure calls, your spool and spool up and spool down calls on H2, or it's going to be 82, so that other aircraft like our 3 1 buddy or whatever that are using the airfield know where you're going and what you're doing so they can avoid colliding with you jeez okay okay so the the short range radio is what we want to keep it on because uh nobody needs to know what the hell you're doing 20 clicks away at the fucking airfield mm -hmm. uh so to use the short range you just hit caps lock and when you do you should see it pop up in the bottom right of your screen that you're transmitting on your okay. short range on 82. go ahead and do a radio check radio check 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 five, 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 five. Five. there you go all right so on the radio, right, when you send a transmission, you want to say, hey, you, this is me, unless it's like a net call type thing where you're just kind of putting it out there. So we'll say, that way they know who we are and what channel we're on and what we're doing, uh, just because we're going to be listening to a lot of different radios uh, doing this job. Jeez. And uh, if we don't know who's calling us and on what channel, it makes it difficult to respond to them. You know what I mean? So yeah. Best practice there. Uh, eight two is uh, air traffic control. Eight five is air to air. Eight zero, which is probably the most busy channel for a gunfighter call sign, is the air to ground channel. Mm -hmm. So all of the recon guys and infantry guys, uh, the JTACs, the engineers, they all like if they're in trouble or they need an exfil or they need Kazavac or something, it'll be on eight zero. Seven zero is artillery. Five zero is armor. Uh, six one decimal one is heavy infantry. Six one decimal eight is normally uh, their squad comms. Six one decimal one is like the com the command comms. Okay. Um, but you won't have to worry about all of that today. We'll just focus on the flight stuff. So if you're trying to call, let's say our buddy the freight train, we mm -hmm. would want to switch to eight five, right? So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So if you okay. hit uh, Alt P. It should okay. pop up two options. You should have the long range radio on your back as an option. Mm -hmm. And the, you should see our UH-1 Charlie Iroquois hog as an yep. option. Yep. So click on your backpack. Okay. And channel one, we want to set to eight zero. So we should default to channel one. And you remember the two knobs in the middle? Yes. So left click the, uh, the left, or excuse me, right click the left knob. Right click brings it down, left click brings it up. And we want to set that to 8000. Got it. Okay. Okay. So then go up to your channel button, left click it, that'll switch it to channel two. Okay. And set this one to 8500. Okay, click it again to channel three. Okay. And we want to set this one to seven zero zero zero. Okay. Okay, click it again. All righty. Set that one to six one decimal one. Six 
six one decimal one. You said. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Click it again. Yeah. Set it to five. This next one to five zero zero zero. So that should be channel yeah. five and then five zero zero zero. Yep, got it. Click it again, and this is our last one. We're going to set it to six eight zero zero. That's the emergency channel that the Kazavac and the medics use. So, like, let's say we pick up a bunch of guys and they're all shot up, and we need to get a medic. We would want to switch to our channel to call uh, on the medic to see because they could be doing surgery, they could be doing a thousand other things, and not know that we got guys that are uh, very like, critical condition in the bird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so go ahead and right-click it until we're uh, back on channel one. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to teach you how to use your additional channels, which you may or may not want to use. Okay. But, uh, so, like, if you look at the, the map where we put our call sign, those that's where you put all the radio channels that you are monitoring. So if somebody can't reach you on a certain channel, they'll switch and try to get you on another channel because we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to listen to two radios at once, you can listen to two radio uh, channels per radio. The vehicle radio and your backpack radio and your short range all count. So for okay. me on my backpack, I go to channel three, which is the 7000 uh, channel. Okay. So click to channel three. And then when you do, uh, flick the switch at the top that says main or additional. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you should hear a click noise. And then the bottom right, it should say additional LR channel three. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. And then we set our channel back to eight zero. Okay. Okay. Are you on uh, both? I am on. I just switched it back to eight zero. Okay. Then go ahead and hit escape to close your radio menu. Okay. Okay. Check this out. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, radio check 8-0. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, radio check 7-0. So did you hear both? I did. Yeah, so I set ground channels to my right ear and air channels to my left. So if somebody calls like panicked uh, and doesn't say the radio channel and stuff they, they're on, I know that I'm getting a call from the ground or from the air, but you don't have to do that. Whoa. Now you'll be able to hear artillery calls and our air calls, which are important for us, because if we're going into an LZ, and let's say they're overrun, and they just called a shitload of artillery down on the LZ, mm -hmm. and don't tell us on 8-0, we'll know, because we can hear 7-0. And nice. we can avoid okay. it, until it until it hits the ground. Okay. All right. Okay. See what I mean? All right, so yeah. hit yeah. Alt-P again. Okay. And then click uh, UH-1 Charlie Iroquois Hog. All right. So normally what I do is uh, after you hit that, hit settings, it should bring up our radio in the Huey. Jeez. Okay. See oh, it looks different? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you won't have to worry about this today because I'm going to be managing your radios. But normally what I do is I set these to the exact same channels. Okay. And then I switch up the ones that I'm listening to on this radio. So I'm going to switch them all to the same. And then on this radio, I'm going to listen to 50 and 85. So okay. that way, if we get called by another aircraft, I'll be able to hear it on 8-5. And if the armor guys get in trouble or they get ambushed, which happens mm -hmm. a lot because uh, they hate helicopters and they hate tanks with the heat of a thousand suns. <laughs> okay. uh, so if they get an ambush and they don't have time to call us for help, we'll know that they need help and we can push over there. Okay. So I'll do the exact same thing we just did. I'm going to set 5-0 additional. Set it to the right ear, eight five main left ear, set. User you can also channel. set uh, like the volume of each radio and stuff. So depending on like how loud you want certain things, like I keep the ground comms lower than I do like the air to air comms and the Makes base zero comms. Yeah, you know what okay. I mean. Yeah. So now we're set. Now, if you want to change your radios, so caps is the short range, left control caps is your long range. So go ahead and do a radio check uh, with our call sign on eight two. So we want to say. Uh, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, radio check 8-2. User, User left joined your channel. channel. All right, uh, the team speak threw me off. Please say that again. And you just hold down caps, Wait. and that'll put it out on the right channel. Wait, sorry, say that again. Gun team speak threw me off with everyone leaving. No problem. Oh, yeah, so I turned that off. Um, I don't know how. It's so obnoxious. Um, hold on. So go to team speak. 
and I believe it's tools, options, uh, and then I just turn all the notifications off. Okay. So under, okay. under notifications at the very bottom, I just have all of those off. Okay, notifications very bottom, sound pack. Uh... So you should be able to change sound pack to, I think, sounds deactivated. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, yeah, sounds deactivated. So that shouldn't affect your key, uh, your key ups, but if it does, we can we can toggle that. But yeah, hearing that user left your channel, user joined your channel, that shit will. Oh my god! Have, you can't have that fucking crap. You know what it I mean? It's awful. Not when we're out here doing the work. Because that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, okay. would you would you mind actually leaving and coming back just to see if it works? Sure, Paul. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Son of a bitch. She's still talking to me. Okay. She's still talking? You hate to see it. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, let's All right. try then. Right. Tools, options. Okay. And I am not exact. I thought it was under notifications, but uh, you might have to go to each one separate. If you're trying to uh, turn off that voice, it's under self. Self. And then, uh, oh, sound so. pack. No. Sound pack sounds deactivated. Ah, okay. Appreciate that. No problem. I don't think I'm all right. Would you mind testing it one more time, Eli? I appreciate you. No problem, Paul. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. All right. Good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Remind me what I'm okay. telling uh, the radio. So on A2, uh, which is our airfield comms, right? We want to do a radio check. So just hold down con uh, caps okay. and say gunfighter 11, radio check 82. Gunfighter 11, radio check 82. Perfect. Okay. Now left control caps and say gunfighter 11, radio check 80. Gunfighter 11, radio check 80. Perfect. <laughs> now do uh, left control T as in tango and say gunfighter 11 radio check 70. Gunfighter 111 radio check 70. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, I don't, I don't know why That's I can't say 11, one, one, dude. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Perfect. So if you need to switch radios for whatever reason, it's left control alt and then your bracket keys at the top, but you shouldn't need that today as long as you have a co pilot. Okay. So, so are you going to be I'm, handling all the radio chatter for me today? For, for today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, that for you today. Can, you can hear it. Um, well, like like I said, buddy, if you want to fly on this server, uh, if you want to fly alone, you got to know all that stuff while you're flying. But I don't want to, like, throw you into the deep end with no floaties. You know what I mean? I'm not a uh, – I'm more of like a throw, throw you in there with floaties, but they're both popped kind of a guy. Yeah, yeah. You know no, I, I mean? hear Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gunfighter 1-1. So we have all of our Gunfighter 1-1. 1-1. Gunfighter 1 1, I gotta practice. Gunfighter we're 1 1. Check in. Gunfighter so that 1 That way other aircraft know that we're operating and people that are monitoring the radio, like the JTACs and everybody else that has their radio going, knows that we're available for tasking. So we'll okay. take 8 2. All right. Gunfighter 1 1, one times UH 1 Charlie, heavy hog, check in 8 0. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, one time UH-1 Charlie, Heavy Hog, check-in 8-5. So now that we've done all of our air channel check-ins, we're good to go. Jeez. So we want to ask okay. the ATC for permission to spool. Okay, and what we'll channel we'll just call on A2. We'll say, case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, spooling, pad 3. So now that we've called it, you can go ahead and uh, cut the engine on, and we should okay. start spooling up. And you'll see in the middle of your instrumentation that the um, the RPM gauge will start climbing. Yep. And there is a needle there that is set with an R, which is the reference needle. That shows you how many RPM we need for the UH-1 uh, in order to lift and maneuver and stuff without causing a hot start. 
Uh, sorry, which one is that? Which gauge am I uh, The one in the very middle that says RPM. So you just should say LO RPM rotor engine. You can also just kind of hear it. So like she's a turbine helicopter. So oh, you I can see. Hear it. the turbine start to wind up. Now we're at full yeah, RPM, so yeah. we can lift and do all the things we need to do. Okay. Um, and for the most part, you don't want a hot start, but sometimes you have to. Like if we're getting shot to pieces, I'd rather hot start and have the helicopter remounted us than be dead. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to ta taxi to the um, active runway. So okay. what we're going to say is uh, we're going to tell the ATC that we're going to be lifting off, and then I'm going to give our taxi information to the control tower, which tells everybody on the base what we're doing and, and where we're going. Okay. K-7 ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, lifting, pad 3, northbound taxi for Sierra 1, eastbound to Sierra 1 holding. So that uh, gives us permission to lift off the pad. Then we're going to push forward just a little bit into this little street, like right before us. This is, this is Sierra 1. Secondary one. Okay. And then we're going to uh, use our um, anti torque to rotate. So we're going to use E to rotate our nose right till we're lined up with Sierra 1. And then we're going to slowly taxi east towards active runway 36. So you're using Q. Uh, which oh, is sorry. Turn to the left. Oh, my bad. Yep. Okay. So, so keep uh, turning. E and Q are our anti torque uh, controls. And they turn the nose of the helicopter either right or left. So E would be turning the nose right. Makes sense. Q would be turning the nose left. Okay. Okay. So in, for the most part, we want to go ahead and uh, rotate us to the left until our nose is straight on again. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do first, uh, so we're not spinning on the pad panicking everybody. <laughs> is we want to slowly increase our collective. So left shift is our collective. Okay. We're going to transfer our engine RPM into our collective. The, the angle of the rotor blades up top will give us lift. We want just enough so that we can get up off the deck about three feet. Okay. Oh, yeah. So go uh, ahead. Chat, once uh, you didn't know that I'm using sticks, I think you know that, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Just, no, there's freaking yeah, that, not. That should be, you'll have a lot more touch with the sticks. So just raise your collective just a bit. There you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Too high. It's all right. That's all right. No, you're fine. That, no, that's not too high. That's perfect. Like, in essence, you want to be high enough so that we can clear any ground traffic beneath us, but not so high that we might interfere with approaching aircraft. Okay. Now, I probably should have said this before, but uh, you can also put in your earplugs with the number six. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that activates our, our ear, like the earphones, like the headset and the helmet. So we'll reduce the sound of uh, the rotor wash so we can talk to each other. Okay. All right. Okay, so now that we're on Sierra 1, we want to rotate the nose right with our anti-torque. And then we're going to uh, increase our altitude just a bit so we can clear these power lines. Uh, so left a little bit. See the... How the road kind of goes out towards that hangar? No, left, uh, the other left. Oh, sorry. Other left. Other left? <laughs> left, more left. See the road? Oh, the yeah, okay, is? okay, got it. That's Sierra 1. We want to follow that out to the active runway. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1 one, one has Sierra 1. So that's just us letting everybody know where we are so they don't hit us. Okay. And see that H pad right there just below us? Yep. Let's try to land on that. Oh, boy. So you want to flare your nose up to reduce our forward momentum. And then slowly reduce your collective. And we want to look through the, the little windows where our feet are at, where the snipers are going to shoot our faces. We want to look through there oh, to oh kind boy. of get a, a reference. I don't know if I can look through there. I don't know if I have that time. It's found. all right. It's all right. So give it a little bit of, uh, of uh, your anti-torque. Or, yeah, your anti-torque right. So pedal right. Pedal right. That all right. There's the there's the uh, the helipad. So the goal is to have each one of our skids, our port and starboard skids, hit those lines on the H. Facing, you know, either way, that's where you want your skids, so that way people can avoid uh, accidental contact with our UH-1 while we're moving around. Okay, working on it. 
So do me a favor, Paul, and uh, okay. scroll wheel down to unlock controls. I'm not sure I see it. Unlock controls. Uh, it should be at the very top. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay, so what that does is um, it allows me to control the aircraft from the co-pilot seat. You don't okay. have to do it, but if uh, we're going into an LZ and you get shot, the co-pilot can potentially save the aircraft or if it, if it okay. goes out of control. And the way you transfer control is by saying you have control, you have control, you have control. Three times. So that way I know okay. that you are letting go of the controls and then I would do the same to transfer control back to you so I don't mistakenly grab the controls and kill us at the wrong time. You know what I mean? Gotcha, yeah. Very, very nice. Yep. So we're on the pad and we would just say, <sighs> Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, touch and yeah. sling load up Sierra 1. That lets them know that we're on the sling load pad at Sierra One. So if we needed to sling in um, like ammo or medical supplies, this is where we would come. So you see those two boxes to our right? Those uh, are okay. those are ammo boxes. So like if the infantry calls us, oh, okay. normally it will be over a bunch of gunfire and explosions, and they'll be like, "We're running out of ammo. We need ammo and medical." And then they'll give us a grid rep. That's where we get the uh, the ammo and stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, all right. Jeez. All right. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, sorry. I thought I was in the wrong button. Yes, I do see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's where we go when we get those calls. Ooh, so now boy. I'm going to call that we're going to lift and we're going to take the active 3-6, which is out to the north. And we're going to go on the active. We're going to practice uh, turning and cutting our lights off and on on the approach. Okay. okay. So once I call it, you just apply your collective. You can use your anti-torque to uh, turn us to the right or the left to okay. align our nose to taxi east towards the active runway. And then we're going to pedal left to line up with active 3-6. Okay. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1 one, one lifting, Sierra 1 for eastbound taxi, active 3-6. Chad. All right, oh, you're good boy. to go. Very nice. And the Huey's great because he's going to be real good. That's it. <coughs> oh boy. Um it's, it's still going. I think I might need more training. I think I might need That's an act of fire on the I'm real Boy, sorry. It did get hot in there. Yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, real sorry about that. Well, let's cover a couple other things, right? So on the respawn, when you see those circles, uh, because we are going to get killed today, Paul, and we are going to get killed a lot. Okay. When you see those circles where you just respawned is where we want to be. Yeah. This is the area where the infantry respawns, but most importantly, it's closest to the holding area for the aircraft. Ah, okay. So this so is like if, the place. If we were in a regular slick, the <laughs> slick would come back right there on the pad. And this is where we would spawn. Okay. Okay. So that's important. Um, what we also want to go over is if you hit your, your M key, 
Uh huh. And go into your map. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So up at Very the top kind. right is a uh, like three rectangles that you see up there. Go ahead, and click that. At the very oh. Changes it, it from satellite to topographic view. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yep. Which, which I prefer so you can see like the elevation and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then the buttons to the left, the little drop downs are how you make your map marks. But on that uh -huh. map, you can see other blue four units. And if they are healthy and mobile or combat effective, they are blue. If they are red, that means that they are experiencing a medical emergency, like okay. cardiac arrest or a seizure or gunshot wound or whatever it is. Yeah. And they need medical help, but they are still alive. Uh, if okay. they are gray, it means that they are KIA, and we have to send dust off to recover the body. Okay. 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 Oh, All boy. Right. Okay. You have to recover bodies. Yeah, absolutely. We're not going to leave anybody out there. No, that makes sense. So that's what Mike is doing right now. He's got the ambulance out at the crash site. He's bagging up our bodies. I see that. And when he has them bagged up, he'll bring them back to the hospital, and uh, then those body bags get processed. And we get the tickets back. If we lose too many uh, tickets, we can fail the mission and reset all of the objectives. Yikes. Uh, so casualties do matter. Yeah. Okay. But don't worry about those two tickets uh, because I, I flagged it so that you know we could do a little bit of training. But I don't okay. want the training to be too um, gentle because it's not going to be gentle once we're out there flying and they're shooting at us. Yeah. No, of course. So. Well. You want to know the worst part about dying, Paul? What's that? Having to reset your radios. No. No way. Oh, yeah. So let's get a Jeep. <sighs> a nice one. Nope, oh, they left the keys in it. Okay. Oh, in the back So seat. what oh. Nuke is talking about is the radio reset of shame. <sighs> I have so to reset. every time, uh, like, a pilot or a vehicle is destroyed... You have to reset your radios, uh, which is kind of okay. just a friendly reminder from the game that you suck. Everything yeah. you try, you're not good enough. Yeah. And even if you thought you were before, the steady clicking of the radios will remind you. Oh, uh, oh uh, sweet. Coming in hot. Just keep your head yep, so there's Mike. Hey, Mike. He's backing up those bodies. Appreciate it, Mike. No problem. Thank you, Mike. Mike's gonna take care of those bodies. Okay. Golly. And then we are gonna head down the runway here. So these are the bays. So if you end up spawning or uh, using an aircraft in one of these bays, okay. instead of the pad, you would call bay five, you know, one through six, whatever it is. So He's on uh, train three one, where checking you're two. spinning up. You know what I mean? Uh, please repeat. I'm sorry. Didn't okay, hear that. So these these are bays. Yeah, bays. Because they're next to the active runway. Ah, okay. Whereas the pads, when we said we were spooling pad, that is uh, the holding area. So the oh. six pads that are over there near the, the infantry area, that's holding. This is uh, the active. So these are the bays. Okay. You recognize this I got that. beautiful uh, beautiful lady here? I do. I do. I remember this one. I remember this one. Okay. Hit six and take your earplugs out so you can practice kind of putting them in, putting them out, uh, or taking them out putting them in okay yep yep but so this is our new burb so we want to do the exact same thing that we just did before except i'm not gonna do it i want to so that way if you have any questions you can ask me right so uh, go ahead and get in into happens. pilot actually you know what you can't uh so we want to make sure our team is uh green hornets normally paul okay today we won't do it so that because there's only eight pilot slots on the server uh -huh. um so if you take one of those slots you're saying I am definitely not going to let you down, infantry guys that are going to be getting killed. Uh, I'm going to fly extra good. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Uh, oh, okay. So we have some work to do, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, then again, the longest journey, Paul, begins with but a single step. That's true. That's true. We did take a big step there right into yes, hell. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. So there's our Charlie. Lights. Yep, she has her lights on, which is good because we're on the airfield. We don't want to get smacked. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead. Go ahead and hop in there, Paul, and get her ready to go, ready to fly. Pretend like I'm not here. Do your radios and everything. Uh, I will join you momentarily. Do I have to reset all my radios? 
maybe not the one on your back, but definitely the one in the bird. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't. Butcher's bill, Paul. You know what I mean? Can, can you just tell me the two channels I need? Eight, eight yeah, two, sir. right? And eight, eight two on the short range, eight zero on your long range, and eight five. Eight two, eight zero, eight five. So you might like you might be able to keep your radios on the same channel on your your person, but you do have to still check it to make sure. Sometimes the game will be generous that way, but sometimes poor island. You know what I mean? Lordy, okay. Uh, okay, it's eight two on the Mary, short range. range. Seriously, okay, so that one's good. Short range, and then long range. Uh. No, no, not caps lock. Left control caps. Left control. Is how you broadcast on the long range. Am I in the right but, channel uh, though? But I don't know. Alt, well, left Alt P is how you bring up your long range radio. Left Alt P, okay. And since we're in the burb, uh, it'll bring up both options. Just select your backpack. Okay. I think maybe these reset. My channel one is on eight four one zero now. Yep, it reset. You get to do the radio reset and change. No, uh, but oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh big time. Oh, and everybody knows. Everybody knows what you're doing too. I need to like a, I need to write this down. I need to make a note. All the, all the other pilots just laugh. They laugh, laugh, laugh. Oh my heavens! It's all right. I'm gonna do the ones on the bird for us, so we don't have to do that. This is gonna be a long day, Chet. This is gonna be a long. Where's this gonna be a long? It's gonna be a long day. Okay. All right. Uh, um, you might have to walk me through the different channels again so I can write them down. Yeah, not a problem, buddy. And this will become second nature once you get shot down enough. It literally is muscle memory. So channel one, eight zero, zero zero. Okay. Channel two, eight five zero zero. Yep. Channel three seven zero zero zero. Mm -hmm. Next one, six one decimal one. Okay. Then we want five zero zero zero. Okay. And then six eight zero zero. Nuts. Okay. Friggin' nuts, bud. Okay, here we go. No, we're not done yet. So now uh, we've done the radio reset of shame. You have to do your call in again to let everybody know you're back on the radio. So now everybody will know that you got shot down and that you're just a piece of shit. Do I have to let them know I'm back on the radio? It could be like no, I never no. left. No, today I'll do it. Oh. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, one times UH-1 Delta, sign back in 8-0. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, UH-1 Delta Slick, sign back in 8-5. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, UH-1 Delta Slick, sign in 8-2. Now we're good to go. I see now everybody thinks I was the one, so they're like, fucking Eli, idiot. What a baboon. You know what I mean? Like they're all mocking me. So scroll down to unlock controls uh, really quick so that uh, I can take the stick. All right, hold on. I have to actually input the channels. I just wrote them down. Yeah, you got to input those channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you hold down left control and shift, uh, you can jump channels up or down by either 10 or five. I believe shift is five and control is 10. And that can help you get where you want to go uh, faster if you got to do a, a bunch of channel resets. And I know that because I die a lot. You said shift or control? Shift or control. Yeah, if you hold those down while you're clicking, it'll jump uh, channels by five or 10. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty friggin' sweet. Three is seven zero. Four is six one. Zero zero. Five is five zero. Zero zero. Six is six eight zero zero. Okay, I may have gotten in over my head here. Uh, okay, three one, check back in eight two. 
So those are good. Alt P. Okay, those are set. Okay. And now I'm going to do caps for the local radio, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm yep. going to do uh, control P for long range, or no? That brings control it. control caps. Control so caps. caps always your range. broadcast. Uh, regular caps is just for short range, but control caps is your um, your long range. Okay. It's going to be gunfighter one one. Rechecking in. Something. Yeah, just gunfighter one one. Check back in eight two. Okay. Gunfighter one one checking back in eight two. Gunfighter one one checking back in eight zero. Is that did they do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just the two, right? Eight zero. Uh, and eight five. Oh, and eight five. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do the multiple. Oh, for fuck. Okay. All right. Shadow fuck. <laughs> fucking shit, fucking shit, fucking shit. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, I was on the wrong thing. Okay. Easy rod. Okay. First one, and then I hit. Is channel one eight zero? Zero zero, or eight? Mm -hmm. It is okay. Eight zero zero zero. Okay. So they go, um, with the exception of eight zero and eight five, they go in descending order. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Oh god. Okay. Uh, so channel one, I'm gonna hit ad additional, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. go to channel two, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so you want additional on what channel you want to be your additional, uh, and then you flick back to your regular channel. And you should see on the bottom right, it should say additional, and then the channel number if it's set right. Does it matter which one's additional, which one's the main? No, not really. Okay. Uh, okay, all right. Gunfighter 1-1, one one, checking in, 8-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gunfighter 1-1, one one, checking in, 8-5. Oh, my God, look at you. Like an old hat. Golly. You love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> you know, when okay. I asked you if there was reading material, I meant it. Like, is there, yeah. golly, like a, like a master class I could take? You're taking it, bub. All right? <laughs> True. You think I do this for everybody? No. No, I know. No, it's true. No, okay, you're right. So unlock the controls for me with the scroll wheel. Okay. And to check with your co-pilot uh, to make sure they have control, just say, is there play in the stick? And then that way, when I move it, I can I can tell you that I can take the controls if we need for me to take the controls. Okay. Okay. Is there so, so is there play in the stick? There is. I got play in the stick. That's great. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take the controls really quick so we can get our Jeep back, because other pilots are going to want to use it. Okay. I have control, I have control, I have control. Yeah. Okay. You have control, you have control, you have control. Exactly. Perfect. Right. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, Spooling, Bay 5, or Lift, Boy. Sling Load Ops, well, Sierra 1, Westbound armor, but Taxi very hesitant. Holding. I can see why. Okay, it's so crazy. now they know that we're going to start the helicopter. We're going to take off and we're going to be doing a sling load with our onboard hook. How's my audio for you? Good? No uh, popping? Clear? Okay, good. Yeah, no popping. You were uh, distorting last time, but I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Okay, no. All right. Um, <laughs> you can be a real bitch. So now we're lifting. Are your earplugs in? They are. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is I'm just doing, you don't need to know this, but what we're doing is a sling load. Okay. So I am using the sling load assistant or SLA on my uh, multifunction display in the pilot seat to see when our hook is lined up with the Jeep. And then I'm going to deploy the hook and hook it up. So now we're hooked. Jeez. We got the Jeep. 
wild. Chase on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1 Heavy has active 3 6, taxi to Sierra 1, westbound taxi to holding, sling load ops. Okay, so now uh, we can take the active runway. And because we're heading north, we're on active 3 6. If we were going south, it would be active 1 8. And the heavy designation just lets people know that we're slinging. Uh, that we're carrying uh, something beneath the helicopter because it reduces our ability to maneuver. Jeez. And then <laughs> Argent, slow I down. hear you. I hear you. I don't not feel that way. In some and way. we're going to gently put the Jeep back. Configure. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 11 one Heavy, Sling Load Ops complete. Back taxi, eastbound, Sierra 1 for active 36, Bay 4, touch, cool down. So now we're back on Sierra 1. Roger, roger. And then we're going to turn on the active. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 11 one has active 18. And we're going to go to Bay 4. Okay. And then once we get to Bay 4, we are going to. Uh, touch to the ground and then spool down so that we can uh, we can work. But now the uh, the jeep's okay. back, so in case anybody wants to use it, it'll be there. Wow. I'm not used to the uh, physically putting things back. Case on ATC gunfighter one one on the deck, active three six bay four. That's fair. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah. You have control. That's... You have control. You have control. All right. I have control. I have control. I have control. Uh, all right, last thing I, I think would be helpful is if I don't have to go to the mouse and keyboard, hit caps lock to use the radios. I know I'm not using them today, but to bind them, uh, would you yeah. happen to know where they are in the key binds, like what sub menu they're under? Uh, hmm. It might be under multiplayer, I would think, but oh. I'm not super sure. Push to talk. You know oh, what? Yeah, push no, talk, it's a, it's it, it, that that's for the actual arma and what we're talking on is is ace uh but oh. i tell you what like instead of going through all that spaghetti yeah. of it uh i'll do it today but then we'll do it we can do it off stream so it's not uh an unbelievably boring because it'll be like exploratory surgery with uh you know your custom keyboard and everything like oh yeah yeah true, you know true, true. I mean? yeah okay so we'll cover the like since i'm co-piloting for you uh we'll cover like the flight basics and that kind of stuff today, and then we can mess with all the radio stuff, uh, like off stream whenever you have time. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's <laughs> do what we were talking about. So we want to make sure our call lights and our regular lights are on, and they are. Our Christmas tree looks good. Fuel is good. And uh, if you hear Christmas tree, that's our our lights and indicators. So all of our indicators are showing that we are not on fire or anything bad happening. Okay. The simple representation for that is in the top left. You see hull, engine, instrumentation. Any torque, main rotor, and sling. Those are the yep. six like general areas of the helicopter, but there's like 30 or 35 different things that could break. But if one of those changes from white to orange or white to yellow or, heaven forbid, white to red, that means that there is damage there and we're going to have to get repaired. But we're good to go. Okay. So as your co-pilot, I'll let you know, uh, Paul, we're good to go. Christmas tree is good. Fuel is good. Everything is good. And we are lit. We are ready to go. Okay. All right. Uh, spooling up. I guess I should okay. radio for that. Based on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, spooling, Bay 4, active 3-6. Jeez, dude. So hit your right bracket. So you got the P, Papa, and then your left bracket, your right bracket. Hit your right bracket. That should change the display okay. on your multifunction display in your in the cockpit. So oh, you got like yeah. your, your map, you got your crew look. That's the SLA, which is the sling load assistant. And then you have your RWR. Normally, I keep the map on my right. And then if I'm using another display like the sling load or the RWR, I keep that on my left. But it's totally up to you. But that's how you switch your display when you're in the cockpit. I had no idea. Okay. Uh, what's SLA again? Sling load assistant. Sling load assistant. So when okay. we just slung the, the Jeep, that's what, we, that's what we used. Okay. I think I'll turn that one off. I'll just get the map on for now. Yeah, it's helpful. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, so we're going to want to spool up and then apply collective to get lift. And then we are going to take active 36 straight out. And we're going to make a left hand, a long, lazy left hand turn and come all the way back. And then we'll practice touching down 
and doing all that. So whenever you're ready, I already put the call through. So we're good to go. Roger that. Should be spooling. I don't know. I feel like I'm turning the engine off and it just keeps turning. No, off. no, it, it was my fault because uh, we did the control switch, but I didn't release the control. So I still had it. So now you should be good. You have control. Oh, okay. You have control. You have control. I have control. I have control. I have control. Oh, there she goes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, UH1. Woo. Very satisfying. Oh my gosh. She's spooling so fucking good. So good. So fucking good right now. Does it ever turn to daytime here, or is it just perpetually yeah, night? Okay. It will. So right now right. it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. You can check that by holding down O as an Oscar, and that will bring up your wristwatch. Uh, ah. So we got a couple more hours of uh, darkness, and then uh, then it'll be daytime, and then, okay. you know. All righty. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1 one one has active Tree 6. Okay. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, clear, active 3-6, dousing candles, transition 8-2, check-in, adjust outbound departure, tree, tree, zero at Cherubs 2, Gunfighter 1-1's one, outbound. Okay, so scroll wheel while we're making our turn here and go down to your uh, call lights and turn them off. Okay. And then hit L as in Lima to uh, deactivate our uh, landing lights. Very good. Okay, up, up on the collective, up on the collective. Still alive, bro. I'm alive. You like? Oh boy. Oh, I'm in the middle of it. I'm in the middle of it. Paul, can you hear me, buddy? I can hear you. Paul from Odin, 8 Oh, God. Just please get down. I can't hear anything. Paul from Odin, 8 Who's getting shot at? Uh, uh, this is, this is Paul. This is Paul. Long range. Eli, comm check. Gunfighter 1-1 one, one from Odin, 85. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, Odin, 82. This is Gunfighter 1-1. One, one. This is Gunfighter 1-1. One, one. Gunfighter 1-1. One, one. I don't know if I'm in the right channel. Paul, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, Paul, shit. can you hear me, 85? Oh, fucking shit. Ah! No! Ah! They found me! They found me! No! All from Odin, 85. Oh! They found me! Go! Gunfighter 1 1 oh. 8 0. Oh. oh, sweet heavens. Gunfighter 1 1 Odin 8 2. 
Please just lay down. H. What do I have? Injuries? No injury? How's that even possible? Check morphine. Six gunfighter one one eight zero. Paul, get down, get down, don't move. Any available air transport call sign gunfighter one one eight zero. Gunfighter, go for a freight train on eight zero. Freight train tree one gunfighter one one. We are down hard. Grid rev zero nine or eight zero tree eight. Victor Charlie is pursuing us. We are escape evade. Requesting immediate extract over. 3-1 copy, 3-1 is pushing. 3-1 from Gunfighter Crew, we are going to be pushing north towards the clearing, the village at 0 9 or 9 or 0 4 0 over. Okay, Paul. 3-1 copies. Okay, so on ADC, Free Train 3-1, show me okay. spooling PET-5 for CSAR operations to the north northwest. 3-1's lifting. directly north. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, jeez. Thank goodness. Oh, Paul, shit. move past me to the north into that clearing. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Freight train tree one from gunfighter, pop and smoke, call color. Paul, as soon as that uh, freight train's on the deck, call ass, get in. Oh, he's over there. Okay, roger that. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm still crouched. Oh, shoot. I'm moving. Oh, oh shit. I'm so slow. I'm on the way. I'm running. I'm on, I'm on. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. So that's Charlie. Hold. Oh. How did we survive the crash? That'll happen. That'll happen. Um, but we survived that crash for training purposes on escape and evasion. Ah. Okay. okay. So because you don't have your number keys, all right, uh, you'll have to do the alt P to, to set your radio channel. If you ever get down like that, you put out the grid you you're, where the bird is down and request uh, a transport call sign, normally dust off, but any, anybody that can pick you up and get you out of the jungle is good. Uh, and then you move away from the area where the bird is down because that will attract the NBA and the VC. Normally a clear area works best okay, and then, uh, they'll come and get you. On the deck at wow. Five. Oh, no. 
You know what I mean? Dude. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um. We talk. We dog over here. It's a little loud. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, yeah. So. I don't think I'm ready. Um, Why would you think that? I well, I you see, I've crashed two choppers now. Yeah. Uh, and the key binds, I don't think, are in the most comfortable position. You know what That's I'm saying? Fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm How not... about this? Uh, why don't we do this then? Um, you can ride with me as my co-pilot, and we can fly okay. the gunfighter, and that way you can kind of be immersed, right, to help with the learning pro. Bold, but foolish. What? Uh, that will help with the, the learning process, but maybe it won't be uh, kind of fire hoses. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be okay. good. Lovely. Come on, Paul. Okay. Hey, Thank you for the pickup, Newt. Have you get that one with the uh, the mini guns in the doors? What's up, Newt? Nah, I said get the one oh. with the mini guns in the doors. That thing is a, a riot. <laughs> you want to fly with Paul? Newt? <clears throat> no. Then shut your goddamn mouth and get that freight train. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's 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 all right. Yeah, like I said before, uh, the pilot. You know, uh, there's a certain. The first thing I kill is the fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he knows yeah. that. He knows that. Okay. All right. No, that makes sense. All right. Let's hop in this one. Run into that team uh, thing again. Okay, so, uh, what did you change your dossier button to? Oh boy, I don't remember. I did it with I did it with Tenchi. Yeah. Uh, so okay. hit escape. All right, all right. And go to game mode, uh, keybind. <clears throat> game mode. We want the one okay. that says task roster. All right, well, let's see. Game mode, keybinds. I don't see game mode, keybind. There's a there's a thing in, in the top left. Do you see game mode? Oh, at the keybind, top left. Welcome menu. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> uh, roster is set to nine. Okay, so that's what you're going to want to hit. Let's go over to the supply officer. All right. And we'll swap your team. Okay. It's a lot. Chaz, a lot. It's a lot. I feel like I need to get better at just... Uh... Hey, I did it. Okay, so now that we're at the supply officer, okay. when you come over and hit nine, it'll bring up your personal file. Yeah, yep. And I'll change this to Green Hornet. Mm-hmm. Okay, accept. You can also see all of your awards and everything there. Uh, so, like, when you get ribbons and, and stuff like that, you can also see special training. Uh, if you click on any of those things, like uh, your name, you'll see all the ribbons that you've earned and awards and, like, all of that fun stuff. Yeah, I got a combat infantryman badge just then. Yep, yep. Wow, look at that. A wound medal, not the type of medal you typically want, I think. Well, I mean, uh, you know, normally that'd probably get you right home, but uh, in the digital Vietnam, that that doesn't get you anything. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm a Green Hornet. Shelly D with the sub. Hey, dude, no worries, Shelly. You're good. You're good. Um, aircraft. So the Green Thanks, are the pilots, and so it only allows the pilots to get into the pilot seat, the co-pilot seat of the, the aircraft. Oh, okay. So now you see in your scroll wheel, unlock vehicle. Oh yeah. Yep, so just scroll over that. There you go, now okay. it's unlocked, we can get in. Okay. Look at that. Hot dog, we did it. Hot dog, we're rocking and rolling. Whew. I'm gonna do our radios real quick. Yeah, uh, what does the Christmas tree and the fuel look like, Paul? Uh, everything is green, everything is good to go. Uh, fuel is good. Fantastic. I forget what I was supposed to say exactly, but we're we're lit. No, that works. I got the information I need. <clears throat> no, there's freaking no. Oof. Bro. <laughs> the equivalent of Eli teaching his son how to play catch. I do. I thought Sarson Sarson hasn't had a lot of keybinds. Yeah, dude, this is wild. I gotta put the radios on my on my joysticks. Gunfighter 1-1, sign back in 8-2.
Gunfighter 1 1 signed back in 8 0. Gunfighter 1 1 signed back in 8 5. Controls. 5 by 5 on 8 0, Gunfighter. Hey, Eli. Yep, Paul. What's 5 by 5 mean? 5 by 5, that means 5 out of 5. Like you're uh, of, of 5 possible points, you have all 5, which means uh, normally it's uh, like brevity for good. Oh, okay. Is that, did you ask me that because Chad asked you to ask me that, or did you ask me that because of aliens? I asked you that because I wanted to know. You love to hear it. Yeah. So the famous line in Aliens, when uh, they first take off, and she's like, I'm in the pipe, five by five. Yeah, A bunch yeah. of the aliens nerds are like, that, that's the wrong call. Did it, did it. Technically, they're right. But oh, let's really? say we got slotted, right, for an infantry pickup at the active AO, yeah. and they pushed this IP Buick to BP Sidewinder. We uh -huh. check into our IPs and our BPs, and then if we were on approach, if they called and asked, you know, gunfighter, what's your sit rep? We could say, we're in the pipe, five by five. Oh, the shit. pipe being the navigational information that we were given. We're tracking on the right azimuth, and we are good to go. Okay. Or like if somebody does a radio check, like gunfighter one, two, or freight train, we could respond, you're five by five, which means that we can hear them perfectly, versus you're weak and unreadable, you know. Uh, All right, okay. So there you go. Okay. Damn, noted. Case on ATC, gunfighter 1-1, one, one, one times UH-1 Delta, spooling, pad 4 holding for Sierra 1, eastbound taxi to active 3-6. Jeez. You also say Lima Charlie for loud and clear. Oh, damn, okay. <clears throat> Bart Fox, who's we? I sure his name is Bart Fox as well. The radio receiver right, has a signal strength there. Five is the max. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you have play in the stick, bud? I have play in the stick. Good man. Okay, so key up on 8-2 with your short range and say Gunfighter 1-1 one, one has Sierra 1. Gunfighter 1-1 one, one has Sierra 1. And that just lets everybody know that we are taxiing uh, eastbound on Sierra 1. What is Sierra 1 exactly? Sierra 1 is secondary 1. Uh, normally, if there's like a main road next to the active runway, that would be Mike 1. So, see that little road next to active 36 to our like uh, 9 o'clock? Oh, yeah. That's Mike 1. Main 1. Sierra 1 is secondary 1. Huh. That little dirt road? Am I reading that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Mike 1. Oh. So, like, let's say we had a fast mover and he needed the active. Oh, you texted on Mike 1. Yeah. But helicopters are great because we can take off from the vertical, like, and we might do that if it's like a priority call or something. But uh, in general, if you can, especially with other aircraft, if you can take the active, then they know where not to be so that you don't get smacked. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So it's almost like just uh, for, I don't know, uh, whatever sake, we just taxi like normal. Oh, like yeah. Like we have to. Okay. Safety third. All right. Now that we are away from the active in Mike 1, call on 8-2, say gunfighter 1-1, one, one, clear of the active. Dousing candles. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, clear of the active. Dousing candles. And that means we're turning our collision lights and our landing lights off. And that we are, uh, now that we're, candles are doused, call back, say uh, adjusting outbound, 020-11 is exiting the airspace. Okay, hold on a second. But say it one more time. No, it's cool. Uh, so what, what direction are we heading? See the little compass in the middle of your screen? Uh, a little digital representation? Should have the cardinal directions and then a number above it? I don't have any uh, uh, HUD other than what is on the physical okay. bird. You see a little compass in the very middle of your screen with uh, numbers above the cardinal directions? I honestly cannot tell which one is which, man. I think I'm you're sorry. looking at the dials on the helo, and it's on your on your screen. So if you move your head, it moves with you. 
There's a little compass middle of your screen at the oh, bottom oh, of the screen. Oh, I'm okay. Two eight. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. no, that's fine. That's helpful. So if you as you turn your head, the numbers change. Oh, that shows you yeah. your azimuth. Okay. Okay. So three six, which is the active we just took, is three six zero or triple zero. So now that we are changing our outbound, uh, the the nose of the helicopter is headed to the zero one four. So that way we, we're letting the other aircraft know that might be coming in that we are not at 360 anymore. And you just call in and say, gunfighter 1-1, adjust outbound, 0-1-4. Transition from 8-2, for check-in. And basically that's just telling them we're leaving their airspace, where we're going, and that we're not going to be actively monitoring the air uh, field comms anymore because we're going to switch to the ops channels. I see. Okay. I want to, that seems like too much for my brain to handle all that. No, no, it's fine. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's not too much for you to handle, Paul. It's just, you don't know where the information is coming from. So it sounds like gobbledygook. You know what I mean? It just, <laughs> it, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like Latin, right? But that's the information <laughs> we're giving them. Okay. Um, so go ahead and key up on eight, two and just say, adjust outbound zero one four transition from eight two eight zero eight five. That's it. Gunfire one, one transition from zero one four to what? Uh, so zero one four oh, is perfect, and then say checking out or checking off or transferring off eight two and check in eight zero eight five. Transferring off eight two, checking in zero eight five. Okay. Is that right? No. Um, <laughs> let's move it up. Dude, I'm oh, sorry, man. It's okay. I'm trying to keep track of it. You know how you get good at something, Paul? <laughs> how do you do it? You suck first. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dude, that is okay, so, so many what we're numbers. Doing right now is we're flying NAP. And okay. NAP is anything below cherubs one. So hundreds uh, are cherubs. Thousands are angels. We won't be using angels at all. Oh, uh, that's okay. for fixed wing aircraft. And so, like, we can deconflict with different things if there's a JTAG. Okay. But in general, if we are below uh, 100, which you can see our elevation uh, on the left-hand side with the Christmas tree, if we are below mm -hmm. 100 meters, then uh, enemy aircraft will have uh, a lot of difficulty distinguishing us from ground traffic. Uh, oh, so okay. normally it makes us a lot safer from air threats, uh, but it does increase the risk from, uh, uh, you know, enemies on the ground. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Jeez. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to push to a couple of different spots and you're going to help me as the co-pilot. <sighs> okay. So open up your map. Okay. And scroll to the very top. You see that spot that's all red that's uh, marked active AO? Uh, yes, active AO. Okay. So hold down left shift and then left click on uh, one of the LZs near that active AO. I think there's two. Are they marked in particular? How do I they know what an be LZ is? In green with a little arrow that looks like it's touching the ground and then bouncing off. And it should say LZ and then something. Oh, I see. Okay. High life. LZ high life. Okay. Very nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly out there and we're going to do ISR, which is intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, so that we can make sure that the LZ is clear for the other pilots for when the infantry go in there and make sure there's no booby traps or uh, mines or uh, trees, power lines, whatever, blocking the LZ. Okay. Jeez. To the left, did I miss something? <sighs> this is some flying, buddy, let me tell you. Oh yeah. I'm not even showing off yet. Oh, shit. I'll let you know. I'll be like, hey, Paul, here I go showing my giant balls again, and then we'll do something <laughs> cool. <laughs> I love uh, I love the slicks, especially um, the one you chose, the Delta, because yeah. she's she's so light and, and maneuverable. It's really nice. Because uh, normally I fly, like, the heavy uh, helicopters, like the 4.7 or the 5.3. Yeah. And they are not as responsive uh, when it comes to input. Is that what uh, was his name? Trainwreck or 
or no? Was the call sign? Uh, freight train. Freight train. Yeah. Is that what that is? Freight train? Yeah, that's the heavy lift helicopter, the CH-47. Oh, 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 okay. You were flying that yesterday, though, didn't you? Or last yeah. Week? So the infantry controls everything, uh, just like in real life. Uh, oh. So if they need us to do something specific, like swap to a different airframe for something that they need, then we swap. Uh, so yesterday when you were on, uh, they pushed me from the gunfighter <laughs> frame to the uh, freight train so that I could sling that tank. Oh. The, the tank's way too heavy for a, a medium lift helicopter. Oh, sure. Someone's recommending my call sign be train wreck. Okay. That's appropriate. I get it. You hate to hear it. I get it. Gunfighter 1 1, check in, check out. IP Buick, push tree, tree 6, BP Sidewinder, adjust 270 for that. ISR on LZ. Paul? What's up? Sorry? You... What was the name of the LZ, bud? Oh, uh, oh shit. Um, LZ. Oh, high shit. life. High life. High Back. life. <laughs> Paul. High life. It's called high life. I swear to God, if you were doing a quake shake during that, <laughs> you'd be very disappointed. I was not. I was okay, so hit J as in Juliet. Okay. And then look out the right side window. You should see a small pip. That shows you uh, where the location on the map is relative to us for reference. Oh. So you can okay. use that, like if they call for a pickup or something in a specific grid, you can use that little pip to orient yourself when you're on approach. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we're not going to touch down because uh, if there's mines or something, we don't want to explode. Okay. And this looks pretty clear. There's a couple of hooches that were here, but they are burned up, which probably means that there are uh, some very nasty uh, hombres in this AO, likely uh, some of the higher tier VC guys, because they go around, they will capture civilians and burn the hooches and do all kinds of horrible shit. Really? Oh yeah. Gunfighter 1 1, check out from LZ High Life. Push 0 9 or 0 for ISR LZ Miller. Motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you hear that uh, pop, 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 pop noise? That like rattling noise? Uh, yep. Yeah. I mean, okay, gunfire. So, yeah, if you, so we'll, we'll take a lot of gunfire today, make no mistake. But that, <laughs> that sound where it's like you're hearing the snap and then you hear pop, 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 pop. Yeah. That's the sound of an anti aircraft uh, emplacement oh. versus us being shot at by the infantry. So we're going to get shot at by uh, by infantry, by tanks, um, by other aircraft. But that one's important because as a gunfighter, we're going to be asked to go in and pick up like wounded people or deliver ammo or, and all that other stuff. So knowing that we're being shot at by an anti aircraft gun is important because that means we need to change like change our heading immediately and push to a different area. Because we can't survive prolonged contact with, okay. with that. Okay, sure. Jeez, all right. So did we get hit? Um, we did. Um, ATRX, or ATRQ. Now, what's ATRQ? I don't remember. Anti-torque, right? Anti-torque, okay, yeah. Yeah. So hull, engine, instrumentation, anti-torque, main rotor. Now, how bad is the damage? It's red, real bad. Okay, red means either destroyed or barely operational. Okay. Okay, so what we have right now technically would be called non-operational damage. Ah, okay. But we're we're doing this for training purposes, okay? So that's going to happen, right? We took some yeah. fire. We have non-operational damage. Now we have to go back to repair. Okay. So we're going to put it out there. GCJ Tech Gunfighter 1 1. We're going to be checking out IP Buick. Push case on for non operational damage, anti torque failure, and a hydraulic leak. God so man. now you can see that that Christmas tree up in the top right with the red, it ties to our instrumentation at the bottom. So if you look in the middle console of the helicopter, you see the uh, caution alarm for hydraulic 2. Uh, I do not see it. It is the one that is lit up uh, in the middle in orange. All of mine are red. Every single one of these is red. Yeah, those, those are the, the backlighting for when it's nighttime, so it, it doesn't um, 
put too much light on our faces, which makes it easier for the snipers. But yeah. in the middle console, you should see only two buttons that are oh the uh, lit up. Yes. Yeah. I see it. Hydro. Our, okay. Yeah. Those are our two caution uh, warning buttons, and then our our uh, anti torque uh, is yellow. So that way you can look down. The, the Christmas tree tells us there's a problem, and then I can look down and see what the problem is. And it looks like the anti torque is not functioning for us because of a hydraulic leak. But that's Got just it. for us. They don't need to know that. So unfortunately, Dude. when a helicopter is flying like we are right now, uh, mm -hmm. as it reduces speed, uh, the anti torque becomes more important. Uh, we can't really manually set our trim. Uh, you could probably do it on your um, on your flight sticks. Mm -hmm. But basically, the trim is to offset or a presetting for the anti torque to offset the rotation of the blades. Because the blades are rotating, it's going to naturally turn the ass of the helicopter without our input oh. and, can, and can cause uh, uncontrollable uh, spin. Okay. So the anti torque just kind of neutralizes the turn of the main rotor blades. Okay. So without it, uh, once we reduce speed, uh, we're going to have a hell of a time. <laughs> all right okay all righty good to know so if you notice though we're keeping up speed so i'm able to maintain forward flight yep if you get hit uh and especially if it's an anti-torque hit the best thing you can do is increase your collective and lower the nose to increase your forward speed past 150 150 okay that will neutralize the anti-torque <sharp> uh, because right now we have no anti-torque whatsoever uh, sometimes you can get away if they just barely ding it. Uh, you can get away with uh, still using your inputs. But now, um, nothing nothing we do with the anti-torque is going to matter. It's completely destroyed. Good Lord. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so. Makes sense, yeah. In helicopters, you Makes trade sense, speed for altitude. Okay, yep. And we are going to have to climb over this uh, terrain here to get towards, to get back to Quezon. Yep. So we will likely start to spin, uh, and then I'll show you what I was talking about, about dipping the nose and increasing the collective to neutralize the spin. Okay. So you can see now she's starting to fight me a little bit because of the speed reduction as we're climbing. And once we get below the speed where she can fly forward uh, with that uh, malfunction neutralized, she's going to start to spin, probably to the right. Oh, okay. Probably to the right. Golly. Physics. Yeah, I guess so. So we just want to use the inputs to neutralize the body roll mm -hmm. and keep uh, keep going along the same heading. And then once we clear these mountains, I'll dip the nose so we can uh, get a little bit more speed and we can control ourselves. So now that we can see the airfield, we want to let the other aircraft know that we have an issue and that we're on approach. Okay. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one -one, show us approach your airspace inbound heading. B 180 for active 18. Gunfighter 11 is declaring non operational emergency, hydraulic leak, anti torque failure. 11 is lighting candles. So now everybody knows that we're, we're coming in and we're shot up. So mm -hmm. they should yield uh, any other traffic that's going on or adjust their outbound to compensate for the fact that in here shortly we're not going to have very much control of this aircraft mm -hmm. because we're, we're declaring an emergency. Okay. So I lit our candles, which is our, our call lights and our landing lights. Okay. And now we're going to start approaching active 1-8. And we're going to flare to reduce our speed. And again, once we get down to a certain speed, uh, she is going to start to spin on us. Oh, boy. Okay, there's the spin. Okay. And she's spinning to the right because we can't offset the uh, centrifugal force of the main rotor blade. Okay. See that? Yeah, I do. I do see it. So I'm going to dip the nose. When we come around, I'm going to dip the nose towards the south, grab some speed, increase collective, and pitch down, and see how it neutralizes the spin. Wow. Okay. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So wow. if there were passengers in the helicopter, they will be quiet so you can focus because they know that like you being able to focus is the difference between them dying in a fiery helicopter crash and not dying in a fiery <laughs> helicopter crash. So they'll be quiet and respectful. I bet. And they won't be on the intercom 
yelling everything possible, uh, especially hot tips. Oh. Let's see about that. They will be yelling hot tips. They will be yelling and carrying on and acting like absolute circus animals. So the most important thing you can do is say, shut the fuck up! <laughs> and that is probably the most important thing to a, to a recovery, especially if you're fucked yeah. up, because uh, they can't help you with the chattering. No. And all it's going to do is distract you, right? So no, Yeah, of course. Now we're going to go in for our emergency landing. Okay. Oh, boy. So we're starting to spin, oh, right? Yeah. We want to, what do we want to do to neutralize the spin? Nose down, collective up. Absolutely right. And it might take a couple of rotations, right? Because we were headed south, and now we want to go north. So we want to go nose down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. Oh. So that happens. Yeah. Quick! Yep. Free train through by. Should be spawning a pet five for a CSAR so operation now what we to do? southwest. Uh, we have to radio for Why evac. Not? Copy right. that. So they're watching the stream um, and using that information in the game, which makes me unbelievably furious. Like my <laughs> balls are tingling right now uh, with fury. But yes, we would want to call for for evac. So what yeah. channel do we call on for evac? Um, uh, that'd be long range, uh, mm -hmm. eight, eight zero bingo. Okay. Bingo. So we would call for evac and then they would come and pick us up. Okay. Okay. That is very important, especially cause you don't have your quick keys, uh, for your radios. Yeah. So as the co-pilot, like when we're flying today, just keep it set to eight zero so you can hear the air to air traffic. And that way, if we go down, like if I was killed, mm -hmm. uh, you could still call for extract. Okay. 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 All right. So well, it's that, uh, that should bring up your medical menu because you rebound it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how you check yourself for wounds. So All anything good, yeah. that's not, uh, like, okay will be a certain color, and that will let you know that you have a wound in that area, like you're bleeding or whatever else, and, you know, that, that way you can patch it up with your medical items you have on you. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So let's let's go back here really quick. We won't tie up the freight train uh, with the call. I'm just going to use our magic. Okay. Oh. Which? 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 Okay. Oh, hey. Oh. You all hey. right? Yeah, no. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. So uh, the VC and the NVA can hear us talking <laughs> to one another, and they can hear your radio. That's right. So yep. uh, if you do get shot down, remember how I told you with the uh, the voice volume? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to set it to whisper. So now uh, just outside of like being mm. very close, no our voice, that will make it more difficult for them to track you. What's the key bind for that again? It's left control tab. And there's three settings. It's whisper, talk, and and yell. Ah, okay. Okay. I was on the, ah, whisper, talk, and yell. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna give us just I'm gonna give us another helicopter real quick, but because we were in a slick, um, it should have respawned on the on the pad. Okay. But we're gonna cover the emergency landing because uh, it's better to do it now when there's not anybody rolling around. Yeah, no one's really on I mean? yet, and we're not tasked um, rather than when we are tasked. Sadly, yes. when we get shot up uh, and everybody's on, it'll be at the worst possible moment. Normally, when uh, they need us to do something that's very very important, and that's when we're gonna get shot to pieces. Perfect. Very yeah, good. Yeah, life, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. What is that? Vietnam, you know what I mean? What's that big boy over there? What? Oh, the, uh, the okay. gunship? Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking gunship. That's, oh, that's, ooh, that's cool. Goddamn gunship. You like that? You like the look at that? That's sick. I like that a lot. All right, we can take a look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to call at the ATC, and then I'm going to fuck our anti-torque up so we can do the emergency landing. Perfect. My word. <laughs> Whew. Have you tried driving a tank, Paul? Might be your style. Yeah, I think I might want to stay on the ground. 
I hear the ground might be my way to go. So technically that was a hot start. That's right. Yep. See, there's a guy down there. We're gonna fucking squash him. Bitch! Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. call him a bitch. You hear that? Oh, he definitely heard it too. He doesn't like that. Oh, that's right. Nice. It's really cool to watch them locked in. Oh, good G Force. Woo! A freaking lock, man. How you gonna mess up the anti torque? Uh, I am going to go into the guts of the helicopter and I'm gonna flay the anti torque with my mind. Wow, that's incredible. Yep, here we go. You ready? Oh, okay, yeah. You fucking ready, Paul? You fucking ready? I'm ready. No, I'm ready. Fucking shit, here we go. Oh, sh oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Dude. What Eli knows how to do right, in the so server is do? terrifying. Uh, nose down, collective up, slowly. Yep. So it helps if you pick a direction. So we're going to want to go towards the airfield. So I'm trying to nose down as we spin in that direction to generate more speed towards the airfield. You see how it's starting to oh. slow down? You only nose down when you're in that direction? That's in general, yeah. That's what you want to do. Okay. Um, because it doesn't matter what direction the cockpit's facing as a helicopter. What matters is the direction our blades are pushing us. Okay. All right. You, you remember when we talked about that? Yes, yes, yes. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1, show us enter your pattern on the uh, upwind or base final active 3 6, declaring operational emergency. Any torque failure, hydraulically. Gunfighter 1 1 is lighting candles. Okay, so now we they know we have an emergency, and we're going to try to get to a repair bay, or at least get on the ground, so we can bring over a repair vehicle and fix it up. Okay. So That's I'm going right, to try to maintain right. the forward momentum as best I can, <clears throat> while reducing our altitude. Because once we flare, it's going to uh, it's going to increase our altitude, and there's okay. not very much we can do about it. We have to flare to reduce our speed. Flaring is uh, resetting the main rotor, correct? To level flaring is when we ne when we nose up oh nose up got it that's right so like to reduce your speed when we were talking before about like the five degree nose up that's that's flaring that's right okay okay so what i'm going to do is i want to head to the northeast so i'm trying to maintain our forward momentum there and then uh what i do is when i get close enough to the ground i yeah. will actually cut the power to the engine And you can hear the, the turbine starting to spool down. Yeah. And what that does is it starves the anti-torque of RPM so she can't continue to spin us. Wow. And if we're closer to if we're close enough to the ground, we should just land nice and soft like that. Okay. I, okay, I'm, so now we're gonna get out. I'll show you how to repair. I might just land like that all the time. I'll let you. Oh yeah, okay. well, I mean maybe you get good at it. That's not bad spinning. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So when you get uh, out, uh, when you're by a repair truck. Uh, when you're buying a repair my truck uh, and you have a toolkit in your inventory, you can use your uh, Ace Interact key on the body of the helicopter. So we'll walk up to it. We'll hold down the Windows key, left Windows, go to Interactions. Okay. And then go up to Repair, Full Repair. I don't have one of those in my inventory. That makes sense. Um, okay. Check in the inventory of uh, the helicopter once we get our real one. Uh, when we go back to check in and there should be a toolbox, you just go ahead and grab that. Okay. And the cool thing about that is, is like if we're shot out in the jungle or something like that, but we're managed to save the frame, we can at least repair it to the point where she's flyable and then get her back, you wow. know, away from the people that want to kill us. Okay. Okay. All righty. All righty. Let's do this. Uh, so now let's hop back in. Okay. 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 So ATC gunfighter one, one R and R is complete at Sierra three show a spooling for uh, taxi. Active three six. So notice our, our Christmas tree is all back in the green. We're all good to go. None of our yep. uh, terrifying lights are on. Just the normal lights. Okay. That's good. Normal lights are on. Yeah, yeah. We don't want the terror lights. No, 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 no. Don't use your mind. That's exactly right. I 
think it's crazy that Eli's doing all this with mouse and keyboard. Okay. And then once we clear this runway, what are we going to do? Uh, radio our new heading. God damn, you're good. Do it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what it is. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, I, I really don't. So how would we find it? Like if I asked you, Paul, we, I need the heading or we're going to die. How would we find the heading? Well, I, uh, the bottom middle, right, is where we're right. currently what heading. Is this, uh, what does it say? It says seven. Okay, so that's what our heading is. So when you tell so, them that we're adjusting our heading, it would be 007 would be the adjustment, and then they need to know we're not listening to 82 anymore. We're going to be listening to 80 and 85. Okay. Gun and fighter 11, heading 007, hopping off 82, heading on to 8085. Excellent. I don't know if that was appropriate or not, but. No, that was exactly right. So okay. you'll learn the cadence. But the only critique there is the, hey, you, this is me. Um, but that's fine. Oh, that's it was right. On eight, it's on A2, right? So that's fine. Okay. But once we're on, like, once we're getting tasked with stuff, uh, there'll be a bunch of infantry units that'll be operating on the ground and doing different things. So if you put stuff out without letting people know who you're talking to, you could get 50 responses or no fucking response. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, that could be That could be bad. Okay. Do so you start but with who good. you are and then you say who they are? So, hey, you. This is me. Hey, you, this is me. And you'll see that when more people come on uh, with the radio traffic, if it was reversed, right? So if it's like, hey, this is me, people aren't going to know to listen. If you go, hey, you, uh, right? So if somebody goes, yeah. gunfighter 1-1, one, one, I know immediately there's some a message that's coming for me. Gunfighter 1-1 one, one from 1-2-8-0, adjust heading, you know, and, th and then I know that that's something for us. I see what you're saying. Say them first. Uh, who was right. I talking hey, to just hey, then, you, technically? You're talking to the uh, air traffic control or doing what's called a net call, which means you're putting information out on a certain radio channel to no one in particular, but you're passing information that's necessary for everyone on the channel. Oh, okay. So what would my okay. appropriate uh, wording be there? Uh, you, you did it. So we would say, you know, case on ATC, gunfighter 1-1, one, uh, one, clear, active 3-6, adjust outbound heading. Zero, zero, 007 Dallas Candles transition from 828085 for check in. Got it. Okay. Okay, so this spot up here is called Hickory Hill. Mm -hmm. If you are a history fan, this oh. was uh, a, a hill that kind of infamous in terms of uh, resistance from the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong. We had yeah. this hill secured, which you can see by the green uh, color, which means there's no NVA hard points on the hill. Okay. Um, but as you can see from the tracers that are coming up from the oh. buildings, the Viet Cong do not give a fuck about where the NVA <laughs> put their buildings, and they hunt us everywhere on the map. So it doesn't matter if it's green or not. Um, they will hunt us and attempt to kill us everywhere we go. Jeez. So if you remember when we first got in and Nuke was playing the jukebox and I said, yeah. no jukebox, Nuke, that's because that jukebox is loud. And uh -huh. the Viet Cong hear our radios, our voices, rotor blades, the sound of tank tracks, infantry talking, uh, all of that stuff. They hear all of it. And if you're making noise, they will come to find where the noise is at and kill the thing making the noise. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. No jukebox. So now we're going to do our ISR. Uh, because we want to figure out what's going on. We already know one thing, and that's that Hickory Hill is not abandoned. There's at least okay. one guy in there because he took a shot at us. Oh, yes. Okay. So what is that? So are we going to land there? Maybe. So the first thing we want to do, right, okay. uh, is we want to check and make sure they haven't set up any booby traps. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a low pass not too slow because we don't want to give them a great shot at our face but we're going to do a low pass and look for anything that looks out of the ordinary uh, something that you wouldn't expect to find uh, at a forward operating base in Vietnam in the, the 60s and early 70s okay. that will be an indication that it is probably a fucking bomb i.e. Uh -huh. if we p approach this pad right and there's like a soccer ball right next to the helicopter pad nobody's playing soccer up here buddy I'll tell you that right now <laughs> It's probably a fucking bomb. Um, okay. They can make almost anything a bomb. 
So it, it's kind of asking yourself the question of, like, if, if it were me, would uh -huh. this make sense? You know what I mean? Okay. So, like a jerry right. can, for instance, they can they can rig those to explode. Oh, um, like if there was a jerry can that's way too close to a helicopter pad, that would be a kind of an indication that it might be a bomb. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. um, little things like that. Obviously, trip wires. Oh. Hey. That's not ideal. They transition okay. to a gun? No, no. Uh, uh -huh. So you see uh, the, the guy that had the bush backpack on that looked like he was a bush until he tried to kill us? I didn't actually notice that. Yeah, so oh. they will dress up as bushes and trees, but the way you can tell, bushes never have guns. Yeah, that's, and that's a good... that's something they, yeah. they can't get it through their heads. You yeah. know what I mean? They're like, yeah. how does he know? How does they don't he know? have guns. It's a giveaway. It's a dead giveaway. Yeah, you bushes, know what I mean? yeah. Yeah, famously can't gun, purchase guns. It's a dude who looks like a bush. Yeah. yeah exactly. Bushes can't vote either. People don't know that. Nope, they can't. Can't vote. Okay. So we're going to do a one more pass and get a look at our friends. And based upon what we see, that'll let us know how much of a threat they are. Okay, you see the man? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The man bush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's wearing uh, what I like to call relaxed jungle attire from Lululemon. Uh, it allows, uh, <laughs> it, it, it wicks away the moisture, but allows maximum flexibility. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 of course. That's but amazing. he is wearing an MVA Army uh, helmet, which is those kind of hardened... Uh, jungle safari caps so he's probably oh. an nba regular soldier that is dressed <clears> like uh a vc uh so he's probably not just a local farmer he probably knows what he's doing and has some nasty looking shit oh i actually and, didn't fully realize there was a distinguishable difference oh yeah once they start shooting at you you learn the difference real quick so like the farmers will wear the Lululemon activity gear, but they'll be shooting at us with bolt action rifles, uh, which is going to be very difficult for them to score a hit when we're moving with a bolt action rifle. Yeah. But as you can see, our friends down there have automatic weapons, uh, which dramatically increase their chances uh, of hitting us. Huh. Okay. Uh, good to know. At least now, um, since we did our, our recon, uh, other aircraft that are coming in will know that there are uh, Bushmen inside the compound, mm -hmm. and that they're going to probably get shot at. Okay. Yeah, you see that square that's down on the on the deck to the two eight four? No, I can't quite see that. Okay. Two eight. Four. Let me know when you see it. Oh, oh, that little yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Barely just saw it. So that is a landing pad. Oh yeah. Uh, for a helicopter. Do you notice anything about the pad? There's a box right next to it? Yeah. So, that could be from our guys. Um, because yesterday when uh -huh. they left the base, maybe they had something that they <clears> needed <throat> a freight train or a gunfighter to sling up. Uh, but, okay. it is weird to me that now that the base has been abandoned, that I don't see a bunch of other boxes, I just see one box. Yeah. And it's very close to where we would land the helicopters. Huh. Okay. So I don't know for sure, but if I was a betting man, I would say <laughs> that is a fucking bomb. <laughs> so, you know, like, no guarantees, but if I had to guess, bomb. Bomb, yes. Probably right. bomb. We need, uh, we're going to see if anybody is trained with, in EOD uh, or if we got any infantry guys. So you can check on the map. And it looks like we do have a, um, a medic, and we have a Patton. And the Patton's the main battle tank. Oh, M60? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, he's an M48A3, but the M60 is the later version. Oh, okay. So technically still, yes. But okay. these are M48s, but he's the big thickness. So uh, he, like the Patton is the heaviest <laughs> vehicle uh, that we sling load in uh, SOG. Okay. For the most part. There's a couple other vehicles, depending on what's in their inventory, that can be very heavy, too, like the engineering and mortar APCs, but uh, that's for freight train to worry about. We don't have to worry about that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back Eesh. to Quezon, and we're going to see if we can find either an engineer or an emergency ordnance disposal uh, infantryman who's willing to go back out with us to the... Uh, 
to that FSB, and that way we'll have somebody that can detect the mines and defuse them uh, just in case we, uh, we do run into uh, a <clears throat> fucking bomb. Got it. Okay. I'm seeing now, if I scroll the way out, active call sign on the artillery. Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, so on the, if okay. you scroll all the way out, you should see active air, active medic, active ground, active armor, artillery. Uh, and that lets you know who you got and in what and what they're doing. Gotcha. But we have no medics right now, correct? Well, we have one medic. and Oh, no, we don't. Right. See, the call sign's gone. But we had one before. Oh, there they are. They um, showed up. Yeah, Forever. so that, they'll, they'll put their call signs up and what they're doing. So that is uh, his call sign's grave, grave Robber. And he's using the M113 medevac. So it means that he's a, a mechanized infantry medic. Oh, wow. Okay. Why do I change my call sign? That's like a whole di different thing, right? I'm not Actio. Yeah, that is very helpful. That's very helpful to know that. This is, dude, this is wild. This is wild. Then you put the airframe you're flying uh, because there's different kinds of gunfighters. Wait, were you talking to me? All I heard is... Yeah, I was telling you about the call sign thing. Oh, I didn't hear you that whole time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, so open up your map and go to the mm -hmm. section uh, on the right that is where you, you know, when it applies. So for us, it'd be active air call signs. Okay. Okay, so 1-1 one -one has CR-1. <clears throat> Select the dot, and normally I use uh, black. And then you should be able to type in gunfighter one one would be our call sign. Okay. And then you type in our frame in brackets. Mm -hmm. So we are a UH one Delta. And that's important because uh, it lets people know what they can call us for. Uh -huh. Okay, son, one one on the deck pad three spooling down. Got it. Your call sign's Crossfield? No, so that's our in-game name. Uh, so that way they know who's who's attached to it. Uh, so Gunfighter 1-1 is our call sign. Our frame is the UH-1. Train wreck. Uh, <laughs> I'll teach you how to change your in-game in name if you want to be train wreck. That's fine with me. But they, like, so if they were looking for us, let's say we're outside the helicopter moving stuff around or treating the wounded or, or doing something that doesn't have us right next to the helicopter. Yeah, they would be looking for the names there so that they know who to look for if they need to give us tasking. Got it. Okay. okay. All right, changed it back. You changed it back. I changed it back to yeah to my actual in-game name. Okay. Okay. So let's hop out really quick, right. and we're going to go talk to our infantry buddies. <clears throat> Dude. Oof. Man. Your earplugs out. Oh, yeah, of course. You can hear the wind, the birds. Yeah. So if we get shot down, you want to take those earplugs out, too, because we can hear them hopping noise boys in the, in the jungle. Uh, and it'll give us oh, an idea okay. what direction not to go. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so hit zero. So it puts your rifle on your back. Okay, how you doing? So yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. there we go. You know. And so Zeno is our armor guy. So we want to like he's wearing the armor uniform. We can hit M, and go to uh, the section that says active RD armor engineer. We can see that he's Bulldog Two One. Okay. And he's driving the Patton main battle tank, and then it shows his in-game name. Okay. And the radio channels that he's using. I see. You see that? Yep. What's going on, Zeno? Not too much. Are we looking at staging at Warhorse again? I don't know. We just did uh, some ISR out there, and it's overrun by Victor Charlie. Bunch of dudes. Uh, could be Dockron Commandos or, uh, like, Victor Charlie, like, regional guys. They had some NBA hardware and uh, uh, Lululemon activity suits. Uh, so if we do want to bring that back up, then we're going to need uh, some assistance with securing the base. There's quite a few of them out there. 
and specifically I think we'll probably need an EOD guy to sweep for traps. I can quickly switch to EOD. Okay, I'd appreciate you. Good Gentlemen. morning, Colonel. Good morning, Sign. How the hell are you? I'm doing great now. You love to hear it. Are you a flight medic? I'm trying to, Crazy. but I can't find any med supplies. <clears throat> uh, the box over there by the hospital, Sign, if you uh, ace interact with it, should have all of the uh, medical supplies in it. Yeah, uh, the dust off awesome. Yeah, that you... interact it. Yeah, you have to ace interact, not scroll wheel. Oh, is that new? Yeah, one one yeah. second, sign before you go. So yes. here, Paul is like, this will happen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, people that don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you tell them, and then you tack on a barb at the end so they don't forget. So yeah, watch, I'll show you. Okay. So right. you go over, you use your ace interact sign on the box, and then pop open the arsenal. Okay? Okay. It'll be very similar how you finger pop your own asshole. Now get out of my sight. Oh, ah, shit. shit. So that way, see, he'll remember. He's sixty percent more likely to remember the engagement because of, ne of the negative connotation right there at the end. That's good. That's good to know. That's good right. to know so for he'll remember, leadership. If I need medical supplies, I shouldn't finger pop my asshole. Yeah. I should ace interact. Ace with interact. The box. I see. see. I mean? No, I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. But that's just pilot stuff. Um, or like if you if you're leading a team, um, yeah, you know that's that's helpful. Yes. So you, you, not all the time. You just gotta, you know, you just gotta know. No, I'm sure I'll be in a leadership position here soon. I'm sure I'll I be. I agree. Yeah. So as the gunfighter, because we're a multi-mission, uh, capable medium lift helicopter, yep. what we're gonna do is we're gonna take sign with us as the flight medic, so we can fly as a dust off and assist the uh, mechanized infantry medic for Kazavak until we can get a dust off pilot. So once he has all that stuff, he'll he'll be with us in our gunfighter. Gotcha. Roger that. Zeno, did you get a, a EOD training? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, go ahead and go ahead, grab your patent and get it all kitted out. Uh, make sure all the radio channels and the inventory are good. And then uh, stage that thing next to the 3-1 call sign for a sling out so we can kill two birds, one stone. Nuke, are you ready to yes, clean this tank? I am. Okay, so he's going to grab the tank. And everybody that signs up on the call sign thing on the, man, on the map, Paul, is a team lead. So mm -hmm. he's responsible for that vehicle. And if we needed him, right, so if we fly out there, there's a fucking tank out there or something. Yeah. We would call him and call him, you know, Bulldog 2-1 from Gunfighter on 5-0, uh, enemy tank, you know, here, here, whatever. So that's how we talk to the tank guys. Okay. All right. So now he's going to position that tank for a sling load. And then Freight Train is our heavy lift uh, helo. So Nuke will go over there and sling up the tank uh, to sling it out. Roger that. Okay. I'm just to make sure he's got his diffusal kit and whatnot. Of mm -hmm. course, of course. Nuke, please. Yep. There you go. There you go, Paul. Yes. So let's go over to the box really quick, Paul. Let's go to the box. Because you are wearing an NVA pilot's helmet. Oh. Which might not get you shot, but it might get you shot. Is it? It's the color, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I mean, we uh, normally our helmets aren't the full black or the full white. Like, you see my helmet? Yeah. See how fucking dope and cool it looks? It does look really dope and cool. That's how you know it's U.S. Ah. So just so everyone knows, just because it's Paul's training day does not mean that I will not mushroom stamp you if you fuck around. So just so that's clear. Being helpful to Paul, good. Doing jack. Right. So we go over here to the uh, arsenal. We want to scroll wheel. All right. And then go to helmets. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's change this up. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of very fetching options. I went with air cav. Hmm. See, there you go. I also love the fact that you're already wearing your Kevlar, Kevlar plates. Oh, yeah. That will dramatically yeah. increase the survivability. Let's hey, go. Eli. Hey, Othi, how you doing? Good, buddy. I'm going to take over EOD from Zeno so he can be uh, tank stuff. Okay. Yeah. I what tank stuff is he going to do? I'm a cav engineer as well, so I can help build up stuff. Okay. See, Paul. Now you're cooking with. Now you're cooking with gas. Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel so better I mean, already. Now yeah. you look high speed. Now I look good. Oh yeah. So let's go get our gunfighter ready. Okay. I wish I could walk. Oh, did you save your loadout so when <clears throat> you come in next time, you don't have to do all the selecting stuff? I sure did, buddy. God damn, you're good. <clears throat> Look at you. 
<laughs> Should I change the fatigues? I feel like this is my papa color, my individuality, you know? But Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I mean, if go you ahead. think yeah, I should have, change it. We have it. a little bit of time before we start rocking and rolling if you want to change them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Knock yourself out, man. Wore my PJs to work. <clears throat> Ooh. Come on. Good to see you, Paul. You as well, sir. You as well. How are you today? I'm good, man. How are you? Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. <laughs> that tends to happen when you've got uh training officer Eli on the uh on the job. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Absolute fire hose. Best of luck out there, gentlemen. See you Smile. Okay. Am I clear to join the server tonight? I think so. I think the max is like, I think he said it to like 37 people or something. <clears throat> you like? You might want to check the helicopter. Yeah, the one that says Marines. I need you both to lower your voice. All right. I knew he was there the whole time. You will cover for you, Paul. You cover for nothing. I knew. <laughs> Go on, Eli. Sorry, the whole time, buddy. Just testing you. What? You ride with me now? What? You ride with me now, Paul? No, uh... I got your crew chief spot. Just gonna go ahead and get out. Alright. Uh, read on those guns, OC. Hey, buddy! By five. Hey, buddy. And will you check the other one for me, sir? 200 by five. Thank you, sir. Saw you the whole hey, time. Paul. Hey, man. Freight train tree one from gunfighter one one eight two. Gunfighter, go for freight train three eight two. Freight train from gunfighter. ISR indicates at least uh, I'd probably said one zero. Victor Charlie uh, foot mobiles out there at the LZ. Uh, didn't see anything that looked extra extra suspicious at LZ Warhorse, so I'd recommend we probably put in there. Do you want us to take the flight lead, or would you prefer to take the flight lead and do an insert with the tank over? Uh, have you take the flight lead if anybody's gonna get shot? I don't want it being the bird with his tank slung on it. Roger that. Gunfighter 1 1 has the flight lead. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1, flight of 2, 1 by CH 47 Alpha, 1 by UH 1 Delta, spooling pads 4 and 5. <laughs> oh, gosh. Put our earplugs in. That's right. Good thing none of us have to pee. We all went ahead of time. Am I right, How's, guys? How's uh, the fuel look, Paul? Fuel on the Christmas tree? Fuel looks good. Christmas tree is lit. Good to go. Paul. Oh, fuel and Christmas tree are good to go. We are lit. Thank you, buddy. You got playing the stick? Checking. Playing the stick. Good man. 3 ones ready on your go. 3 one. If I hear that jukebox one more time, Nuke, I'm going to come over there and work you like a fucking puppet. Over. <laughs> Turn that shit off, Nuke! Thank you, Paul. Oh, see, I don't Anytime. like this at all. I get it from both ends. Oh, I'll give it to you from both ends. Hey, oh. <laughs> Be me and the VC. Okay, so uh, Gunfighter 1 1 has Sierra 1. <sighs> okay, here we go. 
Okay, so we're the flight lead. So we called in a group of aircraft so the people know it's not just us. There's a secondary Cassan aircraft behind us. Eastbound taxi to holding for active three six. Case on ATC gunfighter flight of two depart Sierra one for active three six straight out departure cherubs two. Okay, so you see uh, freight train is talking behind us. Three one has Sierra one. Uh, and now we're gonna push. Uh, yep. So if you do exterior, you see him with a tank. Yeah, yep, see him. Wow, look at that. Case on ATC, gunfighter flight of two, one by CH-47 Alpha, one by UH-1 Delta, clear active 36, just outbound departure to 010, Cherubs 2, Dow Scandals, transition from 828085, check in, gunfighter flight of two is exiting the airspace. And now we'll turn our lights off. And we will align to the 015. And once Nuke is in position, uh, he will call on A2 and say uh, Gunfighter 1-1 one, one from Freight Train 3-1 Heavy, 3-1 Heavy Saddle, and that way I know that he's in formation. Okay. Which he's not going to do today because I think he is uh, enthralled by your presence and uh, feels like that will lull me into some type of... Uh, mindset that will not chastise him for doing that so i will flay him the moment we are not fighting the enemy okay well, all right well to be fair paul three one heavy just, gunfighter one one adjusted to very, three very four distracted. inbound for lz miller his uh beautiful eyes the good are... news is i am an expert at problem solving and i can solve that fucking problem for you both right now <laughs> just the but fng boys just an fng is it a really a problem though? I mean, it's definitely a great. It's about I... to be. Freight <laughs> <laughs> oh. train tree one heavy gunfighter one one eight two. It's only a problem when you get oh, lost in those one. beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. Tree of one heavy gunfighter one one eight two. Uh, we're gonna break right to the uh, three six zero. Put our packs in uh, near the LZ, just on the eastern side, uh, so they can sweep uh, quickly for IEDs before you put the tank in. It feels like the, that, uh, heavy holding. It feels like what it I mean, might be like. Said, just Paul B in here is going to make us fight harder. In the real military. So yeah. Man. I appreciate that. Boss. Got something to live for. Exactly. That means a lot. It means a lot. You two are done uh, finger popping each other's assholes. I like to get to work here. Okay. Nice, Paul. <laughs> nice. All right, pack, stand by. Standing by. On the deck, go to hop. Go, go, go. Gunfighter 1-1, package delivered. Dust 0 9 or 0 for freight train 3-1 heavy. Okay, so we uh, put in our packs, P-A-K, personnel and kit. Okay. Uh, that, that's uh, foot mobile infantry. Uh, we delivered them, so we let them know package delivered, and then the dust off is the area we're gonna be exiting from, or, or the area we're gonna be headed. So the other aircraft know down, which way uh, we're gonna be moving. Eastern side of the uh, AO is clear of mines here. And see the freight train uh, now is coming insert. in with the tank, and he's gonna Hold be cleaning that up. Is yeah. the tank in. And notice the Bushmen uh, we saw before. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. See all the tracer fire coming up? Oh, yeah. So U.S. tracer rounds are red in color. Soviet or Russian tracer rounds are that uh, playful on, neon green. Going to be ah. to 110 to the southeast. I think Freight Train might be an actual pilot with all those uhs and ums. Uh, he's testing my patience. That's what he's doing. Ah, oof. Okay. I remember everything, Paul. Every fucking thing. I would love if Jen was the okay, ATC. So It'd be EOD great. called freight train and told them that they swept and that it was good. So the EOD guys have a mine detector and a trap kit. And the mine detector, basically just any explosive residue that's on stuff, yeah. they'll be able to identify it and diffuse it before it explodes. Oh, okay. Train 3-1 for gunfighter 1182. 3-1, 1-1-8-2, send it. 1-1, is 3-1 clear for RTBK's up? 
three one from one one. Yeah, I think you're good to go. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll stay on station here for a moment in case they need uh, an additional ISR, but we can uh, twenty five back there over. So technically, our okay. tasking is complete. Uh, we delivered the packs. So what we would do is we'd bus back to Kason to receive additional tasking. Okay. Uh, but since we don't have all that many bodies, mm -hmm. we're going to stay up here just for a little bit. Because if you notice, um, the VC are very, very interested in killing us because helicopter. Uh, so even big, big scary. With our guys, oh, yeah. <laughs> Even with our guys moving around down there, they would they would much rather kill you or me or both of us. <laughs> uh, so it gives them a little bit of a chance to move without those fuckers running up to the wall and shooting them as they're on the, the run up. Uh, a little distraction play here. Okay. Yeah. Is that small arms fire going to do much to this bird? Mm, not really. Uh, if it comes through the window and hits one of us, it'll do something really gnarly, but... The I Delta is, is pretty tough. She's not as tough as some of the armored airframes, but in large part, as long as they don't get us in somewhere that's that's vital, uh, the small arms is okay. Okay. So remember how we were talking about auto hover and how useful it can be? Yes. So this is one of those examples when a lot of people would normally use auto hover. But yeah. auto hover would make us nice and still, which would make us an easy target. Okay, yeah. So we're just we're doing like a little lazy drift here just so they can't uh, zero in on the, the head and kill us. Roger. That was someone checking in. Yeah. Oh, someone's taking off? Yeah, that's a uh, freight train. So he, oh. he checked in and he had the active and now he's got Sierra one. Okay, so the EOD guy just called on the radio and said that he took uh, fragmentation from a, a VC grenade, so he's ducking uh, into one of the uh, bunkers to patch up. Okay, I didn't hear that. I don't have that radio up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so scroll wheel to um, on your scroll wheel. You see door you gunner crew chief. Freight train three one on the deck. Pad five. I see out. door gunner seat. Yeah, go ahead and swap to that. Okay. All right. So now you should have the port side M60. Yes. So if you right click, like how you would uh, zoom in as an infantryman, that should put you in the sight view. Yep. So you see now, uh, you can see like the grid and you can see the target for the, like through the M60, right? Yep. Okay, great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say hello to our friends down there with the M60. I love that. So I'm gonna fly nice and low in an orbit here. And then if you see any guys that look like not our dudes, you just go ahead and uh, win the heart and minds. Two to the heart, one to the mind. You got it. Trust you, Paul. I'm here for it. I got nothing. That's all right. Uh, so normally a good uh, rule of thumb is when you see those yellow tracers, just follow those back. They, they point both ways. Okay, so, so see that bunker to our left? One. Show me spooling, pad five. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Stay on them. You got one. You got one. You got two. Nice job, Paul. Very good. We'll be outbound on active runway three six. Air cab, baby. For our single ops, three one heavy. Yeah, so those Hafeng Noi boys, uh, they didn't count on the gunnery from the from the air. <laughs> Could we have done that this whole time, more or less? I mean, could we have done that this whole time? What? Kind of just like hop on the gun, do a couple sweeps around, or is that dangerous? Well, not not uh not as a pilot, but since you're the co-pilot, yeah, you can do that. Oh, of course, yeah, okay. Okay, so do you hear that noise? No. He was like, "Happy night!" <laughs> I, <just, laughs> I didn't hear that. Yeah, so that means that there is a gentleman over here to the left that is calling for his comrades that he does not realize you have machine gun. Oh. So let's try to fix his problem. He's lonely, and we should make sure he meets his friends. I have no visual. Bulldog two one gunfighter one one five zero. Bulldog 2-1, Gunfighter 1-1. We have auditory uh, indicators from uh, Victor Charlie. 
likely going to be in one of these bunkers here to our immediate left, approximate reference 09 or 2104. Request you push uh, westbound through the FOB, attempt to identify and eliminate those targets. Over. Now he's busy, but we gave yeah. him the information that there are Hoffang Noy boys over here just hanging out. Oh, yeah. So now he knows. Okay. Is that the armor you give that to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So see the armor that's moving uh, westbound now to go smoke those dudes? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now he's going to probably put a tank shell uh, into one of those bunkers and kill that guy that was hopping noyan. Whoa. Those mines going off? No. Oh. So that is probably either 85 millimeter uh, or 122 millimeter uh, indirect fire from our friends with the North Vietnamese Army. Oh, okay. So since we're good here, we're going to go ahead and check out. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, package is delivered, pushing 180 caisson. So now they know that we are leaving. We're headed southbound, and we're going back to caisson. Okay, got it. So there, here comes the freight train. You see him with the uh, sling load? So us saying that on 8-0 lets him know that we are done with our orbit, and we're going to be pushing out to the south. So that way he can move out of the 180 azimuth and clear that line so he can come in and drop that uh, M113 off. So we don't run oh, into each other? This is Neptune. Yeah, yeah. FSB Warhorse yeah, is uh, clear of uh, any active mines at this time. There are no active uh, IEDs or mines in the area over. Gunfighter cool. 1-1 one, one acknowledge. Very cool. Okay, so he's saying that they swept for mines, and it's good to go. So depending on what the infantry wants to do, uh, they will probably uh, sweep up that that FSB and then start yeah, to store it up with, with walls. Well, so the engineers will start building, and they'll start putting down like uh, helicopter pads and walls and indirect fire bunkers and stuff like that, and build that up to a fire support base. I understand uh, it's a like quote we from the movie, but we can relocate the artillery. Still in poor taste. It's fair to call that out. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1, show me approach your airspace. Inbound heading will be 180 for active 1 8, rolling stop Sierra 1, westbound taxi to holding. Gunfighter 1 1's lighting candles. Okay, so. We will do our approach and our taxi, and then we're going to pick up our flight medic, and uh, we'll put out on 8-0 that we're going to be running Kazavak as well, so in case anybody gets shot, uh, yeah. they'll call us to come and pick them up, and then our flight medic can do surgery and, like, patch them up and stuff in the helicopter. Oh, wow. Okay. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1 has active 1-8. Thank you. Thank you, G-Force. Appreciate it, Burger. Damn. Eli's a freaking good ass pilot. My gosh. Kason okay, one one has Sierra one. Kason okay, gunfighter one one clear Sierra one back taxi pad four touch cool down. Jeez. Okay, so one one on the deck, pad four, spooling down. Dude, freaking perfect. Okay, so now that we're on the pad, Golly. Those things, uh, if you're piloting, if you scroll wheel once you're on a pad, you yeah. scroll all the way down to open master arm menu. Okay, so if you select that, yeah, yeah. it will take you into a menu where you can change the camo oh, on your to... aircraft, and you can also change your loadout. Uh, but oh, most okay. important at the bottom, you can see three buttons that say rearm, refuel, and repair. Okay, so on three, one, okay. Yes, here, one. I don't see those, but I hear you. Um, because you're not in the menu. If you're the pilot. Here, the pilot, I, yeah. we, you can look at it if you want. Uh, I can get out. No, um, that's all right. That's all right. I believe you. Sign, are you in here? Yes, I am. Okay, so Sign's our flight medic. Uh, so he will be doing the yeah. patching of wounds and the restuffing of guts uh, as is needed. Jeez. Okay. But that's what R and R means. So if you hear that on the radio and someone's like, you know, headed to so and so for R and R, that's repair, rearm. Got it. You can also okay. hear triple R, which is repair, refuel, rearm, but less uh, common. Okay, oh, so okay. do one on the deck, spool and down. Thank you, right, Jeff. We got anybody Shit. in here needs a ride? Yes. Thankfully, Dontavious. I did see it at totality. Okay, but where are you headed, Dontavius? Everything up until that uh, point was back just in the clouds. To wherever you dropped me off with the tank and stuff. 
gotcha. I was with them. So he's headed to Warhorse. But you just want to ask Paul just in case, because sometimes you'll get different guys that Odin from Neptune, might not be infantry. They might be LRR or whatever else it is. What's Neptune, LR? Odin 80, send it. Long Roger, range FSB recon. Warhorse has been cleared of all hostiles. FSB Warhorse is now uh, ours. Over. Neptune from Odin. Roger that. Uh, we need to task an engineer with putting up exterior walls to keep Victor Charlie from coming in and scalping everyone to death. Uh, if we do have that already going on, that would be great. If not, we should uh, start to mobilize for that effort. Over. LRR. We're already on it, Neptune. Uh, Zeno is uh, building bunkers as we speak. Neptune uh, from. But Odin. you love Florida, Jim. Love to hear it. Over. Okay, so he they swept the compound. To please. Okay. And he's saying it is clear. Neptune freight train three one eight zero. Uh, which is good. Over Neptune. So now the. Mm -hmm. Neptune, you got uh, engineers down. will uh, start to um, put up walls to keep uh, uh, Victor to Charlie from coming in and scalping everyone to death. Show. Okay. And then. Eli, you're not queued up anymore in Deep Speak. Sorry, can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. Sorry about yeah. that. Um, so they'll open that spot up uh, as, a, as an ATSB and an FSB. So we can relocate artillery there and fire on targets that are farther out and okay. also uh, refuel and rearm without having to fly all the way back to Quezon. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so overall, very good to the war effort. And now we're just going to spin up and we're going to ride this guy back out there so that he yeah. can uh, help Quezon out with that. ATC, Frank uh, 31, yeah. show me spooling, pad right. 5. Going to be eastbound taxi for holding, touch, pull down at supply pad. Quezon ATC, gunfighter 1-1, one, one, spooling, pad 4. Eli, um, yeah, buddy. Overall, like the mission that we're here for, right? Do we not ultimately fail it? Kind of. What? What's the mission? What do you think the mission is? He's on three one so, eastbound taxi to holding, touch to, pull down supply pad. To invade Vietnam and and rule it at New Kings. No, no. I like that energy, oh, but no. Oh, 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 uh, we right. just want to pacify the people that are keeping the people of Vietnam from electing their own corrupt politicians. Yes. They right. deserve that, like everyone. They do deserve that. No, you're right. That makes sense. All right! So oh, once we do succeed, no. they elect their own corrupt politicians, and then all the zones go back red, but for a different reason. Thank you for the, thank you for the raid. Keeps us in a job. Ah, uh, okay. All right, fair enough. Case on gunfighter one one clear Sierra one. This is the sheriff. Tree six for straight out departure. Sheriff two gunfighter one one's pushing. All right, Paul, do the is call. There... You know it. You know it. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Think first. Talk later. ATC. This is gunfighter one one. Uh, heading zero one two. Switching to channel eight zero eight five. Perfect. That was it? I did it? Yep, the information that they need was delivered. Okay, all right. Whew. That was terrifying. So Eli, when, when's the update so we can start diving from the sky? Uh, it can already do that. Oh, oh I can? Dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you have a parachute and you put your backpack uh, on your chest, then you just need a pilot for an airframe you can jump out of. <laughs> Perfect for me, Eli just hits harder. It really does. It really does. My goodness. Beat the radio boss. <sighs> Man. Gunfighter 1 1, inbound for pack insert. LZ Warhorse going to be approaching from the 360 on the recip. What does on the reset mean? So it's the exact opposite. Uh, so I gave them uh, the direction, like I gave them our heading, but said we were on the recip. So that means we are coming from the 180, which is the exact opposite of the 360. Uh, so like if they're looking for our traffic for another pilot, he, he would, uh, since our heading is 360 and we're on the recip, he would look to his 180 if he's to our 360 to see where our aircraft is. So recip is uh, just reciprocal? Is that short for that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it is. All right. Nice. Nice, Paul. Hey, thank you. Uh, look at you with the big words. You shut your mouth! Yep, that's oh. exactly right. 
You gotta watch out with these flight medics. They get all squirrely. Right. That's why you gotta you gotta keep them in their place. Hey, I got the morphine, right. man. I can say anything I want. I'll take a shot. There you go. <laughs> all right. We are on approach. If you say over at the end it makes you meet, uh, seem pro too. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're coming in at 150, about 10 meters below. So we'll need like a 10 degree flare. Okay. And then we will rotate our anti torque. Okay, Sunday so ZZ, freight train 31. Oh, man. going to be lifting its supply pad for outbound and north on active runway 36 for single adopts FSG or oh. So once the skids are on the ground and the packs are okay to hop out. You yep. let them know, you know, good to hop or on the deck, whatever, so they know that they can jump out. Okay. Uh, they should not jump out until you tell them it's safe, because if we are still maneuvering the helicopter, yeah, um, we could kill them. Got it. Okay. Gunfighter one one package delivered. Dust one eight zero. We're RTB case on. Golly, man, this is nuts. It's got some food. Have a good day, homies. Thank you, Markstrom, for the raid. We appreciate it very much, dude. Have a great day. Get some food. We'll see you later, buddy. Eli's skills are like butter, dude. It, it's unbelievable. Eli, what's our uh, ETA, would you mention, to the next heading? To the next heading? Yeah, to the next uh, location. Um, uh, I mean, really, it kind of depends on the infantry guys. Like, the AO's already marked up, and we did the ISR earlier. Remember to check those uh, LZs? Yeah, yeah. So they're clear. Um, if they want to set up the HSB or the FSB, um, that will probably take some time. But what we can do is, if you want to kind of see uh, what the active AOs look like, is we will uh, swap to a Charlie frame so we're multi-mission capable and you can see what the cast kind of looks like. And then we will see if uh, the armor wants to go in uh, with the infantry and we can put them in and, and have them uh, mix it up a little bit. Okay. Is that is that what you were asking or were you just... Uh, I'm, no, I'm well, I mean, that's, sure. that's good to know. That's good to know. I also was curious. I mean, uh, tertiary, right, related. Is there a water bottle I can piss in in this ship? Is there a... Oh, yeah. No, don't worry about that. We're, we're almost okay. back to case on you. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1. Show me approach your airspace. Inbound hitting will be 180 for active 1 8. Going to be rolling stop Sierra 1 westbound taxi to pad 4 holding touch. Pull down. Gunfighter 1 1 is lighting candles. Diapers usually preferred. Gunfighter 1-1 one, one has active 1-8. One, Side of the helo is wide open for that, Paul. Dude, his maneuvering is just... I can't. I can't do that, dude. I'm going to need way more time on the sticks to Gunfighter get in or one, close one, clear, to Gunfighter 1-1, clear, active 1-8, Sierra 1, westbound taxi. One two has active three six transitioning triple R. What's true? Fighter one one, clear Sierra one back taxi pad four. What's triple R? Repair refuel rearm. Fighter okay. two one spooling down triple R. Yep. So uh, he said so. It's a gunfighter two one call sign that's giving that call, mm -hmm. which means uh, because it's a two instead of a one, that means he's not in a UH one frame. He is in a Cobra frame. Oh. So the Cobras are the twos. Two one FSP Warhorse eight zero. And the one one call signs like that are the UH one. So we're wars. gunfighter one one because we are in a UH one. He's gunfighter two one because he's in a uh, a Cobra. FSP Warhorse and oh, we're gunfighter okay. two one eight zero. Two one requesting when oh able. You yeah, but you need to uh, overhead here. We're trying to get in here to uh, build up walls, but we Roger have to push on all sides. You're right back. Okay, buddy. Two one acknowledge. Uh, we will be up and about back, three chat. mics from Kason. Sign, are you good uh, on your medical, bud? Hang on. Uh, have we changed anything the past week? No, no. I mean, on your medical supply, like you found everything in the in the box. Okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I was looking at. It. I think I get everything now. Okay. Okay. Good. Good shit. 
And I believe we prepped the inventory for this bird beforehand, but I'm not certain. Do you have extra medical in there? Yeah, I'm looking now. We have body bags and body bags. and bang. Yeah, we got a lot of shit in here. Blood, bandages, all that other stuff? Yep. yep. Okay. You love to hear it. Yep. Actually, going to the bathroom is not a bad idea. I will be right back. Okay. All oh, aircraft, this net, this is a Neptune at FSB Warhorse. We are taking long-range missile fire from the west. I say again, we are taking long-range fire from the west. Possible uh, fast mover in the area. Over. Fighter 1180, acknowledge. Creature right, acknowledge. Welcome back. This is Bulldog 21 on HC, where I can confirm it was ready. Oh, where's it right there? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Oh, where's it over? Uh, they said War Horse. I got you. And Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, this is uh, Neptune. We lost uh, three of the five people we had up here. So uh, if you could reinsert them. Neptune, 1-1, one, one, Roger. He's on ATC, 3-1, heavy package acquired, going to be outbound to the north. For singlet ops, do one heavy. Case on the DC, fetching three rounds from the exit in the airspace. Hey, I really didn't think you'd still be playing on your back. This is uh, Neptune. The uh, NVA have uh, confiscated our patent. I say again, our bulldog oh, no. is now hostile. Over. Two one acknowledge. One one acknowledge. Hey, so Three one, one acknowledge. One, lifting pad four, taxi Sierra one eastbound for active tree six straight out departure. Case on ATC show two one lifting triple R outbound direct north via active three six. Case on one one S Sierra one. FSB Warhorse, Gunfighter 2 1, enter. Go for Warhorse. Warhorse 2 1, is that patent tank uh, free to fire upon? Gunfighter 1 1, clear Sierra 1, active 3 6, straight out. Oh. 2 1, this is uh, Neptune uh, affirmative. That uh, patent. Case on, is, Gunfighter uh, 1 1, clear active uh, 3 6, now scheduled position 8 uh, 2 8 0 8 5, check in, 1 1 uh, Prosecute to discretion, over. 2-1 acknowledged, uh, free fire on enemy controlled patent tank. What is its location? It is located at the uh, east end of uh, FSB Warhorse. Roger, uh, within the wire? Uh, affirmative. Understood, we'll engage with 20 Mike Mike. Please get all blue four assets to DS, the east side, please. Affirmative, we are uh, clear of the area. You are free to engage. Two one acknowledge three clicks out from the south. FSG Warhorse freight train three one heavy holding until the uh, tank threat is dealt with. Neptune two one are all friendlies clear of the east war. Affirmative. Two one acknowledged in uh, with twenty Mike Mike from the south.
Two one, guns, guns, guns. Two one off hot northeast, enemy tank engaged. That tank's still up, we'll come back in for a reset. A affirmative two one. Prosecute to destruction over. Roger, we'll attempt to decrew it with 20 Mike Mike to not destroy it. If we are forced to, we will engage uh, darts. Gunfighter 1 1 on approach, helipad 1 for pack drop off, inbound heading 360. 2 1, this is Neptune. Uh... Those 20 mic mics are ineffective. Request you uh, destroy it with uh, rockets over. 2 1 in 17 pounders. Pack, stand by. Two one off all these. Good to hop, good to hop, good to hop, good luck. She's still up. Yep, she'll be tough to take down. She's a heavy, heavy bitch. Gunfighter 1 1, package delivered, dust 171, push uh, RTB case on. Advised, she is smoking. We're gonna try to finish it off with 20 Mike Mike real quick here. Two one, guns, guns, guns. Oh, Ashton's been shot. Uh, can you treat him? Yeah, I'm treating him. What did he get shot in? Don't say okay, the quadrum on the quadrum. Quadrum. Jesus quadrum. Christ. Not the jejunum. No, that's safe. Oh, thank God. It's the National Treasure sign. 2 1 in with darts. Uh, so. National Treasure's getting some blood. Actually, you look like you took a couple of rounds, but your uh, vest saved you. Yep, that's why we wear it. It's uh, it's gonna be rough until they can knock that tank out because he's got that 50 cal looking right at the uh, the pad, and the main gun looking at the other pad. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1 should be approaching uh, airspeed. Uh, heading 1 8 0 for active 1 8 rolling stop to Sierra 1 westbound taxi Seven. pad 4 holding. Gunfighter 1 1 landing handles. disabled, however, it is still crude. Yeah, Roger, it is all sorts of fucked up. Uh, we're going to try to hit some rear aspects with the 20 mic mic, that's all we got left. Uh, but it should be um, combat ineffective at this time. We're going to be engaging over top of your head with guns. Call fake. Gunfighter 1 1, clear. Sierra 1, back taxi pad 4, touch pull down. Gunfighter 1 1, train wreck checking in. Hey, buddy. Hey. I don't want you to panic. Uh, two ones coming in for a low pass to the west. Shot. Get some real accurate rounds what? on that, that engine Whoa. compartment. Oh! What? Continue yeah, to steer. So we're just gonna, we're gonna, uh, infantry guys, just stand by one. We just gotta get take pull to the hospital real quick. We'll be right back. I got uh, shot. Come yeah, on, man. yeah. It happens. My legs are covered in blood. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's all right. Come on. The worst thing we can do is panic. 
Okay, yeah, I, I think, I think I'm getting out. Remember how we open up our uh, oh. Yeah, it looks like the awesome. gun yeah, is yeah. destroyed, but the turret is still now moving. Be a good chance so that the uh, coax may still be active. Uh, has the active. Okay. I got, I got, yep, okay. Minor trauma, left leg. Yep, so the, the tank Minor shot bruise. you in the, uh, the, the, le the right arm, I think, and the He's left leg. Uh, 3-1 has CR1 for supply right. pad touch. You say that the tank shot me? Yeah, the guys that are uh, up at the FSB um, were not watching uh, what was going on, and the VC came out of the jungle and stole the tank. The v the VC stole their tank? They yeah. went on the deck, spooling down yeah. supply pad. That's a dishonorable, right? I mean, that's... FSB War Wars 2-1. Oh, no, no, yeah. Remember how we were talking yeah. about the radio uh, reset of, ch of shame? Yeah. Yeah. So... This is the only person left in FSB War Wars. Okay. Roger, now so we're just going to get go knock on that the hatch medic real quick and, and then we're going to run these back out there to, any, uh, uh, now they're fighting our tank. Vietnamese to, to uh, get out of that thing. They are, okay. they are fucked. Can I turn off my long range here? See if you can negotiate in that um, vehicle. What you can do that will be helpful is uh, right, okay, go. left control windows. All right, I'll hold fire. Okay. And then go over to your radios and lower headset. Okay. And that will take your your earphones like down, so your radio will be drastically reduced in the volume. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just got to remember to put it back up once we get back at the helo. Oh, for sure. Like, let's get in the bed. Yep. So let let uh let Simon patch you up. We don't have time to get in the bed, but normally, like if you're infantry, yeah, you could lay down the bed, you could recline, uh, relax. Okay. Yeah, basically you want right. to get off to the side on a bed or in the alley so that other people can go up and down. Right so that. Oh, they still get stuck behind the wounded. All right, you're good. Oh, so do you have a uh, push to talk to team speak or voice activation? Me? Voice activated. So do push to talk because I am hearing your breathing. While I like to know that you're still with us, <laughs> uh, it is uh, disruptive. You know what I mean? Like I'm just focused on the, do you on the breathing. All right, uh, if you're good to go, Paulus Jam, we got uh, we got to run these guys in. Let's do it. <laughs> there was no trick you could do. You could have morphine bomb uh, the vehicle's crew to, to, to uh, incapacitate him. Go ahead and back away from that tank. I'll hit him with more rear up. We got 1300. I see the uh, bullet hole. It's out of the door here. Case on ATC gunfighter one one spooling yep. platform. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they uh, they were trying to kill you. Let me know where about uh, they they weren't uh, as familiar with the patent. Thankfully. Hey, don't worry. Come, come, come. We're leaving. Come on. Right, go go on. Oh, I need a drink soon. Don, let's go. Oh wow. Are we waiting on two packs? Mop. Right now, I'm using button yeah, mouse button four. Right Best one I found so far. The pilot does stream. His name is Sheriff Eli. Sheriff Eli, he's the best. He's the best on Twitch. The best. One one at Sierra one. Gunfighter one one has active three six pushing straight out departure. Okay, so the ATC, gunfighter 1 1, clear, active 3 6, Dallas Candles, position for me, 2 8 0 8 5, check in, gunfighter 1 1's outbound. I have to find the mole. What infantry do I got in here? Roger, I go ahead and use it all whole time. <coughs> Pork infantry slices guys? with juices. You Pork slices. It's still rain, okay, don't okay. worry. Wow. Yeah, do you guys have uh, you guys have an N72? Uh, okay. So Gunfighter 21 said that he thinks he's got the uh, crew. Uh, he got him to jump out of the tank and kill them, but he's not sure. Oh. Partly. Yeah, it's partly on me because I asked uh, Zeno to the only engineer to get out of his tank. He, I didn't realize he left it on the edge of the AO. Love that you can raise and lower your headset. That's really cool. Oh, uh, we Whoops. can't put all the blame on him. I, I tried to switch to engineer, but there's uh, the a limit. So Don't worry, the paperwork will be on your lock when you get back. Uh, my my lock is overflowing with paperwork right now. Oh. 
I see Dalen try to join. Dalen, you getting in here, buddy? Commander 2 1, FSB Warhorse. We're going to be RTB South for a triple R. It's a fair use point. All cast capable on the What's deck. up, Waffles? Minus doing, 40, Mike Mike. Good time to get some food in. We're flying around. FSB Warhorse, Gunfighter 1 1, show us approach airspace 360 for pack insert. Testing. Yep, um, there we go. Angel hair with pesto and um, oh, that's not good. Grilled chicken. You weren't supposed to hear me. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Remember, oh. Remember my first day. On the deck. Thank you, Mike. Yep. Thank you. No fighter one one package delivered. Push one six nine or dusting for caisson. We're RGB. <laughs> You know, Eli, in hindsight, I think this should have been the plan the whole time. A lot of you. Uh, what's that? Uh, you fly, and I co-pilot. Oh, yeah? I think so. I mean, I just, I mean, that, that landing would have taken me half an hour, you know? No. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no. Yeah. No. You'd have been dead way before that. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I mean, there's no chance you get a half an hour to land that bird ball. There's no chance. Maybe about a minute or two. Uh, maybe. Especially with them all sneaking and creeping in the jungle like that. Whew. They'd be all over us like white on rice and a paper plate and a glass of milk in a snowstorm. Yeah, you're probably right. No, you're probably right. Also, forgot those guys were in the chopper, so that's a little embarrassing. Okay, so on ATC, big one heavy package acquired and be out down to the north for some oh, sign? FSP Warhorse. Our flight medic? Oh, yeah, sign. Yep. Yeah, sign. Yeah, that's just sign. Okay, so on ATC, yeah, two one, triple or complete. But uh, we were lucky he was in the chopper because when uh, the tank got tank jacked, um, I I do not know how to put uh, Humpty Dumpty back together again. So if he hadn't been in the chopper, there's a very. <laughs> Very good chance you would have been what to see. Three one clearly active. That radio is really breaking up. He sounds like, like the Empire or something. Yeah, that's good though, uh, because that means that we are just on the edge of the range of the uh, short range. Because he's making his airfield calls, we don't want to hear him all the way out in Botswana. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, now we're coming back into range. That was the three one heavy and the two one calling their uh, departure. So we oh, yeah. we moved out of the. Uh, out of the azimuth for active 3-6, so they would have a clear shot. Oh, okay. No, Derby, I have not. All right. I'm above that. Better than that. Freight train 3-1, heavy, bulldog 8-0. What's heavy bulldog mean? This is bulldog. Uh, heavy three, means uh, the freight train is slinging something. Bulldog. Oh, okay. And he's train calling, he's calling bulldog. Pattern. Oh, okay. Kason 1 1 has active 1 8. Uh, that is affirmative. 3 1 copy. Kason, Gunfighter 1 1 clear, active 1 8. 1 8 has, or Gunfighter 1 1 has Sierra 1 eastbound. Correction, westbound. Oh, look at this landing he's about to do. Look at this. Kason, Gunfighter 1 1 clear, Sierra 1, back taxi, pad 4, touch pull down. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hey, on gunfighter, one one on the deck pad, four spooling down. I right, mean, come on, come on, come with me, guys. Like a glove. Sweet lord, that's satisfying. Oh, wait, I don't want my leg has to get up there. Sweet heavens. Yeah, MSP War 2 1 Charlie back in the overhead. I did that. Because we're pilots. Gunfire 1 1, this is FSB Warhorse 8 0. 
We're pilots, so we get a Jeep. Mohors, send for Gunfighter 1180. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, requesting on your next trip to FSB Warhorse, you bring us um, 10 times body bags if possible. We've got a few uh, friendly bodies we need to secure here. Oh. Uh, person calling on 80, did you check in the inventory of the vehicles that are already up there? Over. They didn't. I know. Uh, that's going to be negative because there are no vehicles currently stationed here now. Roger that. Uh, we will uh, take that task. Enough of the ETA nuts on my zero. chin! Hang on, Mike. Let's tango, Mike. Thank you much. Ah. My goodness. All right. There <laughs> she is. Class. So this one is probably one of my favorite uh ones yeah uh if we get the opportunity i'll show you my very favorite Ooh. this one is fantastic okay neptune odin 80 send it is there any way you can uh use your witchcraft to give me engineering powers uh our engineer bulldog is uh when we tried to switch to uh, the engineering role, it wouldn't let us. It said it was already filled. Uh, Neptune, that is negative. That's hard coded into SOG. Uh, so people will need to swap teams or give up their bulldog for the time being. If you want to put that FSB up, if we want to go straight to the AO, then they do not have to worry about that. Over. Neptune, Roger. All right, come on, Paul. Okay. Make sure you give her a chance to sniff your hand. Oh, God, damn it. Okay. I wish she knows it's us. Okay, okay. Fine. I'm hurt. What are you, what are you doing? I don't know. You better figure it out, buddy. All right? You're looking like you're playing dice in the pocket lot of the dunk. <laughs> Free willing it out here. Stand by. Bleeding here, bleeding there, bleeding everywhere. You're bleeding? Bleeding. You don't got time to bleed. All right, thank you. Move it out. Case on ATC, threw one on the decks, pulling down for R and R. All this right. This rocket's a shot. Okay. Yeah, the better to kill the VC with. There you go. Case on ATC, gunfighter one one, airframe change UH one Delta to UH one Charlie. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, airframe change, UH-1 Delta, UH-1 Charlie. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, airframe change, UH-1 Delta, UH-1 Charlie. Okay. You're not queuing up at team speak. What's up, Paul? I saw your mouth moving. You, were, you weren't queuing up anywhere. Oh, you, you can't hear me? I can hear you now. Oh. I just saw your mouth moving, but I didn't hear anything. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, airframe change, UH-1 Delta, the UH-1 Charlie. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, airframe change, UH-1 Delta, the UH-1 Charlie. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, airframe change, UH-1 Delta, Delta, the UH-1 Charlie. Case on, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, spooling, lifting, pad 4, active 3-6, sling load ops, westbound taxi, Sierra 1, to pad 3, touch spool down. All right, we have 20 body bags on this bird. Yeah. Crazy. Dude. I think it is, Kaiju. I think this is what being a pilot's like. I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. This one have the Under Armour you like? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, now we're uh, a cast capable frame. The cast is closed air support. So I'll show you how to do the cast check ins and stuff with the JTAC. But okay. now we have a uh, big boom. Okay. Yeah, now uh, now Charlie will have to fear and respect us. Ooh. Or die horrifically. Oh my. Case on 1-1 one, one Heavy has Sierra 1. Let him put this Jeep down too. Just smooth. Like, I would have like, sent that into Case Narnia. ABC, gunfighter 1-1 one, one Heavy, sling load ops complete. Eastbound taxi Sierra 1 to sling load pad at Sierra 2. My goodness.
case of ATZ Gunfighter 1 1 Heavy has acted 3 6 straight out departure, uh, Cherubs 2 to the 3 6 0 Dallas Candles position for me, 2 8 0 8 5 check in, Gunfighter 1 1 Heavy's outbound. Golly. You got play in the stick fault? Double check. Oh, yeah, yeah. You love to see it. The numbers, what do they mean? My word. All right, so hit the left bracket uh, on your keyboard, Paul. Roger. That should pull up your uh, left side MFD. Yep. And set it to SLA. Okay. Okay, so now what you're seeing is a representation of the box that we are slinging. It's distance from the bottom of the box to the ground. Okay. And the tension on the sling, ro uh, sling load rope. Uh, oh. As well as its relative position in terms of uh, drip okay. from the middle of the helicopter. Gotcha. So if we were looking to hook up something, it would show up as one of those little squares with a dot in it. Mm -hmm. And then when we were right above where our hook could grab it, both of our line, there would be two lines and they would line up green. And then you hit B as in boy, B as in bravo to deploy mm -hmm. our hook. And then it will attach. And that's how uh, you can do quick uh, sling loads. Wow. Okay. Dude never stops it the same with Ark. You do a lot of sling loading? Uh, in a 1-1 one, one frame, yeah, you will. Yeah. Uh, just for resupplies and stuff, but that's basically... So when he called for the resupply um, for the body bags, and we took that tasking, that's pretty standard mm -hmm. for a gunfighter. So we grabbed the box, which is uh, what's beneath us right now, which contains like medical supplies and extra ammo, body bags, blood, uh, food, like everything that they might need mm -hmm. um and so we we're gonna drop that off for him okay gunfighter one one on approach to fsb warhorse inbound heading three six zero for sling load ops resupply just a heads up you lame one this is neptune roger you're clear for uh entry into our airspace for resupply and sling load ops we are, you're gonna be uh carrying two packs back to Case on for roll changes. Over. One more acknowledge. I'm not hearing you through the uh, helicopter radio. Um, do you have the channel set to eight zero? Let's see. Uh, control P. Oh. Help me. Ah. Now I do. There you go. I think. I'm on channel one for the wrong long range. Just gonna try and grab that the body bags. That should be eight zero, right? Yeah, it's eight zero. Hmm. Zeno, do you need a medic? I do. Yep. Is that good? Are we Neptune one one. Uh, let me know when we have everybody. We're taking over. You're yeah, clear to desk. Everybody's in. Roger that. Body bag, good to go. Gunfighter 1-1, one one, sling load off complete, one, package one. acquired, dust 164 RTB case on. Oh, did you put your uh, headset back up, Paul? Double check. Ah, there we go. Boom! Headset. Oh, yeah, I can do a test call out. Good, good job, Bob. That's it, Don. Thanks, guys. Totally forgot. Totally forgot that was even a thing in this game. Jeez. Freight train 3 Look at this That's flying. Are you kidding me? Go for Neptune on 8 0. Neptune, brought y'all another patent up here trying to uh, see if this one doesn't get stolen by Charlie. Over. I am Roger. currently trying to get in touch with We're Sons. currently, uh, have our, uh, tank driver zero. heading back to, uh, Quezon you know, for medical. seven zero. he checked in the steel rain. Okay. Three one copies. Freight train, three one. Three one, Neptune, just make sure you drop it in the two center of the visa stand. 
that for too long? No, it's not too old. Yeah, tons of people still play it. Um, can you just kind of keep overwatch on that tank and tons make people sure still the EMV uh, don't get it? Two one, uh huh. Shortly. We'll babysit it. Appreciate that, two one. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1, show me approach your airspace. Inbound heading will be 180 for active 1 8, rolling stop to Sierra 1, westbound taxi to holding pad 1. Gunfighter 1 1's lighting candles. Okay, off in Zeno, you're all stable, but I need to see in the medical town we're done. Down. It is BBE, yes. just like Paper. 90% covered in bands. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Just gonna get in the medical town. There's PVP as well. But... So, I found out they also just sit on the side of the pattern, too. Yeah, they keep it cash. <laughs> they did what to the pattern? They sat on it. That they um, not only occupy the inside seats, they also just sit on the sides of it as well. So, Zeno, do you Amazing. think that there's a good likelihood that you and I are going to have a talk about securing your vehicle, especially when it's a 60-ton? Main battle tank? Two one has the active. 100%, sir. A hundred fucking percent. Get into the med tent and get patched up. I don't like yelling at wounded dudes. Two on, war horse, eight zero. Okay, yes, sir. War horse, number two one, eight zero. Two they on. They shot Paul with that gun. Like. Just so you know that, so you know. They shot Paul with uh, that gun. Probably. Paul's a father. An hour and a half with the gas I got. They Leave shot me. Case okay, so on, one one, the tank one. Yeah, get out of here, Zeno. They shot Paul. In the legs. In the legs and in the arm. The arm that he uses to hold his children. You're calling a piece of shit. See what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate that. 60% chance increase. 60% increase. Then he'll remember that interaction now. You That's know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. the negative on the end. I get it now. You want uh, some peaches? Peaches? Uh, you oh, know, yeah. I'm pretty thirsty. I probably could use some water. Yeah, we got, I get, we got some extra peaches in the bird. The peaches... Come in a delicious sugary juice, so it actually oh. gives you the water and the food. Oh, okay, so wow! Okay, on the next pull it out. Yeah. How do I access the inventory of the ship? Uh, hit I. Okay. Is in I cannot wait to eat some fucking peaches. Oh yeah, I do say that. And then you'll see your inventory on the right and the uh, bird's inventory on the left. Oh wait, look at that! <clears throat> I cannot wait to eat some peaches. Boom. Ooh. Ration can peaches. Oh yeah. Say less. You right click that, it'll move it to your inventory, and then you double click it, double left click, and it'll say eat, and then just enjoy some succulent peaches. Oh my gosh, they go down so smooth. Oh yeah. Look how satisfying. Oh my gosh, so down my gullet. Oh wow. Oh yeah, big time. I am half. I'm half water though. Still, should I drink something? Is there? Sure. Now, uh, you have got a couple choices. You can go with the canteen, you know, old H two O. Okay. I go with pure hot sauce. Excuse the hot sauce? That's right. Here, I'm going to drop some in there. You know, what do well, I do to start the uh, engineering? Is it control nope, I can't. Okay, uh, so there's something called Tilt's Hot Sauce, which is one of the actual oh. Mac V uh, SOG veterans they like worked with to make the game as realistic as possible. Amazing. And it, you if you drink it, it gives you back hydration. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I carry with me. I just drink uh, the hot sauce. Drink hot sauce? Oh, yeah, full blown, full blown hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, there right, should I'll be a canteen in there, I think. I'll go with the canteen. All right, let's see. I think it's oh, yeah. used to pick up the snakes, suck the venom out, and then uh, bite their heads off to, as an example of the others, but. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, now the VC's carrying them all away. Both dog copies all. Everyone oh, grab a body empty. bag. There's yeah, good enough. bodies at the base. There are uh, our body bags in that supply crate we dropped off. Oh my gosh. Uh, steel rain, this is Bulldog on fire. <gasps> Dude, my brain is gonna explode with this information, man. Explode. <sighs> Eli has nails for breakfast without any milk. Yeah, the man's an absolute... He's just... He's just that. He's just he's a, just a man. Just grizzled. Steel rain, grizzled steel man. Dog on seven, hey, Zeno. Full of hate and rage. Yes, sir. Could you do me a favor and just find the guys that were supposed to be running back out there and see if they might be bothered to remove head from ass so we can get out there and fight the fucking communists? 
Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Fuck shit, cock ass. Now we're here, just waiting on here, here we are, a highly trained and fucking motivated crew of a goddamn Huey gunship sitting here, finger <laughs> popping our own asshole. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're still getting paid. It's all pensionable time, boss. There's no, there's no room for optimism in this burb. <laughs> it's all pensionable time. This burb primary are on export on is holiday. pain. He said finger. Fear to death. I can't even do it. Engineer situation. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, spooling, pad 1, finger. lift for Sierra 1, westbound taxi to active tree 6, it. straight out to departure. Okay, so I'm gunfighter one one has zero one. Okay, so I'm gunfighter one one has active tree six. Good. Need animated emotes? Get some! Once you pop, you can't stop. It's from like finger clocking. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1 1, clear, active tree 6. Dallas Candles adjust outbound departure 015 at nap. Gunfighter 1 1 is exiting aerospace. Is this an actual town here? Down here below? Yeah. You yeah, it was full of uh, VC. Oh, damn. Not anymore. Hmm, what happened to him? Democracy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so Paul, if you look over, because we're a cast burb, mm -hmm. right now Master Arms is off. If you flick on Master Arms, I don't know. See that sight that swings down? I'm not sure where I'm looking. Uh, look at me. You should see oh, a sight that swung down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, yeah. Yeah, so that's Master Arms on, Master Arms off. Gotcha. So that way, you know, if you're going into a friendly area like an airfield or something, it's it's advisable to turn your master arms off just so that you don't accidentally let uh, some of our freedom projectiles off the chain. Makes sense. Makes sense. They hurt. Ugh, I bet. My word. I'm getting better at this, though. Let me tell you. Like I'm getting better at the calls and what people are saying and doing. It's got to be around it, you know? Got to be immersed. <laughs> I'll keep it down back there, Zeno. I'm okay. I believe you wanted to talk. What's that? I believe you wanted to talk to me about uh, enemies... I'm sending it to you right now via my thoughts. The you enemies that you let steal your tank and shoot so me in know, the are leg. You, are you getting it? Yes. Are we going to have a repeat of that? No, sir. God, I hope not. Otherwise, it'll be the last tank you ever touch. And I know how much you love tanks. In fact, I'll assign you to tank cleaning duty. So you have to look at the majesty and sleek lines of the tank and never know what it feels like to be inside oh shit is that what you want no sir all right we'll get it let's get it together this is diabolical not as bad as getting shot with your own tank's 50 cal true imagine the jokes the vc were saying when they stole the tank oh yeah they were hopping on it so fucking hard and this is the funniest thing that's ever happened stole this guy's tank is there any constellation and not saying anything anymore that's true. What the hell do the stars have to do with it? Not in this oh, universe. Oh, goddamn, you're cold as ice, son. You're cold as ice. <laughs> Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, package delivered. Lifting, pad 1, FSB Warhorse, dust 180, we're RGBK, son. That's what you say when you lift off, right? Yep. It's like a red ball. See, you're taking to this like a, like a duck to water, buddy. Come on. Had to be around it a little bit more, you know? Be immersed. Oh, yeah. You're soaking it, You're soaking it in now. That's right. Honestly, as long as we, as long as it doesn't rain, we should be good. Uh, Eli? Yeah, buddy. 
You notice any precipitation outside these windows? Nope. That's just humidity. That doesn't look like anything to me. Mm. Yeah, it's going to get rough. It looks like rain to me. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the weather effects and everything do affect the aircraft. So if it really if a storm happens, yeah, case on the bitch for weather too. If a storm happens and the wind starts going and the rain and everything, visibility be fucking zero. You see this fog every fucking where it gets foggy yeah. as shit. And then uh like the wind will will blow us around. You just gotta compensate for it. It really sucks if you're slinging something. I I bet. Jeez, already three thirty five. Yes. Yeah. Long work day. Hard out here. Yeah. In the jungle. Oh yeah, deep in the jungle. Deep. Hey, uh, Simon, will you do me a favor and check the uh, map to see if we have LRR? Not see anything. All right. When he like gets dry, he uses hot sauce as eye drops as well. What a badass! What a freaking badass! A little chilly in here. I'm not sure I like it. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 11, show me approach your airspace. Inbound heading will be 180 for active, 18. Rolling stop to CR1, westbound taxi to pad one, touch spool down. Gunfighter 11 is lighting candles. Like you just told them what we're doing for the next half hour. Just then. Yeah. So I, uh, like, there's really no, you can do it piecemeal, but I like to get all of it out of there. So now, all of the aircraft know exactly what moves I'm going to be making and in what order I'm going to be making them so they can anticipate our, our traffic um, yeah. just in case. But yeah, normally that's uh, only for, you know, I mean, really, when we get really busy and you get, you know, six airframes and a fast mover sharing the same air, yeah. uh, if you know, the more they know, the better, because then they can deconflict with us. Gunfighter 1 1 and Sierra 1. Golly, man. Gunfighter 1 1 clear Sierra 1, back taxi pad 1, touch pull down. <laughs> 1 1 on the deck, pulling down. Freaking crazy, man. All right, hop out real quick, Paul. You got it. Okay, so now I'll teach you how to feed our burb uh, guzzoline. Ooh. So if you walk up to a fuel truck or a fuel station and yes, you base interact on it, you should see interactions next to this blue box. Okay, try to put my gun away. All right. Yep. Go to Re go to refuses refuel. To do it. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. Refuses to do it. It will do it. It's going to fucking do it or I else. I want you to just put your gun away. Put it away. You got to let this box know what's up. Keep it away. It keep. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. So hold down your, your Wait, windows. windows key. Key. Okay. Yep. Go to interactions. If you can't see it, try backing up. Sometimes you got to back up or get, try from there. Back up. Okay. Back, back, back up. Now try it. Oh, okay. Interactions. Yep. Refuel. Yep. Grab the nozzle. Take nozzle. Holy shit, you nozzle wielding uh, son of a bitch. I took it to my hand. Yep. Now come over here to the burb. Okay. And right behind this port side door, just uh, connect it. Connecting. Boom. Wait, did I do it? Oh. That, that's oh. how you feed the Huey. And it'll just say fueling started. So now she's taking on fuel. Okay. And then when you're done, uh, it should say fueling, fueling completed. You just interact on the nozzle. Disconnect fuel nozzle. All right, all right. It's connecting. And then you just walk back over where you got the nozzle and return nozzle. Okay. And you just fueled the Huey, buddy. That's it? Yep, that's how you fuel her up. Okay. I'll show you how to do the rearm and stuff once we let some uh, of our rockets off the chain. No, of course. That looks fine. That's probably fine, guys. I wouldn't worry about that. Don't worry about Don't that. Burp. Don't worry about that. That's probably fine. Totes. Yeah. That's fine. 
You gonna fire off right. these rocket pods or what? Oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah, we're gonna fire them off, all right. Oh, we're gonna God. fire them off so fucking good. Oh my gosh, they're gonna wish we didn't fire them so good. Oh, they often wish we didn't fire them so good, <laughs> especially with the rockets that we're carrying. <laughs> um, so normally there would be uh, like an infantry lead or LRR, somebody on the ground. And when we move into an AO, uh, we would do what's called an airframe check-in, where we tell them what we're flying and what kind of uh, nasty we have. So yeah. that way they know what to call in. Um, and with uh, the delay of the uh, FSB being recaptured, mm -hmm. uh, we, we're not in an AO yet, but I'll show you how that goes if you are interested. Okay. Um, so we also have a 2-1 call sign, and the Cobra Ooh. is... Uh, way better equipped with murder tools uh, oh, because it's for sure yeah it's designed to be a cast uh bird mm -hmm. so he's got a lot of other toys that he can use okay uh but if we need to because Get we're multi-mission uh we can take cask tasking okay all right uh so let's just wait here for a second and we'll see if we Get any poor, unfortunate individuals that may need to ride back out there. And if not, we will go out and we will attempt to assist them with the um, the setup of the FSB so we can get this motherfucker going. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of just wait here just in case they do respawn? Uh, that is a, a good, solid uh, tactic if you're flying like a gunfighter or whatever. Because obviously if they respawn, it means that they're getting fucked up wherever they're getting shot at. And uh, they're going to want to get back to their as quickly as possible so that we yeah. don't get so the other guys don't get murdered you know what i mean but yes. uh with this fsb so we can build things um that are like supply depots they're called checkpoints and you fill them with supplies uh, the engineers do fill them with building supplies and then that keeps like the walls and the bunkers the turrets all of that uh up for an extended period of time okay and what happened i guess last night is uh, there was either not an engineer on or the engineer that was on forgot to put uh, building supplies in there. So the walls and all the defensive uh, tools and stuff decayed. Oh, naturally. And then, uh, yeah, and then Victor Charlie went in there and, uh, you know, made it his own again. Classic. Which is, uh, okay. which is frustrating, but shit happens when you party naked, you know? Yeah, no, I bet they were naked. Yeah, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Not what you want, you know? Not what you'd no. hope for, for sure. No, no. Your collective has way more buttons than my collective. So yeah, um, because I'm the, in the pilot seat. That makes sense. You want to do some uh, flying pole? No, 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 no. I, I don't sure? think it's a good idea. I think it's probably I'm, for the I'm best. I'm not fucking with you. You can do some flying if you want, Paul. We're not. It's not like we're tasked. No, I know. No, I know. I know. You want you want to do uh, the takeoff? No, I think takeoff and landing might be best for you, buddy. I think can that might be. Can we put the uh, fuel nozzle away? Because it's bouncing all over the back of the bird right now. Uh, yeah, you just uh, ace interact on the nozzle and then take it back to the blue thing and return nozzle. I think what it is is that you might have accidentally done connect nozzle and so it'll return. Return should oh. put it back to its home. That's my bad. That's it's all right, Paul. Oh, geez. Wait to see when I have a fuel fire on pad four. Don't worry, it's raining. No one will know. Oh, shit. I'll just wash it into the soil, and then decades later, there'll be untold health effects, and no one will ever know. Perfect. Possible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect crime, perhaps. I'll be right back. All right. Goose in the F-14. Not in the F-14, but I will be in uh, this guy, which is the... Not a Chinook. This is a... Do you mind if I uh, get in here? Go for it. Let me get this nozzle. There we go. Nice work. Crisis averted. Very good. It's a hazmat prop. No, 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 no. Case on ATC, gunfighter 1-1 one, one, spooling, pad 1, lifting for Sierra 1 eastbound taxi to active tree 6. <laughs> and see, our fuel gauge is that uh, white bar in the top left, Paul. So now it's all the way full because we are swollen ah. with helicopter fuel. 
swollen. That's right. Engorged. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Question for you. Send that. Top left, Iroquois hog army in, in mm -hmm. parentheses, but it says Marines on the tail. Yeah. What's going on there? So the UH-1 Charlie hog that we are flying is the original army configuration. But, oh, okay. Uh, I prefer the Marine paint jobs. Ah, okay. So remember that uh, Master Arms menu we talked about? Yeah. Uh, with the scroll menu? That's how you change the camouflage. And they have camouflages for all the actual units that fought during the time period in this area. That's cool. And you can, you can pick what. Same thing with our call signs. Those are actual call signs for units that were active uh, between 63 and 71. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. No hazmat problem. We're totally fine. We're totally fine. I'm going to get better at this one day. I'm going to be a freaking nuts pilot, dude. Case on ATC, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, clear, active, tree 6, now scandal stitch for me, 28085, check in, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, outbound. Jeez. So much information. How you doing back there, sign? Oh, I'm good. Enjoying the view. You love to hear it. Hey, you know what I found makes this game run a lot better? Send you it. Tell the damn game how many cores you're using. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you put that in your command line beforehand, uh, it can really help out a ton, especially since we have hyper threading enabled. Yeah, really? so 12 yeah. is much better than the one I was telling that I had. Oh, yeah. One gotta core. Have, you got to get, get the cores going. Jeez. Got to set up those cores. So I have over 69 cores. You, really? Yeah. Yeah, SB Warhorse is under attack from the <laughs> east. You proceed oh. with caution, but otherwise you are cleared in. Gunfighter 1 1 acknowledge. Uh, 1 1 checking in. One times UH 1 Charlie Hog. Fuel at 1 0 0. Playtime at 6 0. Mike. Ordinance as follows 2 by 762 M60. Door guns read 2 0 0 by 5. Mike 2 2 9 or 17 pound 2.5 inch, or excuse me, 2.75 inch FFAR rockets read 1 9 or. Mike 156, Willie Pete, any personnel, 2.75 inch rockets, read 1 Niner. Gunfighter 1 1, 1 times UH 1 Charlie, check in from uh, the south into the AO, weapons hot for FSB Warhorse. All right, now we'll click on Neptune, our copy your check in. Uh, Master Arms. Okay. Now it's kind of an abbreviated check in, but now they know that we're coming in, and since they're under attack, uh, we will help to. Uh, Assist. Okay, sounds good. Should I hop on a door gun? Uh, if you, yeah, if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, door guns are 15 times 2, not 200 times 5. Oh, very nice. Neptune from Gunfighter 1 1 uh, on the door guns is going to be 1500 by 2. Thank you for the correction. I was going to give you the well, actually, but. Oh, you're doing it well, actually? Well, actually, to, it's your I fucking responsibility nice. as the crew to give me the readout on those guns. And you didn't do it. So oh, why don't you well, actually, shit. your own self, straight up your well, actually, to ask? How about that? I don't think you heard me. What I said? I heard everything you said. I heard the sound of someone finger popping their own asshole. That's what I heard. Uh, no, Sign, Sign would have had me if he was not uh, in here as crew. If he was a passenger, that would have been a perfect well, actually. <laughs> okay, so now we are in what's called a CAS orbit. Okay. We are sharing um, the airspace with the 2-1 frame. Mm -hmm. And since he was on station first, we're going to deconflict with him. Okay. So we're going to go counterclockwise because the uh, left side door gun is manned. SV Warhorse, uh, enemy platoon attack has been destroyed to the east. We will continue security around SV Warhorse. Okay, so the 2-1 call sign just pushed out that uh, the infantry that was pushing it was coming from the east side, and they have been slain. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Which is good. Yeah, very good. All right, so let's go Master Arms off, and we'll cycle to Flares. And then to avoid an air-to-air -air collision with Ronnie, we will just push over here to this pad. Isn't how small these things are? 
Is there a reason we land on pads and not just on any flat surface? I mean, uh, we can land on uh, any flat surface, but the pads provide you a point of reference. So that way, uh, like when we're doing our calls for lift and departure, mm -hmm. if we say pad one, they know exactly where pad one is, or they can look for a helicopter pad where they would expect to find a helicopter versus uh. lifting and departing anywhere. You would have to give them a, a, a grid uh, or a reference point so they know where the hell you're leaving from. Got it. Okay. If we were to smack into the 2-1, hypothetically, not only would it destroy both airframes and kill both crews, but also all the ammo in both birds would start to cook off. That's and right. those would be dangerous for like five, ten minutes, like because we're both fully loaded. Uh, they'd be dangerous for everybody around here for as long as that ammunition was cooking off. Jeez. Ready? All ready. Look at that thing. My gosh. Which one takes a gunfighter one two? Or uh two one. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna ride with Ronnie, uh there's a gunner seat in that two one frame if you uh, wanna check that out too, Paul. Hmm. That is tempting. Yeah. SP War Horse 2 1 is going to be inbound for landing from the south. If he's got an open seat, I mean, I don't think I'd mind. 2 1 War Horse copies. I don't mind shooting some stuff. 2 1 1 1 8 2. Send. 2 1 from 1 1. Do uh, you mind if I pass you my co pilot for your gunner seat so you can get a look at the Cobra over? Yeah, absolutely. Send him over. Roger that. He's in route. Okay, Paul, you're good to go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, buddy, good luck. Pleasure. Yeah, of course. That's the worst one said. Stands full. Woo! Hello, sir. There you go. Hot dog. So we'll, we'll uh, continue this one, one here Neptune, here you mind if I load a body bag on your uh, bird over? No, you're fine. SB Wars, 2 1 lifting to continue security. Counter clock was around MSB Wars. All right. So, welcome aboard. Thank you. Let it be aboard. Um, you have two weapons at your disposal up there. You got 40 mic mic grenades. Right. Uh, it's a automatic grenade launcher. Uh, what, what do you have equipped right now on the top right? Uh, top right, I have 40 mil. HE. 40 mil, okay. Do you know how to switch, like, switch your fire mission, like, with your sot, with your weapon and stuff, change from full to semi-automatic and all that? Uh, no, I would assume the default is B, but I don't know. Uh, I think it's try F and see if that changes to the 7.62 minigun. It sure does. Okay, yeah, all right. That, those are your two weapons. You got a okay. minigun. I think there's two cyclic rates. Yeah, looks Whenever like. Whenever you uh, see the full bar, uh -huh. that's the that's the highest round per minute. Okay. The uh, the three bars is the lower round per minute. Okay, Roger that. Yep. I don't think the forty mic mic has that. I think it's just you can you can literally just hold hold your fire button and it'll continuously fire. I believe. Oh damn. Okay. And uh, you can zoom in as well with that sight. Um, on your number pad, I Ooh. believe it's plus and minus as default, I think. Everyone's got the numpad around here. I'm marking a 10 keyless. Goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you may have to rebind that to get the zoom function to work then. All right. All right. So I don't think just the normal looking down the site. I think that if you just press right click, I think it just puts you into the site itself. It does, yeah. Funny, I can zoom in, but I to... can't zoom out. That's funny. I have to work on my keybinds. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm fully zoomed in oh. right now. But all right, well, all. if you see ahead of us, we got some contact seals, green tracers. Negative. Put that crosshair. Twelve o'clock. Okay. They're gonna be yeah, right above oh. one. Or, I yep. see him. Go ahead and put those tra put that crosshair on there and engage with that forty mic mic if you can. Forty mic mic. Saturate that a tree line. Yep. Uh, Roger that. F. 
Uh, left click the fire. Yeah, saturate that tree lump. Continue fire until I tell you to, to hold fire. All right, hold fire. We're coming around for a left hand pass. Hold fire. Okay. Whenever I say hold fire, please hold fire because, uh, okay, stand by. We got to hit these guys with rockets. We got a shit ton of them. All right, I'm going to set you up upon this hill. You can get some practice with that 40 mic, Mike. Roger that. 2 1, Neptune on 8 0. Neptune is 2 1. FSB Wars under attack from the east again. We are currently engaged. All right, see if you can uh, hit those hit those boys with that 40 mic, Mike. Uh, you have to aim pretty high. The ballistics, obviously, it's a heavy round. So okay. just kind of get the feel for that. Just put, the, put those rounds in that tree line. Yeah. I'll keep it gradually moving so we don't get shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah there you go. And just kind of uh, Kentucky windage it, you know. Adjust where you're firing based off the splash. Roger that. See by volume, they, clearly. They're uh, enemy fast air overhead, FSB Warhorse. Okay, they just they just dropped the bomb on it. Hold fire. They just dropped, Meg just dropped the bomb on the FSB. Oh, damn, okay. We gotta start skidding fast. Chance we'll get shot down. I have no way of seeing a missile coming in, so. Oh, no? Normally, normally, yeah, no. This is, this is, this is old school bird here. Normally you just you just die instantly. And you, but that's just how it goes. All right, we are coming back around. Same area. If you want to engage again. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to stay fast because of this red air now. Okay. So I can do something about it. Where they should get done zoom. Oh yeah, we need to we need to figure that out for you. Hey. Okay. Zoom in, zoom out, that, that'll help you out a lot. Okay, so on ATC, freight train through one heavy, show me spooling pad five, eastbound taxi, BSCR one for active oh, yeah, three AI, six, yeah. on the north, first thing uh, is so through one heavy. There's a good chance we'll get plucked out of the sky by MiG-19. Think so? Yeah, it's likely. Let's see what happens. We may be too low for them to be able to lock us. This this glare is killing me, dude. Yeah, the glare. I think it's because heavy, we heavy took a uh, we took a couple rounds through our windscreen and it has destroyed the windscreen. Ah. Uh, so that center windscreen now is going to be fucked up for you. Heavy has active three six. Pushing. Oh yeah, and north. there is a glare off that optic too, if I remember right. Perfect. And yeah, the sun is behind us whenever we go over for this engagement. So yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's not going to be. Yeah. Uh, we'll kind of slow down here. I think he may have he may have fucked off. Back pointing toward that area. The contact would be to the 108 if any of you are still alive. 108, Roger. Slowly creep up the hill, get a better shot. And just watch for those green tracers. You yeah. see him, shoot at him. Okay. They have killed most of them. I think you're right. Oh, there we go. Oh. Kill those. Kill those guys. So there, there's a couple close. Gonna hit them real quick. Okay. All right, hold fire, breaking left to kill this dude underneath us. All right, we're gonna reset. We're gonna fall back a little bit and reset. Okay. 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 Pretty far. All right. A couple guys real close to us, off of our uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. We're taking uh, some type of a fire as well. Oh, yeah, there's shit. there's some type of vehicle over here. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys want rockets? Okay. All right, stand by. We're going to get fast. There's a vehicle over there. Let me see if we can check it out. Okay, we just destroyed it. Perfect. It's dead. Dude. The zoom. The right, zoom was... Let's get engaged. We're going to be off our left. Left? Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, I see the tracers. Oh, and we're dead. Oh. No. Wreck recovery. No, dude. That glare is real bad, dude. Fallen Angel, Fallen Angel, Fallen Angel, Gunfighter 2-1 down hard, uh, Grid Rev 095-101, pushing for CSAR. What got you guys? Uh, I think a rocket, right. I don't know. Oh shit. Respawn it is. Getting it back out constantly. I'm hitting it twice. Yeah, Tough. Welcome to flying in the Cobra. Yeah. Wow. Normally you just uh, instantly die like that. Most likely a red arrow with AA. We got hit that's with AA, you think? Most likely, yeah. Uh, that's how it normally goes now. So you have no idea what we got hit by? No. Normally you don't. Normally you just get. If it's a if it's an AA missile like that, you just get absolutely smoked. Jeez. It could have been one of those 57 millimeter, millimeter A guns as well, but I don't think any of those got close to us. Damn. Apparently, they can they can immediately kill you like a missile. Oh, jeez. Okay. But, uh, I don't think I've actually encountered one of those yet. I gotta redo the radio. Damn it. Yeah. So now we gotta go recover that vehicle. Okay. So we gotta take a slick out there like we're flying. Okay. And, uh, we gotta go grab that son of a bitch. Okay. I, I gotta reset my radio. radio. Okay. Uh, all right. Control. No. Okay, it's not control three one has a Sierra LP. one. Westbound taxi. Pad five. Back taxi. Pull down. Golly, I get the down. notepad yeah. out, chat. That bird normally is face first in the middle of enemy contact, so it is never a surprise to get absolutely murdered in that thing. Especially whenever they call in and send red air after you after you've killed about 200 of their guys. Oh, I bet. I bet they don't like that. No, they don't. No, they don't. But we gotta. We just. We just gotta keep going. Fight. Okay, on ATC. Everyone on the deck is pulling down. Right, once you got your radio, radio, ready, we'll head out. This, uh, this way. Roger that. I do? Yeah. No, they I know that. Doing the wreck recovery. That's fantastic. Our right, last radio. Only, only the pilot that was flying the bird does the wreck recovery, but sometimes people will uh, take care of it for you and get the... Oh, nice. Always thankful for that. All right. Main and additional. Done and done. Okay, good to go. All right, sweet. Now we just wait. Looks like they're recovering it now. Good time to work on the keybinds. Yep, good time to work on the keybinds. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's try to figure out your zoom. No, no there's freaking not. That'd be a good thing to figure out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's see if I can find it first. It's been a long time since I've messed with that. Let me try to find it myself. Do you imagine? Zoom temporary. Okay. Yeah. All right, so press escape. Yep. Go to controls. Okay. 
L. It's in your uh, so on that drop down menu, that yeah. show drop down menu. Go to view. Okay, I'm there. Scroll down about halfway down. You'll see zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, not the toggle one. You want the the just zoom in and zoom out. Now, what does okay. that say? It's it's bound to right now. Uh, zoom in, mutton bu mut okay, so mouse HTC button five. Train three one heavy. Uh, uh, zoom in five. Uh, number. Lifting but... eastbound taxi CR one for active three six outbound on the north five. for okay. single ups. Only thing is. Zoom out. Mouse button four. Uh, it's not. It's uh, zoom out isn't on anything. It's on number. But um, mouse button four is my push to talk, so that's tough. Yeah, let's let, let's just change this completely. Uh, zoom in, zoom out would be uh, perfect for that. What about your like arrow keys? You have your arrow keys down. Okay, so three ones lifted. I do. I do have arrow keys. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, oh shit. No conflict. Okay. Now, find zoom out, arrow key down. Three one has the active. Three one is pushing. Okay. Now, out back. Pretty good. All right. Uh, are the, are those by themselves, or is, does it still does it still say zoom in, mouse button four? Plus um. See free train. Three one heavy. I want me to take my headset off. Dust and candles stretch from A two to A two. Check in. All right, sorry, say again. Um, uh, now you need to delete, if you have anything left on zoom in, delete whatever key bind is left on there. Like oh, the like, mouse okay. button four thing, delete that. And so to where it's just up. It should be, it should just say up, I think. Or arrow up or something. Yes. So zoom yes. in should be arrow up, zoom out should be arrow down. Perfect. Yeah, that's uh, it. We will, we will test this once we get the bird back. Make sure you can do you can use it. Can you use it right now? Oh, it's also on movement keys. The arrows. I don't know if that really matters, but your arrow key. My arrow keys are also W and S, the, double uh, bound. Yeah, you, well, you might want to delete that as well. Oh yeah. You, you're not gonna need to move on your right arrow keys. <laughs> no. But, God, unless no. you're a madman. <laughs> um, that'll be in uh infantry movement. Infantry movement. Show drop down, infantry movement. Delete, got it. Yeah, delete all those arrow keys. <clears throat> and if that bind doesn't work, we can try something else. That should allow you to zoom in and out once you're in that optic. That might help you some. It's so normally by vanilla, if you have a full keyboard, it's on your plus and minus uh, numpad keys, if I'm not mistaken. All right, there comes our bird. Yeah. All right. Hello, hey, let's get in this Jeep. I wanted to inform you that I'm realizing what I just did, chat. I'm realizing what I just did. Controls. View. Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah. Zoom in. Mouse button five. Delete. One one two one. Appreciate the, the uh, number. Delete. Just up. We tried to get over there before you guys burned up, but there was a shitload of Victor Charlie. Yeah. Up. Did you see what, uh, took down zoom the out. Uh, we were immediately killed. Uh, Delete. That's the usual story in the 2-1. Uh, Delete. No idea. Could have been a A missile, could have been an RPG, but I didn't hear the swoosh. Normally, you hear a swoosh of the RPG come in before you yeah. get murdered. But so then I didn't do it. Hold on, hold uh, on. Sweep. I could have sworn I just did it correctly. Infantry movement. Maybe I didn't save. Roger, I hit OK, good. and it just hit escape. Right, are you ready? Okay. Almost, real close. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. 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 Let me just do that really quick. Controls here. Infantry movement. View. Make sure the zoom is correct. Zoom in. Good to go. All right, so we, let's go see if this zoom in thing works. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, you okay? I, I just did a little somersault. Are you, I don't know. Are you all right? I don't know. I think I, I think my, both my legs are broken. Oh, my gosh. You just broke oh your ass. I'll be done. I 
been through worse. Damn. Hello? Hello. Sign. Hello, sir. How you doing? Use the stick while in turret. Well, bottom uh, button we, 20 should be the now. thumb button. Uh, and then your trigger ago, is we button 22. Yeah, really? Uh, oh, because you have the same I sticks as me, don't you? On the ground, right below, I'll try to use that as well. Yeah, I'll see if the trigger we does anything. We tank round as well. Who knows? Uh, yeah, we, it just went we, by so fast I couldn't see it. We destroyed one vehicle over there. But uh, there could have been more. That might have been what I saw then. Good luck. Yeah. Good hunting. All right. Good seeing you, sign. You too. I also use the sticks. Secondary trigger pulling is two two. Right, our bird is way over here. Jesus! Oh, sorry, sorry. The engine. Sorry. Oh god. <laughs> sorry. My bad. All good. It's all good. Shot the. I shot the jeep. All good. Uh, the engine. That makes me feel a lot better. Every time we have a fix link up doing cap, that makes us in the Cobra feel very very good. What happened in the camp? That norm, uh, whenever I see a fixed wing get up in the air, that makes us in the Cobra oh. uh, feel very, very good. That oh, nice. That's a very, very good thing for us. That way, we're not out there with our dicks in the wind. Get shot by right here. Don't want that. No, nope. All right, let's see if this thing works now. All righty. All right. So press your up arrow, see if it zooms in whenever you're whenever you're in the site. All right, let's see. It works. Excellent. Okay. Good. Can't control that is good. That, that'll help you out a lot, especially whenever you're using that minigun. Get real precise. Oh you yeah. You are getting the feel for those 40 mic mics. You you see how long it takes for it to drop. A little bit. I mean, it was tough with the zoom, but a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Roger. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Just think of them as you're, just, you're launching 40 millimeter in diameter rocks at the enemy. You know? Yeah, yeah. With just a little bit of powder behind it, it's it's gonna really so love. Jolly Roger 101, break set. Control service cross check is complete. Christmas tree is in the green. And uh, oh, my bad. Jesus Christ. my bad. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> Shot the gun. Sorry. Sorry. In case I need to see two once. I'll read my headset. Five, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. It's all good. Hey. And he's happy. I don't, I don't even think anybody noticed me. Thank you. Yeah, just careful with your left click. Like, even if you alt tab, I think whenever you're left clicking in a different application. Oh, it's number. Odin sent for 2180. Uh, CPG, I think, you know what? I think Is that Eli in the fast mover? This. The uh, trigger switch was very loose on the CPG's uh, yeah. minigun and uh, fired a little bit. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have to get it checked out before we leave. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's 2-1 negative. We're uh, talking to uh, to a Tony down here, head of, head of magnets. We're uh, getting it figured out now. Want to acknowledge? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the for good on. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna configure the pylons real quick and get us some okay. 17 pound um, rockets real quick. Should I? Uh, you may you may have to step out for a second for me to do this. Okay, okay, uh, no problem. I think. Have there been a different radio by the way? Uh, that was on eight two. No, that was on eight zero. I think wasn't it? Eight zero long range. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, you, are you not on eight zero long range? Let's see, let me double check. Yeah. Get uh, on that at eight five. And on your long range radio. I have eight zero on main and eight five okay. on additional. Okay, that's exactly how it should be. Okay. Normally, right. I'm um, sure why I wasn't I here. Put, if you want to get fancy, um, so eight zero is on my channel one. Yes. And I have eight zero in my right ear. Oh, and that's I have right. Yeah. Five in my left ear. You can adjust that on the bottom right there, where it says right, left, and bull. That's crazy. I'll help you differentiate if you miss the. 
that's that's kind of a fan you, you don't have to do that but no no that that's... helps out a little bit yeah let's freaking right, freaking do it uh, do you know how to set the additional channel that switch on the top i think i did that i think i yeah like okay, i have that should be, yeah okay that should be on eight five channel two and then eight, you okay. should always have channel one selected as main correct yes yeah. yes okay yeah all right sweet we're good to go then Bird's good. You got to change the paint job. You, you can go ahead and hop in. Roger that. Yeah, got to change the paint job. You got it. Oh, yeah. I got to change it to this. Uh, it's right here. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's right. Hey, Allah. How you doing, buddy? Ghoul King. Not sure if Ronnie explained, but you can range those 40 millimeter shots with page up, page down as well. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, good to know. Case on two one lifting triple R outbound north. Do you want to acknowledge? Yeah, could have been. He sent all kinds of shit up there to that FSB. God damn. That was that was the second attack they did. There was an attack before that. Oh really? Oh jeez. Yeah, there's like 50 dudes. 50 dudes? Kill us. Yep, case on ATC, 2-1, engineer, space bearing, 3-6-0, Dawson Candles, checking in, 8 0 5 That's too many dudes. Yeah, and that, that we just attacked there was, was like 100, 150, just for that FSB. There's a lot of guys that came out of nowhere. Yep, yep, it was. Still don't know what we got hit by, though, do we? No, we, we probably won't ever know. Oh, Again, that's uh, that's a normally how, how how we die in this thing. We just get immediately blown up, Jeez. um, because we have to have our nose into the enemy at all times. Just, that's how that's the maximum. It's how you murder them quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and effectively, but sometimes it leads. And then uh, having to slow down and stable stabilize a little bit that puts yeah. us at, in jeopardy as well. Jeez. It's a very, very dangerous bird oh, to fly around, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, this is probably the bird I would want to fly around if I was good at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still rain Get in that editor, practice. Odin, interrogative. Is the medical building... There's uh, an editor you I can split use. Ears, a you can thing just launch it in and fly and around. A bit of witchcraft Ooh. practice. So, it is not a building kind of complicated. Engineer. The medics have to at first, the it, it looks overwhelming. Hospital, and then Odin, oh, yeah. I got to practice. You have access to all the animations and all the... Copy that Assets and Mike, stuff, uh, you'll figure it out, you just plop an asset, um, you just plop a helicopter down in whatever map you want, artillery pieces, and just fly uh, around. The time comes, or is that How do you do that? No is that in this server? This is two one inbound from the south, providing uh, security. Up, uh, no, it is in the game, the artillery, so instead of going to uh, multiplayer, you go to uh, single player, Charlie, access to one five five. and then on the bottom it'll say editor. That sounds good, I was just uh, uh, Just click on that, and then you can click whatever map you want, like this map is case on. And then uh, it'll just put you in this map. Remote, however, uh, no assets spawned in. On are still there. Oh, wow. you uh, and can spawn in whatever you want. But again, it's uh, a little complicated. It takes some getting used to to figure out how to copy that. Uh, currently, uh, do stuff. The with the oh, sure. That's a good way to practice. Then there's there's one mission too, like a single player scenario, that you can use to just fly around. Yeah, there, I don't need that. There's no there's no enemy normally. I don't think if I remember right. And you just fly Huey around, and you can practice sling loading and all that fun stuff. You definitely need that. That's probably the best way to start, is with that. It's called Ash and Trash. Ash and Trash? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And again, you like go to like the single-player menu, and I think it's in Scenarios, and you'll see it in the in the menu. So I remember... That's uh, the best way. I thought I was going to be good to go, and then I uh, uh, crashed twice immediately. So I was like, I'm not, not ready. Yeah, do you have any experience flying like uh, an aircraft like this in, in like video games? I fly. I'm pilot. Um, oh, you, no way. Really? No, awesome. no. Sorry. No, oh, that's a quote you. from Independence Day. No, oh, I'm like, sorry. What? No, I... No. God, no. I would hope it'd be better at the virtual oh. if I was that good at the real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it takes... Uh, it just it <laughs> takes time. Just like anything else in life, it takes time. If you, if you want to sink the time into it, you'll get good at it. It's not about... With my luck, dude, I'd, I'd do that, and then Arma 4 would come out, change everything. <laughs> yeah, change, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I was about to make his day. I know. I know. Kept it going. Oh, can't lie to this God. man. What's going on? Okay. I can't lie to this man. Small contact. MSB Wars 2 1. Engage oh, in contacts east of your war. Alright. Like how big they made the viewfinder. Nice. Oh, you're going to love the light show, I'm too. Sure. This thing's fun to use at Ooh. night. I hear mortars. Yeah. Okay, multiple enemy. Uh, 40 mic mic, please. Roger that. Shoot in, shoot in front of this tree line. Uh, okay, F. Uh, yeah. Oh, Switch your weapon to 40 mic. Okay, there you go. I'll stay a little mobile so we don't get smacked again. So okay. it, it'll be a little bit harder to shoot, but... Tell me about it. Yeah, just keep on. Yeah, kill those bad, kill those bastards. There you go. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna keep swinging around like this. Like that. Like should that. Be, you should stay on target though, right? You're got, yeah, you're yeah. Hitting. No, this is good. Yeah. All right. So keep us mobile. Keep us from get. Keep us a small target, and you can still stay on target. So. Wherever you see green tracers, there's some red mixed in there too. Just shoot, sh shoot anything in that tree line. Okay, this is not like our guys. Yeah, this is in danger close. This is in danger close with the red tracers. No, so that those are still enemies. Uh, the okay. only friendlies we have are in that wire on top of the hill. Okay. <clears throat> but anything in this tree line is uh, trying to kill us. And uh, don't forget about that zoom. It should help oh, yeah. you a little bit. Hit these guys a little bit closer to us with a 20 mic mic real quick. Okay. All right, I'm pulling off. Go ahead and hold fire. I'm going to reset for you. Okay. Oh, hold fire. you got it. Two one dollars. All right, there you go. Your reset. Or iron rotor wash or jet wash. Really? 101, zipper 2, 182. 2, 1, firm. Roger that, stand by for grid rep. All right, let's see if I can get a grid with my hands on the controls here. The uh, here. Jeez, hard to see. All right, let's get a grid ref now. Zero nine nine one zero four. One oh one. This is two one eight zero. Here's the other thing. Uh, one oh one two one. Grid ref's gonna be break. Zero nine eight one zero four. Grid ref zero nine eight one zero four. Uh, south to north strike. Uh, reference Dickie. tree line east of FSB Warhorse. That's well, I don't understand a word. We're going to pull off, let him hit that with Nape. Okay. Napalm? Yeah, yeah he's, he's coming in with Napalm. Quick little war crime. acknowledge, we are pulling off west uh, to avoid uh, that fire. Let's just watch the fireworks now. That's going to look good. It's going to look real good. Oh my. Is that Eli dropping Napalm? Yeah. That whole tree line to our 087 is about to light up. Case on ADC, freight train 31, show me spooling pad 5, can we lifting eastbound taxi via Sierra 1 to active 36, outbound of the north for pad drop off. Can, you, can you hear him on the radio? I can hear him say that, yeah. Oh, good. All right. That means your radios are good. That's excellent. I think you were talking to someone else, though. I couldn't hear. Freight train 31 has Sierra 1. Here, here it comes. Ooh. 
a lot of napalm. You're seeing napalm? I don't see any napalm. Stand by, it's, it's coming in. You just, you just drop it, you just drop it, you just drop it off the rail. Oh. Whoa. Wait. Uh-oh. What? What's uh-oh? I didn't see the napalm. I didn't see the napalm either. Drop it short. Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh! Wait, what the There's one. Oh, oh, there's another. Okay, they're coming in real slow. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. Who's dropping that again? Is Eli? Eli, yeah, yeah. In what? Drop it off the F. Uh, the F-14. That's that's oh, the F-14. No Do I acknowledge BDA 100 by 100? Excellent work. Uh, we'll give you something if it gets heavy again. Looks like you calmed it down. Jeez, just dropped. Eli just dropped napalm on him. That's crazy. Do you want to acknowledge? My word. Right. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of napalm. It's a lot of napalm. My word. Watch for stragglers. They're always in the frickin' A A pillar, dude. Oh, okay. There we go. Do you like it sideways like this? I think that's probably better, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. Yeah, nose on's a little difficult, if, if I remember right. That's yeah. CPG. Then I'll try to give you... So right now, you're about 2 o'clock off the nose of the bird. Perfect. Well, I'll give you 2 and 11. We are... Whatever I'm setting up for you. We are out of 40 mil. Out of 40 mil, Roger. Switch to the mini. Is there a reason you like to start with the 40? 40 is way more destructive. Uh, uh, okay. That's that's the most destructive weapon you got by far. Okay. The uh, mini is pretty good. Like right now, you can just pinpoint people. And oh, we got a bird coming in overhead. Three one two one. We have your trap. We're underneath you. Two one. We got eyes. So now ooh, we got enemy enemy artillery coming in. We gotta we gotta get moving. Oh, okay. It's enemy IDF. Is that indirect fire? Yeah, yeah. Indirect fire. Love a heavy I artillery that. piece. I knew that. I knew that, chat. We gotta stay moving. If we just sit in there, we'll get smoked. Place is all lit up now. Two one eight. Yes, one, one has yes it is. One eight taxi Sierra mm. Tree R and R. Can't believe as soon as I left Eli's bird, he got in the F fourteen. <laughs> you want to be his wizard? What a friggin' monster! I was like, I want to be Goose. Uh, yeah, you could. You still, you can if you want to. Oh my gosh. Try to kill these oh, bastards. Yeah. That a minigun. See if you can zoom in and get in on those dudes. Oh, gosh. It's like there's a few on that hill to the right, two o'clock. Oh, yeah. There's some guys right off our right. Want to hit them? We're we're going right up. We're getting real close to them right now. All right. Here, hold on. I'll just go ahead and kill them right now. Oh boy. Okay. It's hard to reorient, especially in the dark. Yeah, it's all good. I know. I don't normally sit up there in the CPG, but I know it, I know it's a handful to keep up with where the fucking bird is at. I'll try to communicate as much as I can. Sometimes I just move because I, you know, I just move. Just move I just move around a lot. <laughs> no, you're good. What's British goose? What is that? They make a great goose. Thanks. Appreciate that. Drop some standoffs. Sierra one has Sierra one. You can drop, yeah, uh, white phosphorus in this smoke server. Over there? Yes. Oh. Is there a Willie Pete on this bird? Uh, negative. 
We can get Willie Pete rockets, but all I have is high explosive rockets. Oh, uh, okay. The anti tank high explosive. All right, I'll give you a nice hover here. See if you can find that dude off the two o'clock. I know I saw his tracer. So that'll be due east from us right now. Okay. Try to zoom in and find him. Okay, sign ATC. Oh. Oh. Three one on the deck. Pat five, spooling down. The ricochet tracers or something. It's like he popped panic smoke. Where you were shooting was a direct shot at us. Yeah, you yeah, may have killed not... him. He may be, he may be I gone. I think I did. Oh, there's a guy. I think there's a guy crouching by that rock. Yeah, hey, uh, I think this is a dude right here. Stand by. Okay. Reset. Oh, dude, no, oh, let's smoke. Jeez, I wish I had a floodlight, you know. Yeah, I know. Right, um, I have a light. Oh, hold on. No, uh, you can't control that light though. It just points down. It's not very useful at all. Oh yeah, I didn't see it. The light is on right now. Oh yeah, does that help three, at all? One, it's two. too low though, isn't it? It's too low. Yeah. Jolly Roger, uh, we got a couple of straggler packs. Uh, you want me to take them in or leave that taxing for you in one one? Uh, right train, you if can only. take them if you want. Was... Uh, I can take them, but I would have to jump out of the F-14 uh, from the cap call sign. So as long as uh, everybody's aware we won't have any top cover for fast air, I'm I'm happy to switch. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to keep a slow train, orbit like this until we take contact again. Okay. Roger that, freight train. And, uh... Where's they get this? Normally they have like a rearm pad here we can use. Oh, okay. They don't they don't have that set up yet. I don't think. Oh, but damn, we just a frag. Oh, those are ro those are high angle of attack rockets. Okay. It's two one. We got red air. Uh, we got a bird engaged in FSB Warhorse high angle of attack rockets, I believe, unless it's rocket artillery. Damn. Roger, that is uncanny. Case on 101 pushing uh, 3 6 for immediate outbound departure, alert 5 for cap. Being to ask you, Paul. Yeah, that is are you not on red air. Hired with the new baby in there. It sure looks like a high angle of attack rocket strike there for a second. Is that, where's that coming from? Uh, from like, what? Case on these HGC, these, these, these AI are so weird. They, they, like, they get in helicopters, they get like 2,000 feet in the air, and then they just shoot down. Oh. So, yeah. I think they're trying to just prevent themselves from getting killed at low altitude. Uh, if they stay up there and like we chase them, we'll get killed by those SA-2s that are to the west. And uh, a uh, SA-2 is a fast like, mover. No, a SA-2 is a surface-to-air oh. missile. So it's a SAM. It's a Soviet. Oh, the SA-2 yes. is, is a, like a designation. It goes from like SA-1 to like SA-30 something. It's, it's, oh, it's ridiculous. Okay. But so it's, think of it as just like a big old school telephone pole missile that's guided by radar. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Jeez. The old Soviet <laughs> era. Yeah. And it's got a radar attached to it. And they have those at that airport to our west. Or that little grass airfield. There's a grass airfield to our west. Golly. I'm um, kind of surprised they haven't killed us being over here. But Second yeah, but I think we're too low. You seem so arrested for someone with a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Train three, three, one. We lifting, uh, for one, she's a pretty two, easy CR1 newborn, and for two, one, right, three, one, yeah, I've just kind of done it before, so you just kind of, I guess you just are get used to the no sleep. Your body just adjusts, I think. Oh, <laughs> popping smoke? Some like red smoke just fell out of the air. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I see what that, that was. Yeah, see, he's getting engaged because he's so high right now in that F-14. Everyone has Sierra Well, Sam's will be engaging him constantly, but hopefully uh, they won't see us down here this low. Everyone has the active. Well, let's let's get in here and check this out. See if we get shot up. The airfield? Oh no! No 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 no! no. We're like, <laughs> That's a suicide mission. We're gonna just go over this and see what happens. 
There's a vehicle that got blown up. Oh, that was at MI2. Good. Is that our bird or theirs? No, no, that's yeah, uh, that's that's an enemy bird. Okay. Anytime you hear uh, MI2, that is a small enemy, like Soviet helicopter. It it it, it looks like garbage, but it'll work <laughs> for them. It's a it's it's a weird looking little Soviet thing. And then you got the MiG-19. It's like a swept wing, old school like 50s era fighter jet. You Man, have the MiG. 50s. Jeez. Then then you have the MiG-21. It's like. I realize they had those in the 50s. It's a it's a, it makes it's sense, a, it's a though, Delta obviously. wing. So it, it looks like a fucking oh. flying uh, Dorito, you know, got the <laughs> yeah. diamond wings. Those oh, are the three sick. aircraft you'll see enemy-wise. That's cool. They keep them, like, time period appropriate, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, this game is really, really cool, but this DLC is even better. Like, this DLC is so much fun. And it's, uh, it's, it's a lot more optimized than um, normal Armor 3 as well it, it, <laughs> really it, this dlc yeah. is more optimized than normal armor 3 yeah i think so from like my experience it is like it, it like runs a little better normal armor 3 like if you armor 3 is really weird like it doesn't matter what kind of pc you got well it does like all it cares about is like cpu performance amazing so if you have a really high-end cpu you'll get 60 70 frames um but if you have like it doesn't care about a graphics card for some reason That's so it's just it's just man. like really really wonky it's, it's 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 wonky as shit like right now my stuff's like my cpu is loaded at like 23 percent and my night. gpu is it is it is it just 53 you know and then like <laughs> modern games you know that shit's capped out at least the graphics card is always at 100. game is just so old it doesn't know how to it just, it just it's just not good. I can't get over why they haven't made an Armor 4 yet. I don't know. I feel like it's popular enough that it, it should have come out by now. It's been years. I think they're just taking their decade. time, I guess. I think they're just taking their time, which is good. My word. Um, which is fine with me. They have that Armor Reforger game, and that, that's kind of like a test bed for the new engine. They're running it off like Unreal Engine 5 or something like that. Oh, really? Is this Unity, this game? This game, I have no idea. Okay. I'm no expert. I have no idea what this engine is. Here. I just know that I have fun playing this game, and I keep playing it. I don't know. It's, uh, we're going to get out of here and get your 40 mic mic rearmed. Alrighty. SB Wars 2-1, we're breaking off to the south for Triple R. Didn't NVA also convert T-34s into AA pieces? Or was that yeah, North Korea? Coming. Oh, I have who, no who knows when? Freaking who idea. Knows when? Uh, I don't know. Oh, also, would it behoove me to get uh, some NVGs right now? Or we do not have access to that, sir. Why is that? Vietnam. It's Vietnam. Really? It, they, all they had, I think, was just like products. Like, there's a Starlight scope you can get oh. and put it on your rifle, but it, the damn thing looks heavier than like an M16 by far. It, it's massive. Whoa. And there's one that like you can get. As a binocular option, or it's actually a, a monocular. It's got night vision. Oh, okay. There are no, there are no night vision goggles. Even need his own engine. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is this is what we got. In the vision engine. Okay, dope. Very cool. Oh, sir. Uh. If I go for a little potty break. Okay, son. Three, one. Yeah, yeah. Sierra, one. All right. I shall return. All right. Probably it was the only NVG scope until 1976. Holy frick. Okay, son. ABC 2 one inbound okay. from the north. We'll have active runway like 1-9. Well, I'll be right And be transitioning back, for triple R pet. We're going to waddle one. Okay, so on three one on the decks, pulling down pad five.
Case on 101 has active 18 rolling stop Sierra 3 R and R. But uh, good landing 101. Two one, take a mic. Uh, I mean, it looks like the normal kind of activity over there, Ronnie. Uh, they're mostly spooling MI2s, probably in response to the bodies being up at Hickory. I'll stick some Larry Berry Garys and Harrys up there, and uh, hopefully that'll keep us uh, good to go from that. Yeah, Roger that. Appreciate it. We if we will... need, I can swap for cap, but uh, we don't want to get bogged down fighting endless amount of air they can send at us as long as we're out there uh, at that heavy speed. Yeah, that's true. Appreciate it. Yeah, Roger, I got your back. Case on 101, clear, active 18, taxi Sierra 3, spool down. Case on 101, clear, active, tree 6, balloon down. Case on ADC 2 1, spooling triple R pad, outbound departure north, bearing 360. Uh oh. Case on ADC 2 one's pulling down for Red Air North. Case need to see Gunfighter 2 1, Red Air has been destroyed, lifting outbound north. Those guys came to the wrong AO. We sure did. Back from where you came. Case on ADC 21 exiting airspace bearing 360, gas and candles checking in 8085. Case on ATC, free train 31, show me spooling pad 5, uh, northbound taxi to artillery staging. Three one two one eight five. Seven two one eight five. Two one. Uh, were you just outbound from Quezon? You got a MIG on your tail. Oh, right on. Thank you. Hey, we'll be uh, coming back over Quezon to get him over the base. Case on ATC, Freight Train 31, uh, delaying spool until any aircraft threat is dealt with. Back, buddy, sorry about that. 2 1 acknowledged. Hey, you didn't miss much, just a few MIGs. Uh, if you look off your right, you'll see a MIG being engaged by our. Oh! 
friendly professional air air to air team at Kaysan. Wow. But they will kill him before he kills us. Jeez. Okay. They're gonna slowly come in. Good lord. Another one close to us too. We had a just pilot. Hit. My unit. His call sign was Rut Row. Okay, so I need to see two one inbound from the northeast. Rut Row is amazing. Yeah, We're gonna set down for this. <laughs> Rut Row. All right, let's just get out of the bird and chill for a little bit until our friendly AI oh, brethren. Hot Roger yes. that. <laughs> uh oh, hot dog. <laughs> Every time. Letting the black hawk hawk one night. Is we're coming in for our landing. The uh, pilot just started screaming. Here, until shit, 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 shit. I look out the door, and right across from me, our power lines could have reached out and grabbed them. It's never good when you hear your pilot screaming. Oh my goodness. Oh my word! So many, so many red air today. Oh, What's the red? Going down. Oh, what? He's going down. What's that? Wait. Uh oh. I think that bird just crashed over there to the north. Oh shit! Oh, look at that. Yeah. Looks another like it. One. Just heard a, another splash somewhere. Imagine thinking you could approach this base. You know what I mean? Imagine thinking that. Yeah, he's got some steel cojones is what they've got. Doesn't matter anymore. There was there was, there was uh, one of those little MI2s, those little helicopters that flew over to while you were gone. Mm -hmm. He was just moseying over in on slow and just got obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> my, my chat also said, early while I was AFK, they heard you say, uh-oh, and nothing else. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's just... Uh-oh, dead. There's that by itself. There's another one. Here he comes. Number three, three, one, two. Oh, yeah, I see him. That AA is automated, correct? Yeah, those yeah. are those are AI. You'll see some players get on it every once in a while. That's sick. Kill them as well. But yeah, we have like AI. Okay, so on ATC, freight train 3 1. Show me spooling pad 4. We're going to be lifting northbound taxi and, to uh, artillery staging. Two hours every now and then and give them some water, you know. That's really nice of you, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know. Sorry, I put my gun away. Sorry about that. I do what we got to do. Sorry about that. Keep them healthy. Mm. Keep them at least functional, you know. They don't got to be comfortable. They just got to be able to operate that weapon. Oh, yeah. Such as the military. Yeah. Is yeah. Eli still out in that fast mover? Nope. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, damn. Um, he is getting back in his hall. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. See, about to get back up in the air. Oh, here. there's nuke. I think we're going to okay. be all right. Let's, let's get back out there. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. All righty. Back in there. Case on ATC, show 2 1 spool and triple R pad outbound direct north via active runway 36. There's it. Real quick. Yep. You think I could request pickup in the F 14? If Eli would be willing? Uh, Yeah. And I don't want to leave you high and dry. I, I feel like you're going to be. Oh, yeah. It's all good. No, do what you do what you want to do. I don't sure. want to. I think right now he's like bouncing between them. Oh, okay. He's going from like the C model hog, and if we need it, he'll switch back to the. Uh, Either the F4 or the F14. Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's up to you, dude. Um, all right. How would I get in contact with him again? Which, uh, what radio would that be? Call him on 8-2. Call him on 8-2. Call him on 8-2. The, the short range? Short range. Short range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. What's his call sign? Stand by. Let me make sure before you call. 1-1. One, one. Gunfighter 1-1. One, one. Gunfighter 1 1, this is Gunfighter 2 1. How copy? Uh, 2 1 acknowledge we'll get out there as quick as, you, as we can. All right. Are you staying or going? Nope. Good. Uh, I'm staying, sir. All right. Roger that. Good luck. 
luck to you. Appreciate yeah, you. Contact him on, on a eight two so you don't mess with the uh, guard channel or anything like that. Roger that, buddy. Good luck, sir. Godspeed. Good luck out there, in Nam. I'll try to cover your back as good as, as well as I can, sir. Appreciate you. I know you'll do it. Love it. Gunfighter 3, how do I shot web? Copy? Wait, what, Ray? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. 76 months in a row. Let's be good. Give me time to eat my snack, Henry. Mm. Thank you, Ray. Okay, Baby number two. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you very much. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one. this is Trainwreck. How copy? Trainwreck, Gunfighter 1-1, one, one. send it on 82. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one. would you be willing to do a pickup and ride along in the F-14? Certainly, step by one. Hell yeah. That's it up. Oh, thank you. Okay, so on ATC, show Dragon Fire spooling or back taxi quiet. to active front way. I'm on the highway, classic Andy. I'm on the highway to the danger zone, chat. Danger zone. Uh, danger zone. Oh, I thought he was out here. He just left the light on. Look at that. F-14 Tomcat. Oh, is that a fuel uh, canister here? Fuel pod? Look at the size of that thing. Good night. Both of them. I didn't realize. This is equipped for a water landing? Holy hell. Highway. Sorry, too much. Too much. What'd you do at work today? I just rode around, cool aircrafts and ate snacks. <laughs> oh, true. I can reload it. Oh, that's my gun. I'm reloading my gun. That's foolish. Sign C show dragon fire checking off south barrel 170. Hey, buddy. Hello, sir. What'd you find? Found myself a Tomcat. That's exactly right. Good old fashioned fast mover. Whoa, Dear whoa, Lord. it's beautiful. Oh. Glorious, right? I'm excited. Yeah, are you pumped? I'm freaking pumped. Do you mind doing this? I mean, I know you got stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big pain in the ass. Yep. All right, I'll get back in the Jeep. Sorry to bother you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. Go. Be oh. goose. Yes. <sighs> are the are these fuel canisters on this thing? Is this fuel pods? So these are, you know what this is? these are weapons pods. Uh, it's a grouping of AIM-7E Sparrow missiles oh. inside of the pod to reduce drag. So Pre if you need a, Roger, one, one, eight, a, a MIG, that little door opens and then the missile goes right out from there. No shot, they had that in the 60s? Eh, 
kind of. Um, Not as cool as what we got here, but still. we make it work. Pretty neat. One, Jolly Roger, one, one, eight, five. So the, the first flight of the Tomcat Alpha was yeah. in early or late 70, and then the first combat flight, according to Northrop Grumman, was in 71. Uh, uh, one, eight, five. Per, uh, participated in the comeback of Saigon as well. So this oh. is one, I'm being trailed by me one, one. one from the movie. Of course. Uh, this is the Bravo. So uh, Roger, did, did you just leave Warhorse? Tomcat. Mm -hmm. but, uh, hey, the same model that was used to assist George Washington when he crossed the Delaware to assault the British helicopter base. Roger, is he immediately on your tail? those sons of bitches, what's up? Uh, lost sight of him. That, um... Also the same one made the Apollo 11 moon landing. And if you've uh, seen yeah, the movie, Roger, he's around out for you. Yeah, Roger that. Roger uh, it's the same one that... They uh, watch your approach. There is an enemy tank still the Russians to surrender. Here, southeast. It's a friendly tank. Yeah, tank. I don't think any of that's true. Well, that's too bad because that sounds pretty dowdy and not the kind of stuff that a guy that would get inside a Tomcat would say. It just, I mean, that stuff was just blatantly false. It just feels like. Well, I have I some know. other potentially upsetting news for you. This Tomcat delivered both of your children. What? That's right, with its swept wings. This Gently, one? Yes, that's right. Wow. We should ride it. Agreed. Go ahead, buddy. So you want a scroll wheel? Hell yeah. Uh, enter Tomcat F-14B as radar intercept officer. All right. Oh, oh. No, no! Paul, Eli, A2, did you find the ejection seat, bud? Eli, this is train wreck. That's a Roger. Over. Roger that. So there's a few things you got to be careful of um, in the fast movers. Try not to land uh, too far away, as the uh, Victor Charlie would love to get their their mitts on you. Over. Uh, Roger that, Eli. Um, I have landed, and uh, appears I have broken my leg. Roger. Uh, where'd you where'd you land? Not far, uh, about uh, to your zero one six north. Oh, okay. Got to get you, buddy. Train wreck, indeed. Uh, Three one, drop the fleet. Oh, there's a lot. Oh no, severe pain, loss some blood. Hey, buddy. Hey, my have reacted, not broken, large bruise, minor trauma. Okay. Hey, psh, that ain't nothing. So, I feel like I should explain myself. Um, okay. Got into the Tomcat. Yeah. A uh, big blaring alarm. S yeah. Startled me. Right, as, as it would, yeah. Yeah, startled me like a, like a, like a newborn kitten uh, when people come over. And right, I just went to get out. Didn't realize that the first option wasn't get out. It was eject. Yeah. And we find ourselves in our current situation. Yeah, here we are, right? Yeah. Fucking Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. That's my bad. It's all right. I mean. That's like, that's like five million gone right there, right? You eject that I man. It's pretty much over. Oh yeah, the uh, the Tomcat actually despawns because the uh, the canopy and the seats come out with explosives. So come on, let's get uh let's get get you in here, get you patched it, up. It it despawns. Yeah, yeah, you cannot fly it after the ejection panel's been pulled. <clears throat> oh man, you are not sounding great, buddy. Yeah, yeah. here, uh, look away from me. Let me see what I can do. Oh oh okay. I would hate to have to call the medic. That would not be ideal. Online, 
Okay. Uh, one time, one millimeter station. Oh uh, my goodness. Order. What? What? Nothing. This looks good. Uh, I've seen oh. worse. Why'd you say, oh my goodness, like that? Um. Oh, good lord. I'm just going to work. Uh, okay, uh, the princess. A <laughs> little bit of an increased pace here. What? Is everything all right? Yeah. If it, if it was not good, I would be calling for Cardinal. Okay. Any available call, Cardinal call sign from uh, Gunfighter 1-1. One, one. You just called for Cardinal. You said if it, yeah, if it was bad, you called for Cardinal. You called for Cardinal. Cardinal, uh, we need a medic. Dumb ways to die. Yeah. So many dumb ways to die. I thought it, it was just a bruise. Am I yeah. all right? No. Uh, well, yes. Yes and no. So... Uh, you were bleeding from every appendage uh, on your body, and uh, we had to plug those up, uh, okay. make sure, you know, uh, you didn't die. But we're good now, so uh, he'll just get you patched up here. Okay. Neptune Odin, send it. Benji, hello. Paul, oh, hello. How, how are we? Good. Where's your British ass been all day? Uh, working and then the gym, so... Hmm. That was like two excuses yeah. to me. Well, hey, I mean, listen to Neptune us. from Odin. Uh, you already have uh, <laughs> the heaviest things that we can put out there, including uh, a little bit of future tech. So uh, we're just going to have to make do. The red air is uh, ever present, especially what in the you last did. few AOs. Uh, once we de ask the majority of the personnel from that FSB and start conducting operations, they will be drawn to the area of operation. I heard you did. The same thing that I did. Uh, what did you do? Premature ejaculation. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Premature ejection. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've done that. You know, hey. Ejaculation. Had, that's what they call it. Hey. Yeah. yeah we've. Yeah. Hey, that's a technical term. Hey, son. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's I think what that's, they uh, say in the biz. I believe mm, that's the, mm. uh, the, the the Latin term. Tooth. Thank you for sixty-five months, man. Welcome back. You know. Yeah. No. Thank you. Uh, thanks so, for. Yeah. No. Of course. Am I uh, discharged, sir? Am I good to go? Or love to get back out there and give Charlie uh, no, peace of my you mind. Are, you know, you are still messed up. Paul. You, you need a medic. Yeah, a second. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Sign you a medic. Yep, yeah, I'll be there in a second. I gotta get the right. I'll be fine, back. Roger. I'll be you fine. Are, Paul, you are Paul, Paul. You are covered in raspberry jam. I'll be fine. You are messed Roger. up. Roger. Get back. And you will die. Get back in there. I'll die. All stations on this net from Odin. Instead of worrying about what other people need to be doing, let's worry about ourselves. I see plenty of dudes at that FSB who are about to get swapped from their fancy tasking into frontline fucking infantry. So let's get an inventory of what we got and get ready to kick out the Miller. Otherwise, you're going to be wishing that those red air would come down and pick you up and take you to where you're safe, because I'll find you. Over. All right, I think we're good here. Good that you said over there. I don't, yeah. Well, you got to say it's over. You got to say over when it's over so you know it's over. Over. Yep. Over. Uh, what do you need today, buddy? Uh, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I've had it just about to hear with the British today. Yeah, no, I hear you. Especially hey. thinking I can't hear him on other channels because guess what, buddy? We won the war, and the first thing we learned was comms intercept. <laughs> hey, sign. It is so easy yeah, to act try right. to fucking heal you. It's yeah, laughably me. easy. So if you could just heal me, that'd be great. Well, I'm trying to. It's me. Go and heal this. Hip, 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 hip. Sign, I don't, I don't speak Spanish. If you could just heal me, well, that'd be really helpful. I mean, Thank you. Where the hell did the medic go? That sign is, is in, in there. It's not working again. Sign, do you have a pack? You son of a bitch. Um... Uh, come in here, Tenchi. We'll go over. Paul, face away from me. I'm going to do the best I can, buddy. I'm sorry. Face, face away. Face away. Look, yeah, don't look uh, at me while I do it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, cough. You had your chance. Now I'm going in there. I'm going to see how this goes. Oh God. Are you... Sign. Do you have a? Do you have a, a pack? Oh God. Do you need me to cough or? Yes. Okay. Are you a medic? Yes. Okay. Well then, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. 
And uh, yes, Paul, Paul coughing is advised. It uh, makes it a little easier, uh, hurts a little less. Uh, okay. He's not a good people part. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the right pulse. I have a medic. I have a medic. I don't know why it's not healing. Uh, so click on his chest, and it will be under advanced treatment. If uh... Paul, did you or uh, sign? Did you relog after you got your medical items? Do you need to re-get them? Sorry, what was that? I said, did you log out after you got your medical supplies, and you need to re-back up on your medical supplies? No, oh, I have a full backpack. Bear down like you're having a bowel movement. I'm trained as a medic. Mm -hmm. You're wearing a large watch. What was that? <laughs> I shoot him in the chest and maybe I can heal it then. Pardon? You know, uh, Paul, how are we feeling? We can play this game. Oh, God. Don't play this game. Don't play this game. Don't shoot the Oh, when they play this game. It's because I'll finish it. I'll finish the game. Oh, sweet Jesus. Paul does not require healing anymore. For a second while they do the Mexican stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Sai. I'll be your dust off pilot. Okay. So. Um, uh, of course. We'll be right back with you. No infantry. Change over. With the exception of the shiny who's running as a medic. We have a 2-1, uh, a 3-1, and the 1-1 one, one call sign. Uh, we have a bulldog, oh, what the fuck? Uh, Neptune, and Steel Rain. Yeah, put some pants on. No man. actual infantry. I hate when they right? change. So the what has been happening is it's a bunch of people that want to do stuff that's not infantry that are going out to the FSB. We didn't resupply that it was taken by Charlie, who are doing as much as possible to ensure someone else does the infantry so they can do the thing that they want to do. Okay. Uh, and then start. they're getting on the net that they don't think I'm listening to, being like, hey, uh, could you do that? And telling other people to ask me to do stuff that he knows that he, they're not allowed to do <laughs> so that he doesn't have to ask me so that I don't yell at him. And <laughs> guess what? Stop I people? did fucking hear him, and I always know. Uh, I, I am happy to strike people about the neck and face and uh, pull some people into the So country. this is what is going to happen, and I will give you an opportunity to help them avoid it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count in my head to 100 and if i don't start seeing call signs up there that look like people who are ready to fight charlie in the in the depths of the jungle in the middle of the fucking night with nothing but a knife i'm gonna start volunteering them for ultimate realism we're gonna have our own little draft and i'm gonna take all of those asses out of that base and i'm gonna stick them in the nightmare of the fucking jungle in the middle of the night and they're gonna fight charlie with me in a hellhole i create <laughs> okay that's it now, the timer will start the second that the gunfighter skids hit the deck at that FSB. And then when I get to 100, you'll know. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> do you, I'm assuming you're going to want me as a JTAC or infantry for that? For now, that I would guess. work. JTAC would work so we can coordinate okay. the air assets, of which there are many. Yep. Okay. The gunfighter uh, is over there on pad three. Paul and I are happy to run you out there and uh, get things going because we're certainly not going to win the fucking war like this. Uh, that is fair. Did you get all that tension? Do is... you get that? I, I might take the uh, the medical the, the magic yep, telephone pole and eight then I have a bit more time. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Oh my god. Welcome to Vienna. Well, look at that. Neptune one one happy to assist with the uh, infill to the AO at Miller. Over. I'm gonna pull up real quick, guys. You see what? that? Oh, did things change? Wow. Yeah. Oh. See, perfect example of the power <clears throat> of positive thinking. Yep. I don't. I don't think you thought it, Eli. It seems like you said it out loud. Scrolling for back uh, what? east. The threats. Stage, uh, correction. Oh no. no that's uh, they're not threats, buddy. Threats don't realize. Oh. That's right. Are they promise. Think of it this way. Like I was about to have to knit a, a large blanket of uh, find out. But luckily, the fuck around curbed itself. Oh. I didn't know you knew how to knit. Oh, I know how to knit. I know how to knit real good. Oh, mm, so sure. it's a fine crochet, really. Um, Completely yeah. different skill, Benji. Completely well, different skill. No idea what just killed me. Listen, I mean, is it stitching fabric together? Then it's knit. And the whole of the crochet community was offended. <laughs> we lost a couple of guys at uh four horse, so we're just gonna port here over. I think I'll be able to weather the uh, strongly worded letters. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> and uh
got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I get it. You know, Paul's on the server. Everybody wants to do the fun things. So they'd be like, hey, Paul, you want to come see me do X, Y, Z? But guess what? A whole lot of people don't get to do the fun thing. They get to fight Charlie in the, in the dead of the night. <laughs> Sir, if you need me to fight Charlie in the dead of the night, I'll do it. Nothing but a knife in the middle of the damn jungle. God damn it, Paul. I I'll fucking do it. love that. I wish I had 20 more like Paul. I'll do it. Tell you what, you give me a, you give me a bottle of hot sauce and a knife, I'm your man. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, are we waiting on anybody else? Uh, Nerd Mom's ready to murder medic. someone right now. <laughs> he is the flight medic, but uh, we're probably going to See, I told you. It's very upsetting to people who do right, sew and knit Jim's crochet. Well. Stand by. Okay. Uh, sign, this is Telespin 611. Ophie, do you have any idea what just killed us? Whose voice is that? I'm just going to go hurt the cat to be back in a sec. Oh, I'm about to hurt the cat of my own. Whose voice is that? Should I come back there and see who it is? Should I get out of my pilot seat and look? It sounded British to me. Zyze, is that you? Maybe. I want you to know, Zyze, that I hear everything and I know everything. Even even the plans that you come up in your brain while you sleep, I've already thought of those plans and thought about how to stop those plans. <laughs> so if you want to run artillery, you fucking run it. If I hear you on another radio channel trying to talk somebody else into asking me for some shit that you know they can't ask me because I will say no and you don't want to ask me, then I'm going to find you and I'm going to work you like a puppet. You're going to be Pinocchio and I'm going to be fucking Geppetto. I'm going to make you dance for me, boy. You understand? Do you get me his eyes? Yeah. Good. All right. Know. Right. Don't know what. Because right now my list says allow British two, and I'm about to cross that out and make it one. And then you two will fight for the death. <laughs> uh, I think Chad needs to respawn. That's our one of our other medics. I'm just gonna see if he's coming. All right, let's figure the fuck out. How many? Uh... I mean, how much are the tickets going to be for this uh, fight, <laughs> boss? We should have plenty. I mean, uh, we're we're if if we continue the way that we have been on the ground, we'll be fine. We've I've been averaging less than a hundred uh, casualties per. Plus, we got medic and dust off running. <laughs> That's a psycho. But uh, giving them our <laughs> yes. tanks and uh, fucking around, oh, yes. it'd be a damn shame to fail in front of Paul. And then everyone will laugh at you. I call it zero, one. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, uh, I didn't mean those one tickets. Only. I meant tickets for uh, the British forces. I think it's just what he meant. There are only two allowed British. The hell was that? Something just exploded. That's like a tonk. I believe, uh... Maybe a pattern respawn. Oh, shit. Maybe. Case on one one lifting back four for Sierra one east on taxi active three six and we did outbound. I'm trying to think. I think we've got the one one three at the warhorse. So I think we just need a fuel truck and an ammo truck for helos to be. Case on one one has Sierra one. Just off zero six. Case on one one has active three six. Kason, Gunfighter 1-1, one, Dallas Kennels, transition from 828085, check in, adjust outbound departure, 360, Gunfighter 1-1 one, one is exiting your airspace. All call signs 80, GCJ Tech Tail Spin, setting in. 1-1 one, one acknowledge. All right, gosh, right up to the Tomcat. Uh, I exploded it. You there? I ejected from the seat and I exploded it. GCJ Tech Tail Spin, setting in. So, um... Right Next time, I think. Gunfighter 2-1 from Odin 8-0. Push immediate. Next IT time. Buick. Orient 360. Cherubs 2. Push BP Sidewinder. For pack insert cover. Contact DCJ Tag Tailspin. Woo! 8 0. How copy over? 2-1 acknowledge IT Buick. BP Sidewinder for uh, pack insertion. Understood. God damn. Is that DuckTales? Did you just do DuckTales? How's it go if it was? That was fantastic. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Duck tails. Woo! <laughs> Deep in the jungle, I can't see shifty duck tails. Woo! Freight train tree one, Odin eight zero. <laughs> you shut your mouth, size! 
Point train three one Ooh. request you immediately. Sorry, sorry. One times M four eight alpha three patent main battle tank to FSB Warhorse for staging. Sorry. Contact Bulldog really two one crew. Me. Reference additional tasking. I'll copy over. Sorry about that. Like I got out of the cage. I respect it. Two one copies that. Woo. For a patent battle tank to FSB Warhorse. Everybody's gonna be in like it. Not fucking Vietnam. Woo. -hoo. Big old booba. Yeah, that's fine. I don't acknowledge. Zizer, you going up there or you going into frontline Vietnam? I am going up there, but I don't mind sitting on the boat till we get there. I know. Okay, I well, you I know. are thin ice today, bub. All right, I hear you on the radio about anything besides artillery, and I'm coming for those cheeks. Those cheeks! Oh, oh look, you've done it now. you got Paul all spun up. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. i got the FSB set up. I don't pulls, need to go on any of our radio channel now. Pulls a father and a national treasure, and you've got him all spun up. Look what you've That's done. Exactly right. I'm a natural hype man. I just can't. I can't help it. Mm, He's doing yeah. an excellent job as a co-pilot. I'll tell you. Mm. FSB Warhorse Gunfighter One One, approach your airspace inbound, heading zero five eight. Old man, if you can hear me. Uh... For pad one, pack drop off. Helicopters coming in. Hop on it. Mix inbound again on Kason. Oh, we had a fast mover for that MIG. If only. I'm if only. You, uh, AC. I've ruined okay, it. Seen it. Yeah, you're running the ground, uh, right? This car you crashed. Yes. Okay. I have joined on your group. Anybody nice that's running infantry? Anybody that's running infantry, join on the group so we don't shoot you in the jejunum in the dark. That would be lovely. Um. Uh, you can do Windows key, passengers. OC, like, I would be slamming into the building to the left here. Old man, get on the chopper. This seems like a poorly placed pad. Yeah, Charlie we, we got one getting on the chopper. One Eli. on the deck. Roger that. So, um, something you'll come to find, Paul, as you yeah. fly. Um, there'll be a lot of stuff that will like under normal circumstances would cause alarm. Yeah. But it, it's Vietnam. And in fact, one of the most hotly contested provinces in all of Vietnam in the history of the conflict. Yeah. So things like artillery fire, um, air, tanks, you know, Victor Charlie in the wire. These are things that occur all the time. Okay. Um, I mean, there, it was not uncommon for bases, fire bases in Vietnam to be shelled for months, every day, all day. In it fact, is. at Quezon, the shelling got so bad, reinforcements, C-130s would not even stop. They would just slow down on the runway. And then the infantry were expected to jump out of the plane while it was moving at a low speed. That's how nasty the shelling was. Good Lord. So when those kinds of things come over the radio, uh, you just kind of have to grain of salt with that because uh, Viet fucking not. Yeah. No, I, I hear you, you know loud and clear. Loud and clear. Viet, yeah. Viet, Viet fucking not. Yeah. You're clear to dust. One, one. You love to fucking hear it. I'm fired. One one spooling. Pad one lift immediate outbound. Tree six zero for pack inside. Big Mojo, thank you for sixty nine months, buddy. Over and over. Duck tails. That's the tails being it, there. All in favor of changing uh, Tenchi's call sign from a tailspin to duck tails, say aye. 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 Nay. Shut up, Tenchi. The eyes have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Paul, Paul's All right. word is law. And, uh, I lash out. Paul, I mean, technically. Said, yeah. Well, so, I mean, so if we're going by Tannic Command, technically Paul is the pilot and I'm the JTAC, so he has to listen to me. So. Whatever you say, DuckTales. Two one 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 eight two. Two but, one uh, one one. I'm pushing Buick little, uh, from the three six zero. Injection clips. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get as low as possible <laughs> to, to uh, avoid some of that incoming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> red Paul, wait, no. <laughs> we <laughs> Thank you, Nerdless. Uh, Gunfighter flight of two. One by UH one Delta. One by like H one Golf. Uh, Mike one nine or five. Check in. Check out. IP Buick. Push three six zero for UP side artillery calls. No. No, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do both, buddy, but if you want to run artillery, I'm, I'm happy to just to run the air entirely up to you. Whatever you need, you let me know. Yep, 
I'll, uh, I'll leave it to you. I'll uh, tell you what I want, and you make it happen. If uh, All right, Paul, things get busy, yeah, I can. Then, uh, I'll take over. As All right, buddy. Uh, so we're on approach okay. with the LZ. Uh, you should have some play in the stick. If I get shot, then you're going to need to take control. I'll try to let, uh, let you know, um, okay. but if they get me in the head, then you're going to have to take control and fly out of this LZ. Roger that. Two one 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 has sidewinder. Fast position, Gunfighter, flight of two, check in, check out, BP sidewinder. Jumping off immediately. Uh, uh, Packs, seven hundred meters. Seven hundred meters. Yeah. As soon as the skids hit the deck, jump off and push. Two west. one 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 eight two one one is in. Two. All right, Ronnie's got your back, but uh, AA, you're gonna have to stay tight. Copy. Copy. Outbound to the south for RTG case on. Ten seconds. Three one south and candle. Ten seconds. On a deck, good luck. Go, go, Thanks, go. Thanks, sir. Gunfighter one one package delivered. Dust one eight zero for Sidewinder. Freight train three one for Odin eight zero. Never had a doubt. Three one Odin, send it. Odin three one delivered that uh, EPT to FSB Warhorse, although. The Bulldog crew seems to have been gone off, off station. Three one from Odin, Roger that. Uh, I anticipate we will have uh, more individuals uh, to work the Bulldog. Staging it at that FSB is uh, best case to keep your uh, oh, flight yeah. times down over. I can't see Jack Wagon, dude. Three one copies. Thanks for the work. Gunfighter flight at two, one by UH one, one hey, by Ames. H one Golf, my one nine or five. Check in, check out. IP Buick, push one seven six. Thank you. Gunfighter I am two, having one, a great Odin, day. Eight, zero. Definitely gotten better. Odin set for 2-1, 2 one hold IP Buick at NAP as close Yay. to the trees as you possibly can, <laughs> Ronnie, without drawing uh, Victor nice. Charlie fire from the low. Call sign Tailspin will check in. Any How kind are of you cast doing? you run, I would suggest not adopting the overhead. Run it linear. Boom and zoom. Over. 2-1 acknowledged. IP Buick check in. Fantastic. With, uh, That's so great. 2-1, good luck. I got to pee, though. Go, go, pee. How do I want to play this? I know it's Arma, but is this community mod or DLC? You join Eli's server, Sheriff Eli's Discord server. There's information about how to set it up and how to join in the server uh, there. Okay, can you hear me, Paul? Yes, sir. Okay, so when you when you fly, uh, especially if you're listening to a lot of radios, which is always good to, to do, you'll have to uh, kind of run a strainer through the comms you get. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of a lot of things that that might sound like an emergency might be an emergency for that person, but they are not an emergency for all the sidewinder. Gotcha. Uh, one. So things that affect us, we want to definitely uh, pay attention to. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'll do net calls for things like red air and whatever else. One Gulf, but Cobra. the MiG twenty nine and the MiG nineteen had a. Um, MP had a search radar that was designed specifically for intercept. Times nine. Okay. It, okay, it's not a 360 look, and it's not really even a broad look. It's more of a, a 20 to 35 degree cone. Okay. Where they can detect uh, moving aerial targets out to like eight kilometers. Okay. So what we're doing right now uh, is flying below what their search radar was designed, both in, uh, land installations and the search radar on board the MiGs. Mm -hmm. So provided we are not flying like reckless dickwads, yes. we'll have no idea that we are here. Wow. So they are a non-threat to us. As long as you're staying but, low. In oh, the I'm always low, baby. Always. Okay. Under... The only time I'm not like scraping the ground is if we're slinging something and then I'm almost scraping the ground. Gotcha. Jeez. Okay. So remember the MFD? Yes. So a lot of the helos do not have RWR, but a lot of the later ones that came later in the war do. So because we're in a Delta model, if you pull up the screen that shows uh, our mm -hmm. helo in the middle with a bunch of uh, target symbols outside. Uh, yes, sir. So that is what is our RWR. Uh, basically, RWR is kind of a catch-all for all the systems that alert us if we are in danger. If we are being locked up or if there's a missile in the air, we will see mm -hmm. it. There'll be a blinking yellow cone. That means that we're being painted by radar. A red circle and a blinking so red cone means that uh, we have been locked and that an NAR air missile is on the way to kill us. Gotcha. Jeez. Okay, good to know. That's uh, It says sense in the top left, correct? Am I 
Is that right? Two one BP relevant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notice that it only goes out two clicks. So we're not mm -hmm. going to have a lot of warning, but some is better than none. Yes. Yep. Okay. One one has one eight. Kason, gunfighter one one has Sierra one. Kason, gunfighter one one, clear Sierra one, back taxi, pad one, touch pull down. I uh, believe that pad four. Okay. So all in all, not so bad. With the inserts, um, I prefer, again, to scrape at all times uh, just to maximize the safety for myself and the crew. Yeah. Because um, if you are flying above that, uh, like if you're just kind of just enjoying yourself and flying, mm -hmm. they'll kill you uh, right away. RPGs, uh, they'll hit you with the tank barrels. They'll hit you with heavy machine guns. Uh, they'll throw Molotovs into the cockpit and burn both of us alive. My word. Um, yeah, the, the number of threats is exhaustive. Um, mines hey. as well. They'll, they'll booby trap LZs and things. Uh, bungee stakes and uh, unexploded ordnance, all kinds of horrible shit. Yeah. So okay. the faster we get in and the faster we get out, the better for us and the infantry. So if you open up your map, you can see mm -hmm. their progress. So we put them in at Miller. And it's marked LZDZ because it's it's not just a landing zone, but it's also a drop zone for the 3-1, which means there's enough room there for him to drop tanks and other armored vehicles. Okay. But from the area of Muta, it's red. So you can see those threat circles. Those indicate uh, North Vietnamese hardened positions like mortars, 14.5 millimeter anti-aircraft guns, uh, 57 okay. millimeter anti-aircraft, all that other stuff is in there. They can hear the rotor blades. Um, yes. And so they will send guys out specifically to find the landing zones. And if they see us, like if they make it to where we're going before we do and they see us on the ground, they will booby trap mm. that spot. Gotcha. So okay. the faster we get in and we get out, the better it is for our dudes just overall. Wow. Okay. If they see us even there, golly. Okay. Got to land, get them off, leave immediately. Oh, yeah. Gosh, okay. Big time. Okay, gotta get better at landing and takeoff. Got it. Good to know. Huge in the in the helos. Um, yeah. And then you know we talked about getting shot up and what you do. Like if you get shot up, that's very important too, just because we're gonna get shot up. Oh yeah. All right. Very good. I know what, what a friend names is. Thanks, man. I feel like uh, definitely a lot. A lot to take in. I mean, but trying. It's one of those things where uh, the the actions are something you you you'll get down no problem. Where it really starts to get challenging is when everybody's going on the radio all at the same time. So you've probably been hearing it now that you've been tuned into all the radios. Mm -hmm. You'll get calls from the arty guys, the armor guys, the infantry guys all at the same time, and you have to kind of you have to answer those calls when they're coming in, so they know that they're not talking to you know man in the sky they're actually reaching somebody yeah but you have to prioritize those in your mind's eye and reject the calls that come in that that are not calls that we need to be fulfilling okay so for example if an infantry unit is taking uh a lot of fire let's say they're in the middle of an ambush um and you know we'll use muta right okay. so let's say they get into these buildings and they get ambushed they might call for artillery or naval bombardment or a rocket strafe or God knows what, because they're getting shot at and they mm -hmm. want the guys that are shooting them to die. But <laughs> we haven't swept those buildings. So I will deny that request because we are not in the business of killing people who are civilians. We're uh, in the business of killing digital communists. Yes. So I will deny that request, but they will send it because they want the things in there to die. Sure. Okay. That's just how it goes. You know what I mean? So. Mm. Sometimes you'll get a bunch of calls uh, and you'll have to strain through the ones that where we can help in our one, one frame. And then, you know, you'll have to say, no, we can't to the ones we can't help. Hmm. You know? Okay. Yeah. Jeez. I didn't know that was even a and thing. That can be rough. You know, that's not ideal, um, but it is what it is. Nature, nature of the beast. Nature is the beast. Should I refuel us by the way, over here? I mean, do you remember how can you do that? I think I can do that. I think you should fucking do it. Let's do it. I'm Let's do get it. some guzzoline. I'm getting out. Let me get some guzzoline. 
Yes, the DLC is SOG. There we go. Okay. Menu. There we go. All right. Refuel. Take fuel nozzle. Got it. And now to fuel nozzle. Oh, yeah. That's definitely where the hole is. That checks out. What's up, Paul? It very life accurate where the hole would be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank God, though, uh, because God knows, uh, you know, a lot of people, they, they have no idea where the gasoline goes. You know what I mean? No. They'll be spraying unleaded gasoline all over the place. No. Yeah, I can't have that. How do you know when it's full? We guzzling? Oh, always guzzling. Come on. Always. I'm going to assume it's full because, it, I mean, I feel like it's taking forever. Go with this. Refuel. Disconnect. Bring it back over here. Connect. Oh, return fuel nozzle. I did it. I did. I returned the fuel nozzle. I frickin' did it, dude. And full. Done and done, sir. You love to see it, Paul. Go ahead and uh, send our uh, spooling at pad four, and we'll get out of here. Roger. All right, hold on. ATC, this is Gunfighter 1 1, spooling at pad 4. I think I got it. All right, give a lip, pad 4 for Sierra 1, eastbound taxi to active. You got this. Say again. So we want to say Lift. lifting pad four for Sierra Lifting's one eastbound four taxi for Sierra to four. active. Eastbound taxi to active. ATC one one pad four spooling. Taxiing eastbound Sierra one. Nice ball. Yeah. Fucking perfect. All right. Now gunfighter one one has Sierra one. Gunfighter 1-1 one has Sierra 1. Perfect. And when we get to the runway, you call Kazan 1-1 one one clear of Sierra 1. 1-1 one one has active 3-6. Kazan 1-1 one one clear of Sierra 1. Breath the rest. 1-1 uh, one has active 3-6. Kazan 1-1 one one has active 3-6. Fantastic. Once we get clear of the runway, we'll say uh, Kazan, 1 1 clear, active 3 6, dousing candles, transition from 8 2 to 8 0 8 5. Kazan ATC, show 0 6, pulling for taxi to Sierra 1. Kazan, 1 1 clear of Sierra 1. What was the rest? <laughs> dousing candles, transition from 8 2 8 0 8 5 for check in. Case on one one dousing candles. Nice. Transitioning from eight two to eight zero eight five. Five five. Perfect. Ugh. Absolutely perfect, buddy. Getting better. Getting trying to get better at it. Zero six has zero one. It's crazy dark. It's so dark, dude. It's nuts how dark it is. Ooh, man. Okay, so the He'll infantry uh, took contact with a pretty decently sized element of Victor Charlie. And they got ambushed uh, on the trail to that bill. So they called in 155 uh, millimeter artillery barrage on the tree line. 
and two of our guys got hit, so they called a dust off. So there's a dust off right behind us. So we will uh, we'll be careful not to uh, impede his movement to pick up the wounded. Roger. Jeez. Wisp, did you have to do that stuff? All right, no calm, no right, no calm. Tell me, sir. Radio, radio chatter and whatnot. Oh my gosh, it's not come naturally. Send on eight zero. All right, no calm. Have been requesting all night three hundred and sixty degree illumination around the town of right, Luta. Good breath, a prop. Uh, correction zero five seven right, one four five. Zero five seven one four five requesting all night alum tasking one oh five battery baker three ETA splash three zero zero. Take What's uh splash mean? Uh it means the effect of the round they call for. Oh, okay. So imagine the artillery is like us throwing a rock. The splash would be that rock hitting the thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you picking up what I'm putting down? I get, no, I got you. I read you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, oh, you're killing it out here, Paul. You're freaking, killing it. Pick it up so much. Putting it all back down. So much. You just let it soak in. Oh, my gosh. So yeah, see this fucking fog? Yeah, this is a lot. This is what I was telling you about. This shit is like oatmeal levels. It gets so fucking foggy. Is it uh, hard to fly through low altitude? Oh, yeah. I can't see anything. You can't see anything either, right? Well, I didn't know if it affected the rotors. Gunfighter 1-1, one, one, check in. IP Buick, check out. Tree 6 0 for BP Sidewinder, check oh, in. Oh, new trailer? Oh, I gotta check that out. Pack insert, LZ this takes practice, and this oh, is no, all new. No one is knowing to have good radio etiquette. Yet. Yeah. I definitely don't know how to have uh, good radio in etiquette terms of yet. Visibility, it can be very dangerous for us because we won't be able to see the men that are waiting to murder us until we uh, are way close. That's true. You gotta learn it. It takes time and practice. Our FO let me talk to our OH-58 Okay, you said your, uh, map up right on your called for MFD. fire. Ooh, I don't know what that even is. It's crazy. All right, MFD. On your right, on your right side? I have map on my right side. Uh, sense on yep. my left. So you see um, on the map we are passing IP Buick, and now we are pushing up to BP Sidewinder. Oh, yeah, BP Sidewinder. Yep. Yep, that was the call I just made on the radio. So that's what we're talking about is the initiation points and the battle points. Oh, and those are for oh, aircraft so we can orient ourselves uh, for the JTAC. Oh, wow. Gunfighter 1-1 one, one, inbound LZ Miller pack drop off. 800 meters. LZ DZ uh, Miller, okay. Dude. On the deck, good to go. Thanks for the run. Package delivered, dust 207, VP Sidewinder for IP Buick or RTB. What a freaking landing. Jeez. It's Eli's see, birthday? See, Wait, it is? That, so that's ideal. That doesn't always happen, but uh, we had a guy that was listening, so we let him know uh, on the distance. Ideally, the time. Normally, I try to do 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That way, they're ready to hop out. Because the last thing you want to be is on the deck for a long time. Fighter 1-1, one, one, check in, check out. BP Sidewinder, push 211 IP Buick out to the 180 nap. We are RTB. Hey, Eli. Hey, Paul. Happy birthday, buddy. What are you talking about? It's your birthday. Who told you that? Regulator? Oh, jeez. In, in chat. All right, well, where's the, where's the present? I don't, I don't know. Wait. Now they're, they're laughing at me now? What? They got you good. <sighs> they got you so good. You need to see it. Damn it! Man. Yeah, details and everything. It... Right in the middle. Right in the middle of you doing so good. And then... Totally <sighs> got you. Hung you up by the toes. Hate to see it. Look, Look at his Discord? What? You hate to see it. I can't. Oh, cool 
sign, tailspin 80, establishing LZ Moors for all future pack inserts. Welcome. This go live announcement? It, it's in your go live announcement? It says your birthday? Oh, uh, I put it in my go live? Apparently, it's in it's in your go live announcement. Who posted it? Apparently, one of your mods. <laughs> which one? Uh, I don't know. Ch chat, which which one? I gotta give I gotta give him the props. Breaker. <laughs> nice one. Excellent work, Breaker. Breaker a liar? No, no. Breaker's just a predator. Uh, I encourage my mod to prey upon uh, naivety and weakness. And uh, he's very, very good. Very good. Damn it. Thank you, Paul. For what? For the well wishes. Of course. Doing going to request a repeat last, but on the Alpha Alpha actual mark, H. Tight spread, high concentration. Where I'm counting your discretion. How copy? Is it his birthday, Chad? Uh, I, I just told him we don't. I'm okay, I'm the princess. People that's like, oh, survived another year. I did everything right, everything I'm supposed to do. Come shower me with gifts. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I mean, if you remembered it on your own, that would be one thing. But like, you didn't. So I mean, it's like one of those things. It's like, let's not bang that drum. <laughs> no, I. So today's your your real birthday? Eli? Still range. Shot. Shot out. Paul, would, would you clear us with sad taxi? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh Quezon one one, taxiing westbound. Sad, sad taxi. Sad taxi. Westbound two seven one. Okay, son, I've been told to tell you to shut the fuck up. Tell my goddamn business. Let me pad four. Thank you. Over. Excellent work, Paul. Excellent work. Thank you. Very, very good. Still range. Splash, splash. Yeah, for day one, buddy, you, uh, you're you picking up a lot. I'll tell you that. Appreciate that. Have you flown an Arma before this, or no? No. No. Yeah, you're picking up no. a lot. There's a lot going on. Yeah, you a lot. Don't even worry about it. So, I mean, I have crashed every everything that anybody has ever modded into this game, uh, aircraft-wise. I have crashed every single one of it. Like, every single one of those things, I've crashed it in every possible way. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think I should be getting back in. All right. Still range, BDA 100 by 100, target destroyed. Excellent work. Stand by, additional tasking, 7-0. Tango Mike, still range, stand by. Eli, what's your personal call sign? Uh, we're we are Gunfighter One One. But don't you have like a particular one? In particular, or like I guess you're. Oh, you mean like Top Gun, like Maverick? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, you don't have if one. You do. It's Trainwreck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have one. I'll Probably call this is Trainwreck wishing a very special happy birthday to. Eli, also known as Gunfighter 11. Last calling station, clear the comms. <laughs> <laughs> Official comms only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you can't teach it. You know what I mean? You just have to have it. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Clear the cops. <laughs> Clear those goddamn comms. Don't you ever, don't you ever put that kind of trash out on the radio again. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
a special day. Technically, it won't happen for at least another 365 days. To be fair, it's more special for my mother than anything else. Uh, so, you know. Yeah. No, I get you. This is today, so. March, a, uh, a memorable day for her. <laughs> I bet. I was a large child and could not wait for the world to experience me. <laughs> How much did Came you weigh? Up, uppercut of the doctor. <laughs> It's hot in there. They're like, it's a boy. She's like, I know. I was like, I'm going to need a wheelbarrow for this. A fucking cigarette. <laughs> this kid knows three languages. Jesus Christ. He's, he's Jason Bourne. I killed him on the way out. <laughs> there could be only one. Hey, are you guys um, going to bring people back into Muta? What? Nice. Sorry. Sorry. Are you... Uh... Are you, yeah, yeah. Back you know, you okay. already fucking know this Absolutely. place goes to frontline Vietnam. That's the only place this chopper goes. All right, thank you so much. We're going to a uh, request yeah. insert at LZ. Uh, was it Moore's? Yeah, I see. Let's, uh, use That's one, probably two, interesting. It's four oh six. I should probably get going. Okay, can do. You let us know when uh, all in. Friendly targets in heavy uh, contact. Uh, anything outside the wire is type three one. Look, shit's getting crazy in there. Eli? What? <laughs> Eli? Yeah, buddy. Hey. Uh, permission to uh, RTB, IRL? IRL, RTB? Yes, sir. But what if our guys end up out there MIA or KIA or something like that? Uh, they'll have to respawn, sir. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, excellent work today, buddy. Good work. Thank Best you, sir. To, uh, Thank you. T and little E. Appreciate you. And the new, the new baby. Absolutely, absolutely. I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, keeping their dada alive. Hey, pasta lasagna. Don't get any on you. You know what I mean. Never do. Never do. Next time, buddy. Next time. See you later, buddy. Bye. -bye. Oh. Champions, all of them. The head movement. And the, I, all right, I need to see some of these clips. I need, I need RTB return to baby. <laughs> Let me see some of these clips. I got to see some of these. So fucking good today. <laughs> Where are they at? Where are they at? Let me see them. Let me experience them. Yeah, I'll probably hop in again tomorrow. <laughs> Nerd dead, clear all comps. All call, this is lie. Trainwreck wishing a very special happy birthday to Eli, also known as Gunfighter11. Last calling station, clear the comms. <laughs> Teach it, you know what I mean? You just have to have it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't teach. <laughs> that one, Wisp. What is this one? We should write it. Oh, geez, agreed. Go ahead, buddy. So, you want to scroll wheel? Hell yeah, uh, enter Tomcat F14B as radar intercept officer. All right. Oh, oh. I got in. No, no. Call Eli A2. Did you find the ejection seat, bud? Eli, this is train wreck. Let's say Roger. Over. Roger that. So there's a few things you got to be careful of um, in the fast movers. <laughs> Try not to land uh, too far away as oh you should ride it. <laughs> 
on the ejection bud. <laughs> You're not ready. Yeah, do you have any Sorry. experience flying like uh, an aircraft like this in, in like video games? I fly. I'm pilot. Um, oh, no way, really? No, awesome. no, sorry, no. <laughs> oh, that was a quote from Independence Day. No, oh, I'm like, sorry. Whoa. No, I, no, God, no. I would hope it'd be better at the virtual oh. if I was that good at the real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, it takes, uh, it just, it just takes time. Just like anything else so in life, it takes time. If you, if you want to sink the time into it, you'll get good at it. It's not about. Oh, uh, look, dude, I'd, I'd do that, and then Arma 4 would come out, change everything. <laughs> All right, no, I, that's a quote. Really? No. Um, oh, you, no way, really? I'm pilot. Um, oh, you, no way, really? No, no, sorry, no. Oh, that's a quote from Independence Day. No, oh, I'm like, sorry. What? No, I... <laughs> oh, almost <laughs> stolen valor right there. Almost. Oh, real quick. Almost. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, no, 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 no. <laughs> and it might take a couple rotations, right? Because we were headed south, and now we want to go north. So we want to go nose down. Oh, no. <laughs> No notes. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. And it might take a couple rotations, right? Because we were headed south, and now we want to go north. So we want to go nose down. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, my freaking throat. My throat hurts. Oh my gosh. I think I will. I think you're right, Wes. I'm going to have to get to work here on the editing. Oh my word. I'm not even sure where to start. I'm not even sure where to start. Oh gosh. Okay. The first crash. Yeah, I probably should start with the first crash. Find that one. Oh my word. Yeah, I don't know if there's a clip of that one. Holy frick. Hi, I'm Action Jackson. I tried Armor 3 last week, and here's how it went. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'd hope so. Okay. Uh, all right. I am uh, freaking out of here, everybody. I'm out, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Thanks for chilling today. Great work. Uh, live again tomorrow. Same time, 10-ish. See you guys there, night night. Tooth, good to see you, homie. Thanks for popping back in. Always good to see you pop in, brother. I would stitch them all together. Insert Vam movie. What? Vam movie. Insert Vam movie clips for filler. Oh no! Oh no! Movie clips. Oh yeah, that's actually not a terrible idea. Actually, I laughed so hard that I peed a little. <laughs> that's great. Love you guys. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging out. Looks like the more serious the game, the better it is. Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. See you tomorrow, everyone. Peace. Bye. Yo, wish Eli a happy birthday, but don't tell him I sent you. Specifically, don't tell him that I sent you. Just do it. <laughs>